Greetings and welcome. We are back in Station Eos and we are hopefully going to get the base pressurized today. It's been a long time coming and because we've got the base so big it's going to take so much longer to pressurize it than it be planned originally. But anyway, how are you all doing? Hey Bram, how are things yourself? Hey Captain Gorse and Mr. Washington Toad. Uh, how are you all doing? I'm doing very good, thank you. Apart from Toad and Bram and me, sorry. Yeah, it is done a, a DJ way. comes in and goes, I'm the first person here and then like, there were like five people here before you. <laughs> You're the first to be in fourth. Indeed he is. <laughs> Hi, Cha. Enjoy your look. Ooh, what was that beat for? Have you got the beans ready, Peter? They have been ready since we had them two weeks ago. And we only used them two weeks ago. We haven't used them last week at all, I think. So they are there. Uh, okay. So, let's get into audio and we can start getting into the base and see if we can get ourselves some uh, some good old pressurization. The goal is mainly um, sleepers today. We need to get the sleeper from running as a priority. So I'm going to build a little sleeper room <clears throat> just off of the uh, gas, air, uh, gas, air, gas, gas farm, which we are now um, calling the Sprout Farm. And uh, that is what we're going to be doing with the... Uh, with the primary goal of the video of the uh, stream is to get sleepers working. And thank you, Addy, for the 100 bits. Yeah, I'm good. Excellent. I'm glad you're doing good, Bram. Right. So, since we didn't get a, uh, a spinny thingy with this, I set one up in uh, in OBS. So, whoop. See what OBS says. Do, 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 do. The green one. The green one. Ah, the green one. There you are. I see you. Aha! A juicy pear. You you lose, Adi. <laughs> um. Uh, how's your day been, Pete? I got right. I saw that, Adi. Congrats. <laughs> how's your day been, Pete? I got married today. Lovely lady. Reception was a bloodbath. Lol, great food. <laughs> I, saw, I saw the messages in in the thing, and congratulations. Um, yeah, I, I I've been away from the PC most of the day, so I haven't actually been able to reply to a lot of stuff. Um, but uh, I did see uh, new people coming in, and congratulations, Heidi, on the on the marriage. Um... Bogies, lol. Well, it's the. It, uh, I like to pick a colour, and just saying the colour out isn't to click because some of the colours are very, are very similar. So I just labelled it all with the worst flavours on the for that colour pair. And although it came up with the the boogie's um, colour, it was actually the good variety we got. So there we go. All right, let's get the save loaded up and then connect to the audio so we can hear Capt. Save is loading. Hey Capt. Hello there. How have you been today? All right. Day off. Day off. Nice. <laughs> I slept most of the day, I think. Let <laughs> <laughs> uh, me just cancel this program in the background because I've been running a virus scan in the background ever since I rebooted and a program that annoys legitimate decided it was going to be an idiot about it. <laughs> um, Adobe which is the editing software, popped up about five messages on Reboot saying, Trojan, this website. And it's like, I doubt you're a Trojan. I use you every single day for editing stuff. But I'll do a virus scan just in case. So nothing came up with, uh, in the results, so. All right, we're in. And I am joining. Excellent. <clears throat> okay, why, why are I in here? Because this room is 16 degrees Celsius. That's right, I remember now. The farm needs temperature regulation. I mean, can't the aircon do the regulation? It just needs something today, to reset it every time different. it uh, loses also, power. Also, BRB, my mate Gaz just messaged me. Uh, and it says, I've been wearing my Happy Cannibal t-shirt with Pride today, which is different. My mate Gaz is Okay, Adi. Um, you're crackling a little bit. I don't know if it's my end or your end. Ooh, okay. Um, I'll move that away a bit. No, it's digital crackle, so it's not like it's uh, it's like it's coming something in the data stream rather than. Yeah, I'm gonna disconnect from the audio and reconnect just in case it's my end. Okay. And how am I? No, I still hear it. 
Okay, I'll disconnect as well. <laughs> so I'm going to also change servers because servers can be an issue. How do you change servers in this new system? It's supposed to be at the, server level, at the channel level, but I don't see it on the channels list. Oh, there we go. Region override. Okay, let's set. I don't know what we're set to by now. It's an automatic, so I'm going to hard set it to the US East Coast. That tends to be quite a reliable server. And now is it good? Okay, try that. Yeah. Mm, still crackly. Still crackly. Okay. Yeah. It could still be on my end, but you can never know. I shall test myself. Alrighty. So, that being done, for some reason the music died when I asked it to play another chat track, so let's go and apparently playing two yeah. Apparently playing two tracks in a row is too many requests for uh, for the music software. <laughs> there we go. We usually have something in the background now. Hey RJ, I see you there. Why can't you stay? Hello. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. My good year is just taking a bit of a downer. My mate Gaz adopted a, an elderly rescue dog about three years ago. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Five years ago. Um. Uh. Five years ago, it was an 18-year-old mixed breed dog, and we called it Gus. Well, unfortunately, Gus took a very bad turn last night, and the rat, the rat, the rat put him down today. Aww. But he was an elderly dog, and I think I think he was 23. It would have been his 24th birthday next month. Well, that's highly impressive for a dog. Yeah, he's had a good innings. Yeah, that's a very yeah. good win for a dog. So, yeah, the thing is, when when um, my mate guys adopted him, he was like. Really, he was riddled with worms. He was riddled with fleas. He was an elderly dog, so nobody was going to adopt him. He was, he was destined to get put down because he wasn't going to be adopted. So yeah. Gaz and his wife, this was just before his daughter. I think it was about a year before his daughter was born. Literally, went, no one's adopting this dog. We're going to adopt it. And he's already said that he, he, he just posted on his Facebook that he's going to be adopting. He's going to look at any other elderly dogs that no one else would adopt. So. Yeah. Always best. They, uh, they tend to be the nicest yeah. of the, the dogs as well. Yeah. If they've been abandoned, they tend, to be, they tend to be the ones that are most deserving. Yeah, the thing is, everyone seems to go, Oh, puppy! Get a puppy! Get a puppy! And then the other dogs, the old dogs and the other dogs. Exactly. Yeah. It's like we adopted, uh, so we adopted Polly and she was an unknown age, but definitely um, an adult. Um, Probably three to four years old <clears throat> when we got her, and you know she's she's great, and obviously she gives us the, the other lot as well. So, <laughs> hey, Jermaine, someone's gonna adopt RJ apparently. <laughs> I think I'm sorry, I've already been adopted. If you didn't hear about my wedding, the uh... my impromptu wedding. One of the rules we have with an Adi adoption is that they is not uh, children safe. Uh, they tend to go missing when he's around. However, you get loads of soup. All right. As far as, as, far as the, the temperature, the temp temperature regulation goes, I modified the script um, late after the stream. I think it might have been during the stream, but you you've gone by the point. Okay. And I modified the script itself, so instead of doing what it did before, the script before was sending an on-off request to the aircon to turn it on or off. Yeah. Now instead of turning it on or off, it turns it to open and closed. Okay. So when you turn it on and off, that's the power switch. But open and closed apparently is the on-off button that's on the front, the one that turned it actually turns it on. Yeah. So in theory, <coughs> if there is a power cut, it should it should still re-trigger when the circuit repowers. Oh, okay. At least that's the hope anyway. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I was just well. gonna say, I don't make soup. I don't know how, but I do know how to make an awesome stew. <laughs> a soup and a stew are basically the same, just like picking of it. Right, I'll just kill the power and come back again to test to see if it works. How do we stop Meta what? How do we stop Meta making making a, a manhole game? Um, you can pay him, that'll probably work. Uh, I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> it's Meta, a pizza will do the job. It's a DJ, <laughs> not just Meta. I know how, oh. that's another thing I know how to do. I know how to make an awesome meat eater. Maybe I'm going to go over to wherever you... Where is it? Meta lives in uh, Netherlands, doesn't it? No, uh, Norway. Oh, it's Norway, isn't it? That's not too far. A couple of ferries. Ooh, did it work? Our generators will be kicking in. Nice. Yep, it's just kicked in. Potentials. <laughs> nice. Yep. Um, I'm anyway, just going to disappear, did... but I'm going to disappear for a bit because I'm just going to talk to you mate, guys, so I'll be back in later. Don't blow anything up without me. Do you look at my potato internet buffer every two seconds? Oof, I hate it when we get buffing on streams and stuff. Alright, I'm heading over to the power room now to see how it's handling the uh, generator running. Alright, got 45 in there. I can actually hear it going on, off, on, off, on, off. <laughs> Yeah, I can. I'm watching it go on off, on off. <laughs> and good, it's not drawing a whole lump of coal each time it goes on off, even. Alright, yeah. the crackling, sadly, um, I'm hearing that with Aji as well. Look, unfortunately, Aji didn't speak when he first came in, he just sat there, so I didn't know it was my end there. Oh, that's how I know the difference. Okay, so it isn't me then? No. I was going to say, because the self testers, they seemed fine for me. Yeah, just to live with it for now, I think. So the question here is, do we increase the um, the amount of power? We need, to in we need to increase it because the doors on the way to the gas farm are losing power. Okay. In that case, I will grab the chip out of it. I will turn the generator on and leave it running. I think it was a whole lot of power then. Um. Yeah, okay. The potential was shooting up to about 17 kilowatts and then shooting back down to zero. So I reckon you probably need about 20 kilowatts as the threshold. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to melt in this room in a minute if I don't like, open the door and get out, but I need to see what gases we're getting in here. Uh, so we're getting 11% X. 2% N2, 2% O2, and 86% CO2. Okay. However, it is going to melt everything in the room eventually. So, open the door. Is there a gas outlet on that generator? Uh, no, it pumps into the air. So, we, all we want to do really in this room is have an active vent that sucks the air out of the room and sends it straight over to the uh, gap until you have to go to the Okay, so the waste pipe's above my head, I'll start running a pipe. Yeah, just send the pipe across. And uh, active vent on the, on, in the room somewhere. I would recommend connecting it to that red um, normal power cable, because that's got a battery backup on it. Drip out. Yeah. Even during the daytime, it'll still run. Although, technically, it only needs to run if the generator is running. So you can put it on the, uh, on the main power cable, coming from the solar, not when the generator kicks in. It'll uh, only work at night if there's power coming in. That's an option. Yeah, I think I might do that actually. Because that way it doesn't actually run when there's n when there's it'll run during daytime because of solar, and it'll run during night, but only if there's uh, the generator itself running. Right, first of all, I need a drink. I need to replace a battery, and then I can uh, go and repo going. So we take on about how many kilowatts? Do you think? Um, I would put twenty as a safe margin. It, right. it instantly puts in 17, but then it instantly goes again. Okay. But it's not potentially it puts in, it's how much charge it puts into the battery. Obviously, it pumps out like 20, uh, 
five kilowatts per tick. Yeah. Do the, do the chip in the uh, in the programming part already? Uh, yes, it's um to chip. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, import the code from my chip. I didn't want to like erase someone's chip, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could add another memory module, but that would be a problem. Uh, if I, I could add the memory module, and have to reprogram the code a little bit to bring in a couple of logic circuits, two memory modules and a comparator, detector between. That would add three, two new actual physical items and one input. For now, I'm just going to uh, hard code it again, but we could do that in the long run. All right. So right now, we've got it set to ten thousand. Which is 10 kilowatts. I'll set it to 30. 30? Nah, it's good. We'll go 40. If we need it, we need it. Because say it was charging it that particular battery up to 20. Yep. Before kicking it out. So you can go for anything over that. Yeah, I'll go 40. That way it kicks in, it charges it to double, and then. That's it. Uh, I don't know what the actual. <clears throat> if I knew what the battery's actual max charge was, that'd help actually. I think it's the config. I do have the config charge. I'm triggering so I can read what the battery's max charge is, and then I just I put in whatever the. I don't know. Um, it's like a really stupid high number. <laughs> and it comes yeah. from the Night circuit Megawatt. itself. It's coming it's from the cable analyzer. There we are. Um, right, so it's power actual is. So I read the power actual. Power potential. Power potential. I'm reading the power potential, aren't I? Right. And power potential. Potential is... at the moment is 9 megawatts. Which is full. Which is the maximum of the battery. Okay. So <clears throat> if we say 9 and 6 zeros is the maximum. If I set it to one and six zeros, or even two and six zeros, then we've got the whole uh, we've got a whole chunk of data power in the battery. Two and we go with six zeros. That would give it like 25% ish power. And I'm going to set, I'm going to have to set it to 200,000 rather than uh, being the difference. Because if you set your uh, minimum power to a little higher than that, you got a problem. <laughs> Alright. Kill that generator when you're over there. If you Please. Otherwise, you'll end up melting in that room until you activate ready. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the temperature, by the way, with door open? Um, it's thirty-two degrees. Oh, okay, it's not too bad thing. It was like it was hitting sixty-seven and climbing when I turned when I opened the door. Oh, I'll tell you why it's thirty-two degrees. It's run out. <laughs> yeah, it runs out of cold very quickly. That's why I want it to be like powered um, with via a logic circuit to uh, to not use all the coal up immediately. Because the problem we have with it before is the problem we have with it right now. Is you turn it on and walk away, it'll burn the entire lock hole, even if it doesn't need it. Yeah. Perfect. Alright, the one thing I would like to do on this at some point is to have a, a, a small shoot network <coughs> uh, come out about three or four blocks. We could chuck a load, load of coal or a load of biomass in, and that way it will run and then consume the next in the stack until it's uh, empty. Yeah. Do you break a pipe? Or make a joint in a pipe, should I say? I made a joint. Yeah, atmospheric error. <laughs> Every time someone puts a joint in a pipe, I get this little error come up saying atmospheric error, object not set to an instance of an object. <laughs> so, so far, the last time I checked anyway, the poll for a single player run 
is two votes for the moon, two votes for a hot world, I think it was, uh, zero votes for neutral, which is Mars, and one vote for cold, if I remember correctly. Okay, um, so if I'm going to go and build a sleeper room, I'm going to need two sleepers, because I don't, I don't personally need a sleeper, as it's my save file. But you and uh, Meta will. Um, I'm, I'm sure I built two, a couple of sleepers ages ago. But... Uh, I don't need to be sleepers myself right now. I need the rest of the room. But if you know it, if you find them, that would make life a little bit easier. So I'm going to make them again. It was when we were living in the old place. I, I came across them. but I don't see them, but they could be in another box or something. We have not much junk around. Yeah, well, we could have recycled them maybe. Uh, could have done. But I'm going to take a door. We'll need a door, definitely. Um, I'm going to need... I don't, actually, no, I don't need the door yet. I need, actually, to get the, uh, the foundations up. So I'm going to need foundational pieces. Foundational pieces. Uh, 18 wall pieces, that'll do, mate. And two steel frames. Uh, for some reason, I got a wrench in my inventory rather than in my tool belt. Uh, wall pieces, frames. Which I'm going to need to make frames because two is not enough for the entire open base. Uh, frame, 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 frames. Go. All right. Uh, then after I've got frames, steel sheets. I have six steel sheets, which isn't enough. It's a starter. Plastic for the wall. Okay. Um, okay, so that's all the starting material I need. I'll hook a whole bunch of cables and stuff like that later. Do, 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 do. I'll run this, I'll probably run the power cable off of the farm's power cable. Um, because I don't want to run anything else off of the gas farm itself since it's such a power hog. Yeah. And given how fast the main farm is actually draining things, I think it's probably a good idea to uh, give it another battery in there. Maybe two batteries, since it's a big power draw. Sounds good. Um, got these power kills on the floor, though. Maybe use one of the small batteries that we've got laying around. We've got three of them in the box. And then we go to the starter and then upgrade them to uh, bigger ones as and when needed. Right, grab these power cables and I'll do that right now actually while I'm waiting. Uh, I'll grab I'll, I'll give it two. There we go. Uh, I'm going to need more heavy cable to connect them. Because uh, I only have a small amount of heavy cable. And that being said, I'm going to need a lot of heavy cable anyway to run the cable out to a new area. Uh, I need copper. I went into the cupboard that we normally do for copper. Copper, 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 copper. Copper, copper, copper. Copper! <laughs> 12 grams. 12 grams is not enough for what I need to break it right now. Yep. You know what we could do with, actually, is fine. I'll drop it on the floor. What we could do with, uh, as a part of a system, is a couple of um, these stackers set to like 200. Just one pair set somewhere, and we put it in, and it immediately spits it out at the two once it's 200. So we can put, we can restack the actual um, vending machine. I mean, you could. Do that with the um, with the furnace. Yeah, if we have to run the furnace and do it. Because um, it's already set up as a stacker, uh, we just need to change the multiples to whatever. It yeah, we just have to run to the uh, the furnace to do it. I mean, you could do it in the in the production room. Just suck it into a machine, pull the lever, and say it's two hundred. But it'd be yeah. annoying. Okay, and this is going to cause a slight problem with the power cable. Oh, 
Oh, you can't stack them vertically on top of each other either. That's annoying. <laughs> there we go. And I really want to reroute that cable now. <laughs> <laughs> I have the I have I have no cable on me because I put it into the machine for uh, for redoing. Do 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 do. Do you not make the cable make faster? Actually, pressing the go button on the on the console. What hell? Yeah. Ooh, cables need. I need these heavy. Normal, normal, and normal. We have a lot of cables. This like six stacks of the side of the room as well. Give me what you've got there, and then we can move the rest that you make. How much, oh, wait, I don't, I'm making, how much material do you have in there? Uh, copper to 56 and gold. We're not gold. Oh, yeah, right. We're not gold before it runs out of copper. And I do need a lot of cables, high power cables in general, just for the, the way we're running stuff. Do, do, do. You never realize when putting a single fuse down on these uh, networks. Yeah, I realize that. Luckily, the, my network won't ever be an issue because um, everything's attached to transformers. But once it goes into the other place, it could be a problem. Probably should have put them on anyway, just for safety concerns. But uh, okay, let's get these batteries connected. Uh, I need to reboot that cable there first because. That's Big problem, and the problem I'm going to have is the moment I cut this cable, I need to move the cable analyzer. I need to move the cable analyzer, and that cable analyzer <coughs> um, will need to be rerouted. So, that'll, that'll break the, the logic circuit when I do that. Cut you. Cut you. Cut you. Cut you. Didn't need to cut any of you, apparently. Got the data cable, and apparently the data cable goes exactly where the uh, actual power cable will be going. So, yay! <laughs> A green cable, gone. Drill, battery, turn around, thank you. There. Alright, back you, rotate that away, and Okay, which side's the input on these small batteries? I think they're the same as the large batteries. Okay, that means that one's the wrong way around. I've pinched some of your heavy cable, by the way. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no worries on that. I've left the machine in now, so. Uh, they're actually, the, yeah, they're the same as the bit of ones. They, they, they go, um. Wait, they go. Double parts at the front. So they're the exact opposite of the uh, <laughs> the um, transformers, which has the double yeah. part on the back. Oh come on! I hate batteries. <laughs> the small battery switch is on the side, and it's up against the other transform. The little batteries, I can't actually get to it. <laughs> <laughs> you could use an IC circuit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just do the logic. Space it out, won't you? <laughs> I don't want to space them out, you see, that's the thing. I want to make sure we can get more in here if we need to. You could hook up just um, a logic switch up to it to switch it on, and then that's it. Okay, I can, that, that I can do. That is something I can definitely do, because it saves me so much hassle. Uh, that needs to be moved over here, though, and I'll come and get a logic switch in a minute. Power cables, you are connected, you are connected, you just need turning on, on, you can't be turned on yet because you're evil. Um, output goes, oop, yellow cable for output. Gas fan is currently powered down, and back on again. And then curve. Alright, so the output for both batteries is now 
feeding that. The other battery can't do Yay, it until I get it. Finally, off work cool for a bit. Also, 46 months of craziness. Peter and company, thanks all for the wonderful community. CPT, thanks for being the designated adult. The rest of you are just dolts. Smirk. <laughs> Thank you, Toad. Very much appreciated. And, and you know, honestly, you being here in the community is great. Um, you, you've been one of the. the I would actually say you've been a great friend over the uh, over the years. So uh, thank you for being here as well. I'm gonna. St I'm gonna stick a small spur here that I can use for the cable analyzer. Which is right. right there. I need to uh, <laughs> to give you a message as well, by the way. Did it? Yeah, in the uh, in the in Twitch chat. <laughs> Thanks for being the designated adult. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Did you um? Have you watched the zombie video when I was morning? This afternoon. Uh, no, I haven't yet. Right, in the Zombug video, at the very end, I've gone and put the list of all subs uh, for Twitch, because it's a Twitch stream, um, stream VOD. Yeah. I put a list of all the Twitch subs uh, and the little description next to each person, and your description just says they need Adult. Because Raven lost her account, and her old account still subbed, and the new account is the chat up you gave her sub to. Yeah. Um, if you're in the, you in the power building over there. Uh, I am, yes. Um, cable analyzer. Um, one second. Yes. Farm cable analyzer. Um, the cable analyzer for the gas farm. Is yep. we'll need reconnecting on on the circuit screw for it. Screwdriver, probably the first one, and I call it gas fire and cable analyzer. Yeah, thank you. There's no coal in the. Uh, I know. It, we, we could have turned it on without the logic. It did burn for the coal pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, so, so Toad, thank you very much for being around. You uh, you make life very interesting. And that's actually a compliment, not one of those interesting that we all regret. <laughs> uh, thanks for testing all the bridges, and hopefully we'll get you a working bungee card. Uh, do you think we've been there and eaten one that got to get near? Yes. See, we have we have people that are actually useful in this community. We have Adia keeps people away from us. We have Bram makes sure the bridges are safe. We have Captain makes sure we, you know, when, we, when we screw up that someone took after us. Um, <laughs> We got Chattoka to give us a size and correct all of our mispronunciations and spellings. <laughs> and also to keep Toad happy when he wants to find someone to annoy. Um, <clears throat> you know, we've got, we got people with different tasks and different skill sets. Also, Toad, thank you for the resub and because of resub. Go give it a spin. See what cool we get. The brown ones. Brown one, brown one, brown one. Need to find a brown one. There we go. Ah! It tried to escape. It tried to escape. Alrighty, brown one. Don't want to use a transformer as a diode. It's a waste of transformer. <laughs> okay. That was a sting bug. <laughs> See? Adia tries to troll me and gets a good flavour. Toad just tries to be nice and gets a bad flavour. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it's probably because it's. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's actually. Yeah. Probably is, actually. Okay. How are we doing on. Um, potential is 5.93 and dropping. So in theory, if it drops down to, I think it probably sit down to like 10,000 or something like that. I can't remember what the actual memory is set to. <clears throat> but once it kicks in, it should go up to uh, 2 megawatts. I mean, 
It's recommended by Tenet Ten Newcomers, i.e. Alien Nation's reference. I like Alien Nation, it was a good series. And it was such a long time ago, I don't remember any of the references though. You know, I came back there for the Logic Switch mention. I know you got in there somewhere. And I got there and I turned, I grabbed a drink of water and I came back. A Logic Switch, I believe, is a uh, Logic Processor. Uh, the I, one thought it was the, after. I thought it was his logic switch. It was in the wall. No. This one here. You want um, this okay. one? Okay. This great. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's called that um, logic switch. You scroll around to get a button. You get a switch eventually. Yeah. I just scroll through yeah. to see and, and match it up. <clears throat> How do I program it? Is it got a... I mean, literally with a screwdriver. Oh, it's a screwdriver point on it. Look cool. it up. Um, there's an input and an output on either side with a power on top. And then a screwdriver for um, what you want to set and what uh, variable you want to set. No, I, you, I think you got the wrong switch there. It looks the same, but I don't see any screws on it, so yeah, I think you're right. Also, I didn't see any, like, Power markers on it, just data. So, see that one's yeah. got data and power. It's important button. Where do Switch you want? on is data and data. Yeah. So you you, uh... you got one. There, there it is. Yeah. So it's one of that. I have no interest space for it. So uh, I need the drill. I need to put it um, near the battery. Oh, there we go. I need you to go here. That one. And assume data out as well. Yeah, data out is what I'm wanting. Now I'm going to get the power because it's awkward. Uh, power, 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 power. Power. That way. That way. That way, that way, and then I'll have to recall the cable when I'm done. And um, why cut though? Let's make this connection. Connect. There we go. All right, now a screwdriver. <clears throat> I've already set it for you. Oh, thank you. That should hopefully do it. There we go. Thank you. All right, wire cutters. Oop, wire cutters. You, 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 and then you. But now I need to throw that one on the floor, grab that one, pick the stack up again, because it's you know, not complicated at all. <laughs> that one there, and then straight through there. There we go. But it, it is a kind of cheaty way of uh, recolouring your cables, but. It is. Except for the fact that when I picked up the cable that was there, it made it red, so I, yeah. I'm using it as that mechanism. Also, I think what's really super cheaty is there is a pin station, but you don't need it because you can just make them with, with iron. Yeah. Right, so this now should have a lot more potential because three batteries attached. What was that? Okay. Transformer. Ooh, zero KPA on the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the power generation room now. How far we have got up this way? That one teeny tiny vent still struggling to do all the work. Oh, we'll KPA out this way. It's not a big issue. Da, 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 da. I think this door to the uh, furnace room wants removing, personally. <clears throat> um, I say one's all removing, but I think that it's just like. Does it want removing though? <laughs> I think it wants probably setting back one square, maybe. But this does this want to be double doors or want just one door at the uh, lighting to the corridor? But I don't know. We get to it eventually anyway. I uh, need to power all these up at some point as well. I need to like a dedicated um, power line. <clears throat> for uh, for vents and lights and corridors. Okay. Oop. 
So, power room battery is, is done, power problem is solved for now until we get more solar panels and running. Um, if you are needing anything, let me know, cable wise. That should be good. If you're needing uh, transformers, we should have a few of them around actually. Yep, five transformers over here in the box. Oh. I drew them out of the old power room, so. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that, but I just made another one. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, a few little bits. I, I took up the old power rooms transformers, so we have those. So I came yeah. here to see if my if my sheets are being made yet, my steel ones. So I think I ran out of steel when I was doing stuff. So. What an extra kit wall, though. Uh, so I'm going to need, uh, 14 actually might be enough to get the foundations down, take the roof. It doesn't need to be a big room. So, sleeper room, where would we put the sleeper room? <coughs> so we can have to go straight opposite production, which kind of makes sense, but there's a power room right there, which might be too close. Um, yeah, I was thinking maybe opposite the art furnaces. Yeah. I mean, is it close, too close to that uh, monument, is the question. Well... I, really want, I, want, I ideally want it off this corridor, because we need a reason to have this corridor here. Yeah, other than that other it furnace. Might, I'm going to cover it down here at the end, opposite the, the main furnace, if it's too close to that monument. We'll see how big it needs to be. The thing is, we need it somewhere close to the airlock, I think. Well, I'm going to put an airlock at the other end by the act furnace, and by the advanced furnace, anyway. Yeah. Just as, This is the main airlock, which is, got, is bulky. Um, the other way I look at the event would be just a small one by one to come off the edge of the, the tunnel. Yeah. Um, which I want to get that up and running as well because I want to be able to go out that way quickly. And we need another airlock out by the gas farm. We want, we want look about three or four airlocks basically. Yeah. So this active vent, what's it connected to? It's not connected at the moment, I will be connected in a second. Okay. But, um, you see that little transformer that's next to the generator. That oh yeah. The... Alrighty. And then it's it'll be connected to the um... output of the generator and solar panels. Yeah. So it will take power directly from power generation rather than from power storage, and that way, it, if it's night time and it's powered, it can only be powered if the generator is on, which is literally the only time the problem occurs. So it's not drawing power during the daytime at uh, night time, and there's no reason for it to be on. <clears throat> Excellent. I don't, I don't think this is going to work, is it? Why are you, uh... Because the solar panels will feed back into this. Yeah, but it's fine. I mean, it'll run during the day because of solar panels. Not a problem. It'll vacuum its room out during the daytime. <clears throat> and then at night time, it'll shut down because solar panels haven't got any power, so... I mean, there is a bug in this game at the moment where the... Uh, if a room's not pressurised, it's free. it freezes. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. This room freezing cold doesn't matter. We're not going to be uh, taking suits off in here, so. Yeah. <clears throat> it is weird though, because it is. It, they think it's a lot of people think it's a feature, but to me it's just okay. But um, in real, in the real world, a vacuum can still be hot. It's the reason why um, astronauts have spacesuits are white, and why space stations and spaceships are white is to reflect the heat. That they get from the sun. Then they have radiators, but the radiators are always on the back of the graphs. Also, if anyone's wondering why I'm staring at the sun right now, it's because someone sat on my table and pushed the uh, the mouse and put my screen upwards. No, I can't reach the mouse even because if you look at my that's where my mouse is now. Look right there. And there's that in front of it. <laughs> hey, Smudgy. Hi, Sleepy. You went to bed this morning at about 7am with me, and you've just woken for the first time. Missed his dinner. Anyone who knows cat world means that, uh, that that's a big no-no. You don't miss your meals because cats are always hungry. They're like DJs. I've read your eyes out as well. You just woke up, you? just woke up and come down steps. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to be just a minute, and we give him some food. <coughs> um, I have enough retos in my inventory to not die immediately, so I'll be back in a sec. And back. Food is already ready, just need to put it out for him. Ah. Okay. I'm going to go check on the farm. It's still on passive uh, temperature and reduction right now. Once that, once I check the farm, I'm gonna go and start building the uh, the foundations for the sleeper room. <coughs> that one. That one. That one. Temperature is at 22 degrees Celsius right now. Target temperature is 20, so it is a little bit warmer than the target. <coughs> but I'm going to leave it alone. It can't go... Right, so it has to be above 15 and below 50. Alright. I want to be outside with these frames and see how we're... Uh, how we're going to do here. So... <clears throat> I really done my layout. Um, my number five jumpsuit um, thing now has my mining belt and my tracer in it. Because it turns out I only need the tracer and the mining belt when I'm outside, so I don't need to keep a menu open. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to need in this new area um, <clears throat> that's a skull move on that, uh, that battery. It's facing the wrong way now. It's facing down. <laughs> I'm guessing wind blew over or something because it's obviously uh, a bit vacuum now. Anyway, um, we're going to need a sleeper, and a sleeper takes up a whole cell by itself. <clears throat> we'll need a, a filter in there, um, an air conditioner, most likely, uh, a logic circuit, and to turn the system on and off. And probably a suit rack would be a good idea as well. Suit rack would be. A, do we need a suit rack? Is a question. <clears throat> so suit racks basically, you take your suit off and put it in the rack. It drains your waste tank. It fills your oxygen up, and it refills your uh, jetpack, and charges your battery. But we're pretty competent at doing that ourselves, so I don't think we need to worry about a suit rack, do we? Not really, no. I think a good idea for, if to have a suit rack is where we put the respawn chamber. So you respawn the suit right in front of you. And that would probably make sense to do that in the farm area. No, the farm could be kind of CO2 rich, so... Wherever we put the uh, the suit rack, it's going to be a good place for it. And apparently I missed a piece of walling on the uh, airlock walls, so I better put that up there before someone digs into a wall and depressurizes part of the base. Foundation wise, <clears throat> um, the foundations will require all that machinery. So the sleepers won't wear the filter, 
will be another square. The aircon probably sit on the same square as the filter. Plus the door to come in. So you can get three squares minimum. So a two by two will give you the four squares without any problem. Um, because we don't like the world to fall into chaos and everything burn, we'll do a, simply do a three by three so we can have a central doorway. <laughs> Maybe even a three by two will probably work as well. So one, two, three would give us a one square gap to the power room, which isn't actually that bad. We can walk between that to the power room without a problem, then, can't we? <clears throat> I can fit a. Uh, I could fit a three by three very easily straight opposite the production room. Um, or I can do it straight opposite the arc furnace, and we've got more room to expand if we need to. Any suggestions? I mean, if we're going for aesthetics, we probably need a larger room. With like set up bedrooms and um, how about a communal area? How about a a three by three room here, where we have at the bottom of it we have gas tanks, <clears throat> so we can just drop your canister in there, top your oxygen up, top your jetpack up, you know, gas hot gas canister on the wall, maybe a, a small couch or something like that, just some little bit, like a little lobby. Yeah, and an elevator that takes you up to the upper floor, and that upper floor sits on top of the power room. You can bridge over there, can't it? Would that look yeah. alright? What do you think? Yeah. Either that, or we build it over by the monument. Because in theory, the room's only needed um, <clears throat> during the log off time. So it could be upstairs, and yeah. we could have it. So you go upstairs, and you have the three by three here, plus the extra one here, plus the upstairs can go there. It does mean the power room won't have the uh, windows on the roof. That's not end of the world to remove those. Did the skull fell off the power of the battery. I just watched it fall off when you opened the door. <laughs> yeah. That was what I was afraid of. We need to put a, uh, a shelf in there. That entire roof could really do with uh, cladding straight down. You're just making my job more difficult, are you? Well, no, because I actually have the materials to do it right here. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, it was 18 walls and 26 panels, so... Uh, type 1s... Ah, the skull! It's gone miles away! <laughs> it went out the door, did it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it hit the monument. There we go. <laughs> We can probably stick it in one of the corners, it'll probably be out of the way of the, the jet stream. <laughs> now, why is it 40 kPa in here though? Wow. Does that say two inwards? No, oh, it's outwards. It's powered up anyway, but. I open the door. School doesn't move. That's good. <laughs> it's safe in that corner. <laughs> yeah, pressure's going down in here though. Quite nice, I think. We just need to turn this vent on at some point. I turned it off to stop depressurizing it. Or Hello. attempt to stop depressurizing it. Hey, RJ. I dropped a fridge on my foot. Probably want to stop doing that. Especially when the fridge is full, it weighs a ton. Ow. Ow. I dropped the jelly babies. I dropped the jelly babies behind it, so I had to go fish them out, so I had to move the bridge out of the way. So no. Fair. Worth it. Right, do we want to go <clears throat> um 
three by three elevator and up on the roof or do we want to go bigger on the ground floor with no upstairs what's your personal preference on that one building because if you three by three you'd be one block wide here I think upstairs to be honest okay I like the idea of having an upstairs for it straight opposite, so I need to remove this wall panel. Go back. There. And then I grind it to remove that. So I put the foundation there. Foundations. Frame. Frame. in the middle just to make it all framed. Frame. Alright, now I don't have enough uh, steel for this. Another bean. Not a human bean through. They are mine. I have enough for some of these. I'm going to need some steel plates just to get these uh, foundation pieces done. But, I need one, I need two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen steel plates. If you have them on you, that'd be great. If not, I'll go make them. <clears throat> no, I don't have them. Already? I just said beans! Already, beans it is. Ready? Bean spin! <laughs> Yellowy one. I believe it's that one. There's two yellowish ones though. I need to look at the back of the packet now to figure which one's which. Do, 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 do. Do I need to get some more coal for this? Uh... Yes, it'll need it'll need coal. That one. That one, that one there. This that one. I believe. I like popcorn. <laughs> Coming for the airlock. No, no. I mean, going that bit close. I need steel for the uh, foundational pieces. <laughs> By the way, your wheel's still up on stream. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> right, drink, 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 and drink complete. Uh, I have a battery problem as well. Poppy corn, and nice. My brother has been gardening all day. That's, that's cool. I like that. Okay. What's he been planting, or just like de weeding, or what? What's he been doing with that? Um, steel plates. Any steel plates already made? Uh, nope. Okay. Steel sheets. Need steel, apparently. That's the thing we need, right? Iron, constant iron, nickel, silver, lead, nickel, electrum, nickel, silicon, lead, silver, inver, solder, copper, 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 nickel. Uh, I think we're out of steel. In that machine? Okay, so not in there. Uh, you've got iron in there. You've got 92 grams of steel. Yoink! There, Put the gold in there as well. Uh, I saw there was a planting flowers, tilling soil, falling into a hole. He dug. He sent me some pics. Spent nice. fifty pounds on plants today. That's, that's cool. I like I like gardening. I don't do it very often because it's always too hot or too cold. It's never like just the right temperature to go out and do gardening. <clears throat> Ooh, Captain, have you seen the sensor glasses yet? No. Oh, yes. Sorry. 
<laughs> we need rare alloys for that, don't we? Yeah, but uh, the, I think we have one. If we have one pair, and we just stick them in the cupboard for our mining purposes, <clears throat> when somebody goes mining, they can take them and find what they need. Are they the ones that allow you to look under? You yeah, basically, when you put them on and you turn them on, it uh, shows you everything below the, all the ores below the surface. Okay. So it puts them on. It puts the all the resources on the hood when you when you're when you're walking around, so they're good for mining purposes. <clears throat> Definitely, he just played the holes from now and then. And the ones he made himself as well. <laughs> oh, I miscounted by two, two sheet, steel sheets, annoyingly. I thought I said 12, I must have counted 14. What's the bean memory? Nice things, RJ. Honestly, nice things. There's no clips of it, so that's why you know it's true. I need two more steel sheets. One. How are you for filters, by the way? I'm just about to make one. Um, filters, filters, filters. Uh, yeah, I'm. I have one filter remaining. <coughs> Uh, so here, if you uh, want that one and that one for recycling, Pressing X to those are the empty ones. Uh, that'll grab the ones when I come back. It's just probably easy. So, okay, it's, not, it's moving to 93%, so I'm, I'm good. Pressing X to doubt. <laughs> Cycle faster. Thank you. So I put the uh, projects on by um, Peter. Time for the, RJ Wellness check. Line. Stretch, hydrate, posture, and cat. The fact there's twelve episodes to that series now, so I've broke it, broke the lot down into episodes, each an hour long. There we go. Put that there. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. There we go. Yep. I do wellness check. Stretch, hydrate. Posture check and cat. I have a nice cup of chamomile tea here, so hydrating is going to be very tasty. And as for cats, currently there are no cats. They're all eaten and going out, or eaten and sleeping. <coughs> right, 16 wall pieces. Let's see if this is going to be enough. Composite window there. Composite window there. Composite windows. Do we want composite windows this room? This <coughs> this will be the other where the elevator's gonna be. Or the elevator's gonna be. I'll put the elevator on the side because if we put it over to here, the cables will be stuck out the back and that'll be kind of oh, like annoying. I always try to do this at least once a stream, not because I need healthy food. Not at all, smile. <laughs> um, put that on the roof. Oh, not on the roof. We need a normal one there. Thank you. Rotate that. There. Okay. Um. <coughs> this room. You walk in. The canisters on this side. Maybe a battery charger on this side because you might need energy coming out. Maybe drinking water as well. You know, the, the, the few little amenities that you might need <coughs> down here. Then an elevator. Um, I think actually it might be good to have an elevator here, maybe. Hmm. Trying to have I want the elevator to be. So how do you roll back a stream to see what was said about you? I think um, well, in, in on the desktop, you uh, go to videos, you click on the current video, which will be this stream, and then you can go back to the time you want. <clears throat> I don't know how you do it on mobile, though. I don't know if you can do it on mobile. Don't think you can, no. Is that call in the generator, by the way? Just so. 
Yeah, not um, yet, no. I haven't thought about it. Yeah. Not in the YouTube currently. Uh, 23.5 megapascals. <laughs> um, what, where, what? That's how much I have to put. How much pressure I have to put into this furnace. Uh, okay, so power room is going to shut down the gas generator very shortly, as it's about to be night time, and the battery is already at zero percent. Might need to expand solar soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. If I put it here. You walk in, a little bit will be there, right in front of you. Literally, like there. With a wall there. And it's one square, so it's going to be quite small. But you can go down the side here, do some stuff there, do that there. But I'll put it here. <coughs> All we put on the side, you walk in, it's here. Maybe even here. And then we've got all this area here for any amenities. A 3x3 three three room is quite large for what we're doing here, if, we're, if the other is in the middle of the room. Yeah, I need help. Making decisions is hurting. <laughs> <laughs> so the problem I've got is if I put the elevator here, on this back square, yeah. the cables will be here in the, in the walkway between the, the power room. So the, you can't clad the back of it. <clears throat> and it doesn't look good. So don't really want to hear. So either means it goes here or here on the side pieces. Right? It could go in a corner. But I was thinking maybe put it right in the very centre of the room. So you, you the elevator would be here. And then you'd have the side pieces to do stuff. Can I trust you in a new concept called yes. stairs? Are they like three squares long? Or are they two squares long? Um, probably two. Need one, so we need if the two, we need to widen the room out because you have to go up two floors because of the middle floor for the for the air floor chamber. Yeah. Yeah. Other than so that, other could do ladders. I don't really want ladders. Not for this room. The, the, the ladders make sense in like industrial areas, but not in like not in constant communal areas. Stairs are a good idea. Um, they have to place them here going up two squares, out, then turn and go up another two squares, which would then put you. You, have to, you, don't, you won't be able to do that. You have to go up two squares, have a, a little bit of walkway in the gas corridor, unfortunately. Hmm. Because, of the, because of the limitations of this room's position, it kind of said no stairs. Although, to be fair, we don't, if we don't have the walkway here, um, occupy we could take, yeah take the two there then the stair will be there that'll work because your, your stairs will be above the walkway yeah that'll work stairs need two sets of stairs stairs would actually work okay just um, bending some iron yup yeah. Bending iron. Ba, ba, da, da. I need two shoots minimum. There's a bunch of coal, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> uh, to get the power generator room a bit more reliable as well. One of them be theme mate today. Somebody turns up late. Somebody doesn't turn up. I know he's working on stuff like uh, track mania courses and stuff like that. Yeah. At least that's what he's been doing the last few weeks. It takes a little bit of time to do them. That cable. Uh, I'm going to want normal cable. Uh, we don't have any stairs made, do we? Here you go. Oh. Thank you. Coal here as well. Isn't that covered? Okay, yep. You need. Uh, I ideally want two vents as well, just to give it a bit of stack. 
There are. There's an active vent in here. No, um, shoots the ones to put coal in, so it'll sit. Oh. It'll be pulled into the machine shoot. automatically. Yes. Um. I think we have any more. Yeah, I don't see any more. So shoots. They require. Oh yeah, I've got it all in there. Okay, good. Just need two, I think, for now. Because that's three spaces then, isn't it? So the machine plus two. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Uh, okay. What fun is it if you watch this? You can play space balls. When is this? This is now. This is now. This is now. No, this is now. But the only real option is to pick up the entire base and move it in one square in the other direction. Your room. That makes sense. Uh, Mater, got a job for you. <laughs> you pick up the entire base and move it one square that away. <laughs> I mean, with the amount of stuff in the um, power room over there, we could maybe rearrange it to be one narrower. Yeah, Pap and Todd was actually talking about moving the uh, yeah the whole power, the whole the whole big base. It's, it's towed after all. Yes. Um, I'm just being see. the voice of reason. <laughs> You're being the designated adult again. <laughs> <laughs> Put that one there and that one there. So they're ready to go. I just realized I came over you without coal. So that won't work very well. <clears throat> do, 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 do. And I can see almost every battery is flashing red now. Well, two oranges and a, and a flashy red. <clears throat> I'll come over with some coal. Thank you. I'll be coming back inside with it. Don't worry. Staircases. Alright, do we have different versions? We do have different versions. Ooh. Alright, so I'll put them this side, I think. And they are two squares. They won't need a, a railing on the right hand side because there'll be a wall that side. <coughs> going up the first one at least. And on the second one, they won't need any railings because there'll be uh, a thing on both sides at that point. However,. There's currently a roof in the way that I'm going to have to remove because that roof's on the outside. That shoot was annoying, was it? I thought I'd take anything from a shoot. It needs to be an inlet. I thought I'd take anything from a normal shoot. No. Because <clears throat> what I was thinking is having it go up into the roof and then feed into the other room so we could actually feed it from the from about to go outside the airlock <laughs> at some point. But that's for later once we get the room first done. Okay. So, in order for this staircase to work, uh, I need to remove this piece of roofing. Um, crowbar. Remove the glass. Ah. Angle grinder to remove the, uh, the crowbar again to remove the plastic. And then the angle grinder to remove the window. And then put the replacement one on the inside. And it'll be a wall type. Uh, but I can't see which way it's, found. it's facing, so. Yeah, that looks about right. There. Then two little plastic on the roof. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> and do that across this entire block basically. So crowbar, double crowbar everything. Damn it. There we go. And crowbar that one, because it's also need to be placed by roofing rather than the windows and on the inside, so we can floss there. Uh, window frames, grinder. Put the roof back on. And this will allow me to build on top of it then. Plastic. 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 There we go. We are now resealed again.
Okay, staircase goes up. And then from here, I should be able to put the other staircase down now, right? Staircase there, and this one won't need a railing on either side because this will be below the surface with a wall on both sides. There we go. And that means up to here where you can actually uh, then walk around once we get up here. This will be good. This piece of roofing needs removing. Crowbar. Because it's going to be a new floor. Um, I need the angle grinder. Remove that one, remove that one. Pick up the plastic, put it in my inventory. The remove the ability to drag stuff into. There we go. Into stuff sometimes. Alright. Oh. Alright, so that gets us up to here. Then we get here and we need flooring. So I'm going to need those grates uh, for the floor. I'm going to have to move that daylight sensor as well for the uh, for the power gen. This staircase does get us where we need to be, though. That's good. Right, so do the downstairs walling just so I know the walls are in place. Um, here, we're going to want windows. Uh, a window there. A window there, and a window there, and a window there, and then here I think we should have walls because it's going to be the way the staircase is. There, and then back here, um, we can put walls under the stair as well. Yeah, but that's the wrong way around. it on its side there and there do you want it to two of them this one makes sense this one yeah which will put two of them there two walls half the window would be in the staircase so it probably doesn't make sense to put that there this side on the other hey. hand can be windows yep i think something's wrong with your code okay it's not running it's, it's not running you may have tried to turn it on when there was no call, maybe freaked out, I don't know. Um, turn itself off or off constantly. Ah, you will link the gas farm sensor to the farm sensor. I think? Yes. No. Death Farm Cable Analyzer. There we go. Jim is on. <laughs> yeah, because there's a farm and the gas farm. Just to be annoying. Yeah, okay. Production, farm, and gas farm. Yep, there we go. I'm guessing the farm itself wasn't low enough power to uh, trigger anything. No. Uh, the, the active is doing a good job. The temperature in here is 12 degrees Celsius and it's barely getting any pressure. Three, it's, it's 300 um, PA and yeah. The the the, the, uh, the single active is more than handling it. And the sun's coming up. Alright, so two normal walls there, windows there, windows there, windows there, windows there. If we're going to be putting tanks and stuff down, I might just leave this blower piece for a second until we figure out. Do you need a frame to put a battery charger, gas canisters and kind of stuff on the walls? I think you can do it on a wall, as long as the wall's facing inwards. Right. These are my last piece of my jetpack fuel to place these walls down. Alright, 
put these frames in so I know they're at least started. I've got uh, a couple of pieces of glass, so I will glass these up as well. And these ones will need to be double sided at some point because they're going to be inside the building as well as outside the building. Ah, fell through. For these two here, just as a starting point. Okay, so I'm going to need a lot more of these uh, wall segments. I don't want the room to be one to appear, but I think it's got good potential. Hydration critical. Right. Looking good. Looking good. Hey, it's much. Welcome back. because that's critical. Which you can put a water bottle in your mining belt, that way you can have it when you go out. I won't be good. Uh, where did you put the filters by the way? That you made? Um, I never made it. She ran out. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think if you put them out, I'll get them when I come back and uh, I want to show. Um, let's see. I came back in here because now I need more walling. Uh, we don't have any walling, and they also need grates and stuff for the floors. So, let's start with the grates, because then I can walk around up there when I'm doing stuff. Uh, it will need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 minimum. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Do me 17 grates. Uh, it needs an iron. Iron. I need iron for that. That's not enough iron in the system. So, put that stack in there. Da, 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 da. Five. Seventeen is what we need to get that room so I can walk around upstairs. <clears throat> then I need to put walling up and other stuff to protect the place. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Toad, how you doing? It was horrible. What happened, Toad? Did, did someone talk to you? Did someone make you go to a, a bully place? Just as a real life spam call. Ooh, an actual, like, somebody on the phone? Who rings people in, in 2020, 20, 21, 25, 50, whatever it is? 17, there we go. Alright. Uh. Some guy with no mask around my doorbell and tried to sell me something. Oh, an actual in person one as well, not just a phone one. Ugh. Even worse. Even worse. And no mask. So, I'm assuming you did your hip job to get off my property until you have a mask on. And then still stay off the property because, you know, nobody wants you around. Because you're a salesperson. What the grating up here? Grating, grating, grating. Right, and then there, and then there. That's how big the room's going to be. It can be wider if it needs to be, because we have that capability. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do here. This might end up getting removed. Well, pushed, um, widened out maybe. Uh, I told him lost a sale because no mask and deported them. <laughs> Fair. I mean, I would have definitely told the person to leave at that point as well, because if you have a mask, if you don't have a mask on, you're not coming anywhere near me. I don't know who you are. I don't know what the situation you've been, especially if you're going door to door. So you're coming in actively contact with people. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, so, room should obviously be a minimum of 500% tiles side by side because we have that build. We do have that build, actually. <laughs> so, Tull says the room should be 500 by fi 500 uh, wide by 500 wide. Okay. Uh, and also, it says get on that. <laughs> right away. Uh, okay. As long as it's not gyros. <laughs> gyros are amazing. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Do, 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 do. I need a lot of. Uh, Actual like wall pieces. <clears throat> and that I mean wall pieces um, and plastic. Hey, it's magic. It's passing by, are we? I don't need these foundation pieces anymore. <clears throat> I probably have one extra grate. Okay, that's great. Haha, <laughs> see why you did that. <laughs> I knew some I knew Todd didn't notice it. <laughs> but I didn't know if you pick it up straight away. Merge. Come here. This side. This side. Over here. This way. There we go. Nope. Got ya. Haha, <laughs> They're making quite nicely. Toad's now posting gyro memes in the uh, live stream chat. In, on Discord. <laughs> Alrighty. That 22 board line. Hey, Milo's, how are you doing? Um, because you've been asking, I know you're interested. Um, Evil Genius 2 recordings will start on probably Sunday. I was hoping to do it a bit earlier, but I need something to be delivered first. How many have we got these now? 28. <clears throat> you got silicon in there? We do. I feel like you need one of every machine, but you need like 15 of these, uh, <laughs> these um, auto lifts. It's pretty much everything you do needs an auto live. How are you doing? I'm doing very good, thank you. I'm doing very good. How are you? That in there doesn't actually need to exist in the roof anymore since that's connected to the main piping network. I got 30 of these, so it means I need at least 60 plastic. Although, some of them be windows actually, so I need glass. Uh, I saw glass earlier. What is being used? It should be. There we are. I won't need 50 windows, so I won't take the 50 glass. More than the 50 glass. Crap. Well, you're done. No, I just I forgot that uh, connected the verses to the inventory. <laughs> I've just made either. It just made steel. I was expecting it to come out. <laughs> <laughs> you have a bypass uh, lever to stop going to the inventory or not? No, I don't. I was just going straight into the inventory. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah, uh, okay. You might want to do what you did with the other furnace, where you have like a lever you can pull to uh, have it go out locally. <laughs> yeah. I find just finished talking. Excellent. How are you doing? How was how was the how was the job? Put that there. Need ten of these. Three, four, five, six. I've noticed, by the way, how quiet the production room is now. Yes, I have noticed that actually. It's because of the uh, lack of air in the room. Yeah. <laughs> We're down in um, Pascal levels, rather than Killer Pascal levels. Um, all the batteries are still low. <coughs> three for three kilometers, Ooh, decent run. We're going to need to. Uh, I think we're going to need to expand the power generation. I think the emergency generator is good, but it's not able to keep up with the demand. <clears throat> right. So I'll get on that in a moment. I just need the materials to make it. Put that down there. Needs to be a wall. Go in there. Plastic back. Alright, so if I make sure this is all cladded up. So for a second, get back. This one should be facing down. Good. Okay, so we have the entry point there for that. So we can't put in one there or here. So this is going to be all part of the base here. So we're going to need uh, plastic on the bottom. We need frame there on the sides. <coughs> that side. Wall types rotate, rotate that way. So there, 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 and also there, 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 there. there. the roof as well. There. Oh, what is the roof doing? Because the roof is going to be, um, roof is all grates. And that's all fine. So then this see here will be the side walls. Uh, so once we're up here, we'll have windows going round. <coughs> windows there, there, and there on that wall. And how long is this place? So this is one, two, three, four, five, six long currently. And it can be wider if it needs to be wider on the upper deck. <coughs> One, two, one, two, three, that. Whereabouts are you in the base right now? I'm in the advanced furnace. Okay. Put a wall there. Just to hide the fact the power room is there, basically. That probably won't stay like that. Because you can see the power room out of that window, so that probably wants expanding out another notch or two. Or maybe removing. Well, it be the power grid, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, basically.
gives us this little bit up here. Um, Um, okay, um, so on the roof, we're going to want to have the roof panel, which makes you know, logical sense to some people, right? Uh, I think this one wants to be a line of actual roof. Um, I, just, I don't know why I feel that one should be the only piece of up here that's actually like proper roofing. Everywhere else should be windows to look up. The night sky. I think it's just because to me when you come up the stairs you don't want to be looking at the power generator and wall scaffolding. <laughs> Might want to pull one grid back maybe as well. I have a feeling that's one a uh, little bit one too many grids. Classic. Don't do these down here. You forgot about these. case you can see into the cavity. Uh, that on the cladding there. Okay, uh, we need more walls and more plastic, but the glass wires I'm good. In fact I should put the glass up there first. So you a better idea how much glass I'm gonna need. side windows in up here. So it's just the roofing to put up. Uh, put the roofing up. Seal the back wall. And then we've got to, uh, to pressurise. Well not pressurise, but to uh, start depressurising this room. I'll link into the main base. Um, well my loves, that zombie was really after you, huh? I used, I used to run. Now I can waddle, and uh, not before my knee. Yeah, yeah. Toad can't run very, very much <clears throat> anymore. Oh. And power lights up. What was the whole oh, 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 Did you almost blow something up? Nah. Yeah, like... <laughs> Sounds reliably safe. I just went up to fifty megapascals. <laughs> And what's the limit of the furnace? What, 50 I'm uh, guessing? Just over 50, I think. <laughs> it is roaring. <laughs> it's roaring, and you're in a place with no atmosphere, hardly, so it should be very quiet anyway. <laughs> Imagine what it'd be like if there was atmosphere. What's the air pressure, by the way? Uh, it's five kilopascals here. I've had to close off the furnace room from the rest of the base. Five kilopascals, though. 
Yeah, um, I accidentally dropped a piece of um, volatile. Ah, okay. I'm gonna say it's like it didn't really have out the gas furnace. I don't finish um, output. Storm incoming. Three hundred seconds. Okay. Calm down, Fairness. Calm down. <laughs> so I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to get the uh, room itself sealed. Um, recycle some of these like what, flat wall kits and stuff unless we're going to use them. Yeah. Do we, do, do we use a flat wall kit for anything? Is that the one that does the corner pieces? Uh, I think it does actually, yes. Yeah, Let's so what we'll recycle around. then because they could be useful to keep around. The padded wall, I'm not sure what we'll keep around for. Padded one and geometric. We've got, I've never used, never seen them. Save the game, did it, when Captain Carl went, oh my god! <laughs> I saved the game immediately. <laughs> uh, and Lady Raven said, give me 1,000 spudgets. Right, add points, and I know you can do it with a bonus, but I'm going to try the points one again. See if we get it right, we're around. Yay! 195 seconds away. We think the upstairs bit, by the way. Should be big enough to do all the work. Yeah. I was thinking about running a corridor across to the upstairs of the production as well, since it's straight line there. Could do. I mean, we've already got the foundation there, haven't we? Exactly. It just seems to be placing, digging up the uh, the roofing, putting grates down instead. This is still roaring. <laughs> as long as it's not increasing in pressure, we're good. No, it's going down, fortunately. Do you, are you making the thing for sensor glasses by any chance? I am trying to make the glasses, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to need a window there, window there, rotate it, put a window there, a window there, I think a wall would be best there. Uh, then for this, it's wall type one up on the roof, rotate it that way. One goes there, 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 and one goes there. And I put the plastic up and really hope that it doesn't care that I'm in this room. When the storm comes. I mean, it won't help because the upstairs isn't sealed, but. Glass. I assume I'm down to like 10 seconds or so. No idea. No way near. Oop, plastic, not glass for those. Okay, so that's the downstairs seal. The upstairs is mostly sealed, just needs the top pieces, which is 3, 6, 9, 12. Windows for all of them? Yeah. Maybe one row of actual window.
If I can get it done, uh, all the materials, I will head it out there and do it. But, um, regardless of the storm. Because I don't need to uh, fly anywhere. 12 seconds. <laughs> right. I need around 16 of these. I have 18. Apparently I can do it. Storm. It's a storm. I wish the storm would roll in rather than just like flash in <laughs> to existence. Because yeah. I was looking out the window and the whole sky lit up for a second and a storm spawned in. <laughs> All right, here we go. Good news is the power generation should be uh, better, right, with the wind? Yeah. All right, going up to upstairs. Can't see anything. Attempting window replacements. <laughs> Which way are you facing? Windows, not closet walls. I do think it's interesting that the uh, that you still get the sun from the solar panels, even though you can't see the solar panels. <laughs> and I need exactly six pieces. All right, now if I go and put the glass in, this should seal. And the storm should pretty much just go away for the inside cares. Inside. No more storm. <laughs> no, actually, I'm getting storm effects in here still. I might miss the window. I'm still getting the uh, pushback as if there's uh, a window open. Here you are. Yeah. Just getting all the primitive ones first, and then I'll do the roof ones afterwards. They're all done, okay. You're glassing, you're glassing, you're glassing, you're glassing, you're glassing, you both are glassing, you both are glassing, you are glassing, you are glassing, you are glassing, you are both are glassing. Why am I giving? Oh. Great. The outside world is still um, <coughs> the, the the roofing, the middle ground piece. Okay, so that that would be still a cavity wanted. So I'm going to need one there, then one, there. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably seven walls. I've got three on me. Can you make some extras if you're in the thing? I don't know where you are. Um, um. Seven, uh, what do you want? Um, I need seven. Uh, I need. F Hang on, I've got three already. So I need four. 
um, walls. And then 14 plastic. Eight walls on the floor. Um, start start of the machine building plastic. Yeah, I need fourteen. Oh, no, I need not need too many plastic. I need to be able to double that up, basically. I put that in the stack. It annoys me how fast it makes plastic and glass, but how slow it makes. How fast it makes glass compared to how much fast it makes plastic, and then that again for uh, glass. So slow making glass, uh, making frames, walls and stuff. 800 pascals in the power room. Your suits took damage from being in storms. They give you a reason to be out, not to go out there, rather than just, uh, yeah, you know, rather than just the uh, the river of wind effects. Yeah. for that piece. Storm's ended. Be fully sealed now. Right, so if I come in for the little window I made, there we go. Glass that up there. We'll talk about that one. It's fine. Um, if we are sealed, then breaking into the power room itself should start sucking this room dry. Power room's got that vacuum uh, going, hasn't it? And we need that plastic. Fine, I'm going down for it. Quick. <laughs> I uh, need my pressure reader. Um, we're at 1.65 kilopascals and dropping. The uh, anti-vent in here is doing a good job. 
And what I might do is actually um, leave this open to the base, so we've got a bit of um, another another vent sucking the air out of the base as well. Because that'd help the whole base uh, depressure fast since it's not just the one in the uh, in the way car. It's not just the one in the um, airlock for the farm. Plastic there. Crowbar. Speed up the process a bit, shall we? There we go. That will probably be a bit faster I can make it go. I can move those ones up. I can't go any further because that's where the wall is. There we go. The pressure in the room is climbing quite rapidly. And now with no power in the, uh, in, the, in, the in the vent. Can we have daylight again? What are we trying to figure out what the uh, active vent slot is for? Because I can't. See, what would you? How would you program that? I mean, seriously. If it's unfilled, it it'll full of dust. But it'd be cool if it would be clogged to filter so much. I think it would be cool if the if the storms brought down dust and stuff. So if you, um, like you, the, the outside terrain would would shift ever so slightly each time there's a storm. That'd be nice. Not too much that you'd have to like dig your base out every time there's a storm, but maybe after say four or five storms, you might need to do a quick primitive run around. I'm gonna need some coal. Um, bah, bah, bah. The generator is is, uh, is out, and basically, uh, I want to from that from that gen. I want that thing running. And then after we after we got this, the room done, I'm gonna get on to power generation because we need more power generation. Right, is a coal in here? 15 coal. That won't be enough, but it is a stat. 50 coal. Okay. Crowbar. Generator really? hmm. turned itself off straight away. That means that that battery must still be above the threshold. Oh, because the sun's coming up. Okay, I'll take that. What's the pressure in the room then? Pressure in the room is 200 pascals. Okay. Get up here. Put the grate down the floor here so I've got that available when needed to refill the hole. And this is now open. Okay. We can now remove this wall. Because we don't need that window being there anymore. And we can grind that off and get the wall piece back. There we go. You're a captain, you can now walk into this area now. So 
all opened up. So I just need a couple pieces here. I've got one wall, I need another wall to put this one up with. A composite wall type one. I have planted only one more wall for that piece there. Just that piece. And <clears throat> we have the extra room now, basically. Excellent. And I currently have left the hole down into the power room so you can get down there. Uh, that's temporary until the base is vacuumed. I'm utilizing their, uh, their vacuum, uh, the vacuum pump from in there. Yeah. What are we actually at now, anyway, in the, in the base? Uh, here, at the production room area, we're at 600 pascals, 687 pascals and dropping. Slowly, but we're dropping. Ooh, the farm. I've been to the farm for ages and it's really cooling. It was at 22 degrees earlier. So let's find out. <clears throat> We've had uh, a while for it to get hot. Farm is at. Ooh, farm is too hot. I'm reading 26 degrees Celsius. It's too hot, but it's not at the threshold yet. It's not like plants are going to die threshold yet. But I am going to harvest the pumpkin, because I know that was a dangerous one. How low we were on pumpkins because of the loss. After, after after two hours, the room's increased by around six degrees. So it just needs monitoring more than anything else. in the power room. Okay. And the vacuum, the not vacuum, the pipe network is at 100 kilopascals. Why are we 100 kilopascals in the pipe network? Surely these are supposed to be uh, vacuumed out. The green's the waste, isn't it? Yeah. But it's supposed to be a, near vacuum at all times, isn't it? Yeah. We made to have it set up. It was supposed to be a uh, vacuum. So, it comes in here. And the, interesting, the, uh, the pipe network itself uh, at the farm is only one kilobascal. So, is there a break in the pipe? Or is there a filter somewhere? Maybe? Um, if I remove that roofing... There, I can see into the roof. That's how the roofing works. Right, that pipe there, how big is that? What's the pressure in that pipe? Hydration critical. Pipe, please. 100 kPa. Okay, so there's a problem between that pipe and that pipe there. <clears throat> it had to be instead the fill blocked into it. Okay. So I need to fill that block there so I don't fill the base with Atmo. That one makes that that one there I can fill. <coughs> um, just need a need two steel sheets. 
do 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 Two steel sheets is enough for me to uh, weld up that roofing. And then I can pop the brick out without uh, making the entire base uh, fill up <coughs> that we've vented out so far. Because that would be really irritating for the entire base to suddenly just fill up with gas. in here why are you uh, why are you not doing your job one kill past that side one kill past that side it's a volume pump it's at 200 liters and it is on Feels a bit of a task, yes. You wouldn't also, and I know you would. But why are we holding 100 kilopascals though? Um, where's my wrench? If I remove one pipe, will this pipe here become pressurized to prove that it's actually doing something? Yes, and very quickly. So the question then applies, why isn't it draining the pipe entirely? Is it just the maximum of that pump maybe? do it as a test. What's that pipe got? Over there, okay. What if I steal a pipe from here? Remove the volume pump temporarily. Um, put a pipe in the gap. Does that speed up the process? The entire pipe network just went to nil. <laughs> Literally instantly, the entire pipe network just went, nope, I'm done. Uh, it's empty now. Hey, <clears throat> gold. So if that's the case, did it also speed up this? Because if it's, if it's not limited by that pump anymore, maybe that convention can actually operate faster. Find out. So in the hydration anyway. But we were dropping about one PA every second or two before. So what we're dropping now. Uh, 900 PA. 500 P, 508 PA. 507, 506, but if I were to link the waste pipe vent to the actual 
shoe to the pipe now instead of going through this pressure regulator. Did that suck up the air faster? Still only temporary. I just want to get the vest invented so I can actually uh, start doing other stuff. Yeah, I think that's actually sucking some air out of the base, slowly. Uh, I am now, however, dying from de dehydration, so let's deal with that first. There we go. Do, 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 do. And apparently my battery is low. There we go. You're the... You're the, you're the one supposed to pressurise the room, not the one to empty the room, so you're not going to do anything yet. Uh, what's the pressure right now then? Okay, that drops significantly by doing that. I'm going to do it with the one end of the corridor as well. I've got one in um, the furnace room that's working. One what? Um, extraction vent to make it a vacuum. Okay, I'm using what I'm doing right now is these passive vents. Um, they've been on pressure regulators that haven't been powered. <coughs> uh, but rather than power them, I'm just going to reconnect them directly to that pipe for now, just to have them suck all the air out of the base really quickly. That pipe, that pressure regulator has been causing some uh, some drop, basically. Right. About 100 litres per, per tick would have been more than enough, but uh, apparently not. <coughs> Filling this room's down to 70 PA. This might actually have the base pressurised in just a few minutes, not just that one little change in the uh, where the volume pump was. Oh, wait, Pete. What? I've got some cool glasses. <laughs> Oops, I need to drop that one pretty way. Just nice. Just the uh, stuff in the, the uh, sensor module in it, yeah. Run out of yeah. gold. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're down to, now we're down to double digit uh, PAs, which is definitely an improvement in the, in the furnace room. The production, which was at 500, is now at 408. I'm dropping. Okay, those vents are working better than we had before, which is good. All right, that pressure regulator will, uh, volume pump will need to be replaced, um, and the pressure regulator will also need to be replaced. But that'll be done uh, once the base is vacuumed, because right now it's not; in, they're not problems. So, this area is all done now. This area, this room here is done for its construction. Now it needs the sleepers, the air conditioner, the filter. Because I don't know if you've seen the sleeper set up, but it only has one inlet, and that inlet is for the O2 to go in and for the CO2 to come out. So you can't just have O2 with the line going into it. Right, so we need a mixer then, really. No, um, what you do is you, you have uh, an O2 line come in, go into a filter. Um, so the way I would do it is I'd have a pressure regulator, set the pipe pressure to um, say 100 kPa. <clears throat> um, then have that go into a filter that filters out carbon dioxide. Then have that filter go into an air conditioner to make sure the temperature stays decent. Um, then have, we figure you won't need that there, you could do it in a different part of the loop. But then you have that go into the actual sleeper and then come back out again at the same connection point. And as a person's sleeping, they produce CO2. So the pipe becomes contaminated. The filter job is to remove that CO2. Yeah. But you can't just have like an inlet and an outlet and then send the outlet to waste because 
it's only got one connector per magnet. Alright, so what does it need to make a sleeper? And I'm going to guess that the sleeper is going to say gold, since you said we're out of gold. I find the machine is in as well. Probably electronics, but it could be pipe. It could, yeah. Sleepers, they're in the pipe bender. Uh, 10 gold, 10 copper, 25 steel. Right, I'm on the way back with 50 gold, so when it's processed, we should have some. I only need five. Which machine's the filter made in? Pipe vendor. Yeah, I didn't see it. Is it under a different name, by chance? Uh, just scroll to the bottom. No, not the uh, not the actual filters. The 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 air filter. Oh, it's atmospherics, I think it's called. Right, and they'll be in pipe vendor most likely. Most likely. Uh, airlock gate. There's an airlock gate. Oh, that's the yeah, that's the car. Yeah. Do we have to pay atmospheric machines? Because Mater made a lot of them, and I don't know if you made, if you if you managed to recover some after. Uh... Yep, we got spare atmospherics, so that's good. Okay, got the atmospheric machine, and that also does the aircon and the cooling. So I did both of those. Right. Uh, Astra. Then. Astra. You can blow up bathrooms again. No, I've just put some gold in the arc furnace. The blast furnace is up to temperature, so I should have just thrown it in there. I've got it quicker. <laughs> okay, so I'll do that up here. Um, where would I do this? I'll do it on the little ledge there. Can't do it on the little ledge there because they need apparently a foundation piece below them. So these get done downstairs. There's a bit under the stairs, isn't there? Um, <clears throat> right, so I need a filter and a, and a air conditioner. Now, what order do we do these in? The air conditioner's only needed to keep the pressure, the temperature, right in that uh, in that pipe. Um, once the temperature is right, it won't be needed again uh, unless the pressure, unless the temperature changes, which the temperature will change every time there's a. Um, Addition of new air. Although we don't even need that if we just put a um, radiator on the pipe and it'll warm up to room temperature. So that might be a better option. So we can get rid of the air conditioner by just having the pipe radiated to room temperature at all times. Okay, so we just need the filter then. Uh, filter. You can go under the stairs. Go there. I need an inlet and an outlet pipe, and that will do fine there. And so I need one pipe to waste, one pipe to come from or to, or one pipe, uh, one pipe going to there. Um, it might be better to turn that way on. Put it there. Put it there. I just need a power cable. Power cable is the one nearest. Uh, and I don't need heavy for that. Do, 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 do. And one pipe to rule them all, as I said, indeed. Uh, put that pipe wire there. I'll be able to see it from the outside world. <clears throat> I'm going to need to be able to set these foundations up at some point, so I'm going to need to clad the walls on the outside of these. Um, but let me throw kit for filter. I need to be able to replace the filter, so they're on that side. That answers that question, which way it goes. It can go there. There's the filter. It's got 
a cable going to back up for power just needs actually to wiring up to something. Um, it'll need a, a little APC unit in this room as well, won't we? Uh, not the APC, a transformer in this room to make sure we don't blow out the entire facility. Uh, that requires an actual solid block of bar or something. Um, <coughs> it might be worth putting a solid block in the roofing. We don't need to turn that transformer on and off. Ooh, what are we at pressure wise? 35 PA. Alright, so pressure regulator there comes in from the outside world gas from the O2 supply. So it only gets topped up. The waste pipe will go up and into the roof and into the waste chute. The filter pipe here will connect to that pipe there and then head up to the sleepers. So let's make some pipes because apparently uh, I need more pipes. got nine pipes there, but definitely gonna need more. I wish we type pipe, the pipe would be at the top, since it's clearer than one you would actually want. Yeah. Entire history for us. Steel. Need steel. Wish the vending machine would actually like naturally stack them. Yeah. I mean, it, does, it put out the maximum stack size. Oh, if you go past gold when you're looking through that, you vend that. Never mind. Well, I also grab steel and I need iron, so that helps the situation. Can you get me some iron now, please? Why am I holding my tablet? I don't need it. <laughs> Air pressure tests. Bend. We're at 205 PA. You said you need <clears throat> iron. I need iron, yes, please. If you got what you need, just uh, leave it. I can get the iron now. Thank you. Don't think the five grams will do, but uh... <laughs> but I will uh, I will start the process and go make some grab some more. That's why I'm saying it. It would like stack all the iron up to uh, at the very least tell you what it was on the screen, how much there was on it. <clears throat> there we go, making iron. Right, the you have an O2 pipe up there as well, don't you? For the uh, for your there's already um, an O2 fuel. pipe, yes. Yep. So the two pipes I need, which is O2 and uh, fuel, are actually already up there. But O2 and um, waste waste are already up there, which is good. I'm going to sort out this in a minute. <laughs> Something's irritating you with it, is it? Yeah, it's, it, it's not stacking, is it? The um, resources, so. Oh, no. Put them in stacks. Put that in there. Grab those. Those. Oh my god. It's a whole new world. <laughs> Can I have a look at them? I've not actually I've not actually seen them on. Oh ho, 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 look at that. <clears throat> Mining is so much more fruitful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
There you go. <laughs> you have to turn them off, by the way. Yeah, you have to turn them off. I'll give back to you to see what you were doing. <laughs> That's going to make mining so much better. Oh, yes. <clears throat> I think what we should do is we should have a, a, a single mining belt somewhere. The glass is next to the mining belt. It'd be an advanced mining belt with ideally like an advanced drill as well. Well, maybe make a uh, suit locker. Yes. Um, Just to have a mining the suit. mining suit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. I'm gonna put these upstairs in that uh, locker with all the stuff. Yes, that's what that will look up there is basically for in a way. It's yeah. for the for like emergency grabs. Okay. Um, and the old two pipe is right there. Okay, first of all, I don't need the old two pipe straight yet. I need the oops, I need the um, the waste pipe first. <coughs> If I dig out this one, this one will put me on the inside of the new base. So I can fall back through the floor again. There we go. Right, so I need to run a pipe down for the waste, which will be that there. So you can go up the wall. Oops. Uh, I want to bend away and go into the edge immediately. I don't want you anywhere near this area. Put the light off because it's easy to see which way things are pointing when you do that. And I'd rather have you go up this frame edge because I can find something from frame edge it's easy, but you know, we've got the middle. There, and then you go up that, and up that, and up that, and up that, and I believe that'll be the worst place possible, right? Because isn't it always the worst place possible? Light on. It's not the worst place possible. Oh my god. It's actually going to be potentially a useful place. I'm also in the roofing with light off, it's a really helpful situation. Uh, I stand corrected, it was the worst way possible. Where is it? I put the pipe up and it went outside, didn't it? Where did the. It's there! Oh, it's behind that. Right, okay. Not the worst place possible, but it's just an annoying place. No, no, no. Worst place possible. I went the first time. Uh. Who puts a pipe in the middle of a staircase? Seriously. People. <laughs> you don't follow that at all. that and then this pipe needs to connect to the other pipe that's below it but in a angle um, screw it you have to alter that pipe as well go to the wall <laughs> Uh, point up, please. That can go up there. Light on. And now I should really get it where it needs to go. It should be there. Aha, perfect. <coughs> you can do a turn here. Great connector there. All right, that's the waste line ready. Uh, how's it going? Hey, wifey, how are you doing? It's going pretty well, Mom. We've got uh, a new room added. We just need to uh, um, vent the rest of the atmosphere, and, we, and we're pretty good. Um, just need that's the waste pipe. Um, I need to bring in an O2 pipe at some point. The O2 pipe needs to go in a better way. Uh, I can send it across there. Do, do, do. Okay, 
Excellent. I'm glad you're doing okay. That downward pipe there needs removing. So tempted to open the door. Doing it. Uh, close the door. There you go. No one noticed. <laughs> How much pressure is there now? <laughs> I have no idea. Where is the pipe? Pipe is there. 118. That's fine. That's, where, where are you going to that? I'm in the uh, production room. Okay, yeah, that's a lot lower than before. It was like 400 and some 500 when we first started. Right, so I'm going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 window frames. Where walls. 13 walls. <clears throat> if you do me a favour, so they're going, so when they come back in, I can grab them. What? Uh, walls? Yeah, please. 13 is also I need, but uh, they take a while to make sometimes. Um, so that's that pipe. Now I need the O2 supply. Now, the O2, I can send up the outer wall. Because <clears throat> um, Mater's not conditioning it, so it doesn't matter if it's on the outside of the base. I would prefer on the inside. There isn't a way of doing it on the inside. Uh, so I'll send down the outside wall. We just have to live with it being cold. Uh, also, I need white paint for that. So I'm looking for the airlock because you know no one should go out the other door because that lets air into the base. Uh, <laughs> What I should do is put a uh, switch on that door that Mater's got for his gas ram and make the door locked so it can't be opened. <coughs> and then put an airlock there so he has to use the airlock. Do, 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 do. Right, uh, paint. I need white paint for the pipes. Because the waste pipe is connected, but now it's the oxygen pipe time. We are out of white paint. And make, for some reason, you make paint in the auto layer with iron. <clears throat> I still think the, the paint mix is useless. It's in the pipe bender, isn't it? Where is the paint? It's in the tool manufacturer. Oh. I think, yeah. <clears throat> I find it weird though, there is actually a paint mixer that you it's actually used to make paints, but you need flowers to mix the paints. Uh, it requires one iron. Face is so silent now, getting near the elevator. <laughs> you uh, having fun? No, I'm making a mess. <laughs> <laughs> the problem you've got is it has to auto eject. Um, oh, I have a button at least so you can eject. So if you put something in that's not a full stack, it will uh, still let you do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. You put, you put in like 10. You put 10 something in there and you don't want it to uh, not let you do anything. First of all, hydration, battery check, 63%, air filter check, 81%. Paint these pipes, pipes painted, and then I need the blue for these cables. Are in. Uh, 
tablet in there. Pipe there. There we go. I'm not sure why we still have axes. <laughs> Never use the damn things. Go that way. Go that way. Uh, you can go one more square because I need you to go through a pressure regulator. So you're going to have a curve there. And you will have a T junction there. Pressure regulator will go in the middle. Lights off. Can't see the direction of the pipe. That goes that way. And that one will go up there. Alright. It is dark in the basement using your light off. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, that pipe needs to go straight up. There, there, there. And then when it gets to that point, uh, it's not going to be in the base yet. So it's going to have to travel all the way up the. the uh, all the way up and back down again. Where's the floor? The floor is there. So it would need to go more up, then curve that way. Ooh, that's not good. It'll work, but there's a danger someone might tap into that thinking it's the filter line, it's not the filter line. So that's going to be the main line there. That's a, that's a loop. That's the one that goes up for usage. I need the wrench. Let's just get the one going up to the upstairs up first. Do the work with the other one go? No. That one goes to the corner here. Gets to there. Once it's there, I can tap into it from the inside. This one needs removing here. Go find a way to wipe that into the oxygen supply. <coughs> we run across the bottom of stairs. No, I can't because it goes into the room there. Um, Got to go up to the top floor and across. That's the problem. I don't like that. <coughs> Someone's going to see that and think, "Oh, that's the pipe. Like, one pipe I can tap into. It's not the pipe you can tap into." just traveling around the entire edge of the base, which is basically what I'm going to have to do, isn't it? Yes. All right, I need more pipes. Um, but I need to remove the existing pipes there. to here I can run into the roof. That's not a problem. Five, four, up turn there. Three, two, one. Okay. I'm most of the way there with the O2 the pipe. <laughs> Ba -ba -da 
I just need to put a uh, about maybe ten pipes onto it onto it to finish it, and then some radio um, radiator radiators. Right, I need iron. Is this amazing machine now stacking? Uh, no, but they're all in complete stats. Yeah, okay. Hey, look, hang on. Right, ten pipes would be more than enough, I think, to get that connected. And then we can... <clears throat> Um, once we get the temp, we can then connect that to a power pressure regulator so it only brings new air in when it needs it. So when you breathe in the air and the atmospheric takes some out, basically. So give me the 10 pipes. Let's go. Do, 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 do. And people are wondering why I have more than 10 pipes because I had some in my inventory already. And that's the reason I'm telling you everybody anyway. Sure, excuse me, stick it to it. Yep. I was wondering why I'm in the power room, I meant to go there. Not a hole in the floor, if I'm honest. Give me a T junction. God, there's a wall in the way. Who put a wall in the roof? Seriously. People. Oh, you can't put pipes in there. That. There we go. Now we can do the pipe and the wrench to connect it. Like you. And you can move across one notch. Ah. You need. There we go. Light off so I can see which way the angles are going. Light back on again so I can see what I'm doing. Now connected to the O2 supply. Power low. That there. So that should show me having O2, 2.3 megapascals of O2 in that pipe. So now I need a pressure regulator, power cables, and we're ready to uh, power up the uh, the thing. 37 is the highest pressure. 37. Yeah. That's not bad. We're getting very close to uh, vacuuming this place out. Right, pressure regulator needs to go that way. And the dial is on the top currently. Yeah, I'm happy with the dial on top, actually. Right, uh, I want to set the temp pressure. The desired pressure in the pipe will be 100 kPa. I'll turn it on, even though there's no power. And it'll need two... Um, CO2 filters <clears throat> to make sure that there's no CO2 build up in the pipe. We have 11 PA in this room. Is it sunrise or sunset? Uh, I can't see which side the base is sun on. Okay, we'll see where the sun is. So both both sides of the horizon look like they're uh, lit up. <laughs> yeah. What's the battery say? Battery charge should give you a hint. It's sunset, yet the solar panels are point pointing in the wrong direction. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. Um, might, I'm guessing you know, the battery. Actually... Yeah, I'm guessing the, their internal batteries uh, haven't been able to be charged up. I'll fly out there right now and uh, drop a new battery oh, in. Oh, wait, no, it, it, it's the middle of the day. <laughs> <laughs> it's the middle of the day. Solar panels aren't following. So. Okay, I'll head out with a new battery. 
I need to get my power generation up and running. That's a guarantee. And I'll also make sure the solar panels are re um, I might do a little rewiring there and make sure the solar panels pull off that big battery it's in that room now. Yeah. Rather than off there on the little battery. I'll go wire that in first, because it's needed rewire. And then I'll go up there with a brand new battery for it. You did gonna... you did change something, didn't you? Ah, ah. You uh, moved the sensor, didn't you? No, I think it's still up there. I didn't touch you it. moved the sensor for this building. No, I said I was thinking about moving it. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, power cable goes there. Power cable goes there. Power goes there. It should have power. Okay, gonna have to go up on the roof. Uh, uh, I had a little bit of variance to do that, sadly, but. My gosh! Okay. I need my network analyzer. Chip. See if something happening on this cable. It's quite expensive having power issues. We're only getting power on part of the day. Yeah. Right, cables. Sadly, I only have blue cables on me. So, I'm going to split that stack in half so I can keep some blue cables on me. And wire cutters. Need to cut that wire there so we can get the red cable. So I know it's a power distribution line. There we go. Uh, drop that battery on the floor, which needs to go in that box to recharge it. Need a crowbar to open that box up. Ah. Okay. There's a power cable here I can tap into. Apparently the cable was uh, not connected to the other end. Uh, I need the white colors. And then that. There we go. And drop those on the floor. Pick those back up. Pick those up. So we make blue cable back. They should be tracking now, by the way. They are, yes. There we go. They haven't been tracking for a while. Because the cable that was feeding them, I redirected when I moved all the old batteries. Yeah. I wonder if that's why... we have been constantly low power. Yeah. Don't cycle the airlock. I'm coming. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, if we've been constantly low power thinking that it's been because we've got all these new things running, actually it turns out the reason we're low power is because we uh, haven't had the solar tracking running. <laughs> I wonder if there's any coal left in that machine now. Oh god no, the, that, that machine will be empty. You can go upstairs and fall into the room by the way, there's, I've made a walkway yeah. up. I don't want to use my jetpack inside for trying to avoid it. <laughs> uh, we need to get a jetpack refilling station that fills it with nitrogen because that's what the atmosphere is going to be the atmosphere is going to be 10 pa it's 20 in here that's even better because that's the room that's big and has a doorway blocking all access to it <clears throat> it's 21 when i get to the left so that's what it's going to be upstairs as well isn't it the uh, subsidies might be slightly high because it's, it's not got a direct line down easily. Okay, so that's that, that's that, that's that, that's all that, that goes into there. Two CO2 filters required, and then we need to get the pipe uh, in. The part of the pipe should be just up here in the corner. <clears throat> we need to grab that pipe and send it to wherever the sleepers will be. So that means I'm going to need access to the roof space with some cables since I'm running some stuff. Need a transformer. If only we had the transformer in stock. Ah, 
Uh, I'll need these pipes back now. Oh, I'm going to need more pipes to connect the sleepers up. And I'm going to need sleepers. <coughs> Doop. And then covered all these frames to uh, clad the outside walls to dig into the floor without actually actually digging into the floor at any point. Have you got frames on you? Because I'll start doing that. Not frames, sorry. Um, walls, and I've got them there. Yeah. Yep. I carried them outside to do the job and then never did the job. I say, if you pass them to me, I'll uh, start doing that. I'm already outside with them. Oh, okay. Uh, type 1 wall. It's just the lower part so I can dig into the flooring without it uh, depressurizing. Yeah. I know the power room probably needs it as well because I can see their floors right now, the, the foundations. But it's not going to be connected by a. Um, there's going to be no atmo in that room anyway, is there? No. It's going to be permanently, permanently vacuum, so I don't think that one's got an issue. Right, plastic of these. Okay, that makes all their cladding clash cladded. Um, right, now get the power cables in, and where would, where would I put the transformer for this thing? Because it needs to be on a actual surface. Um, could you put it here? As I was thinking, take that wall off, um, put a, an actual steel thing there. Right, so I need to run a power cable very quickly. Into that rough, it up there. <coughs> uh, if I run a power cable through this, can you tell me if you can see it? Too badly. Uh, through the wall. What I want to do is I want to run a power cable from the atmospheric it's there up into the thing, but I want to go. I don't want to go all the way to the roof and back down again if we can help it. So I'm going to try and go through the staircase okay. about halfway up the stairs. Yeah, tell me when you've placed it. Uh, yeah, uh, it would be if, you can, if it's in the right place. It would be. You know, you put the corner piece in. There. I can't see any. Oh, I can just see it on. Is it below the step or above the step, though? It's just above a step. But it's, it's above like a step. Back step as well. So if I would, if you would, if that, if that went right across all the way across, would it be a problem, or would it? Uh, you would see it. Okay. Uh, if I go one lower, that won't be an issue, I think. So let's try one notch lower. Would put it there. How would that look on the inside of the building, underneath the staircase? I can't. You have to go down below now because it'll be below the stairs. Same place, but straight below it. I, I can still see the cable here. I had to leave one out yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, no, I can't see that. I think I'd have to take this wall out to see it. Okay, give me a sec. Um, let me see. Uh, that cable would be here, actually. Uh, there and then you would have to go up this point. Why could it? You'd have to go up here and then and now I'm supposed to straight. Can you... That hopefully goes in a hidden place. You can't see it up, but no. damn it. <laughs> I was really hoping that would be I was really hoping that would be hidden. If, if you turn it back again you could see it probably from the window but if you turn it back again towards the uh, power room you might be able to get away with that what about if i turn it 90 degrees that way and then go straight across there and then up here how about that can you see that i can see it on top of the step there. only just there where can you see it but not, it's not like in the room or anything. Just like the corner of it, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, I can pretty that. 
it's just the uh, <clears throat> that the pipe in that wall right where would be completely hidden. And if we went over any more, it would go through the window. So you see through the window instead. There's a screenshot on station here, I feel like. Uh, put it into the live stream, Rosie, because I'm, that's how I've got it focused on. Okay. Thank you. Uh, find it. <laughs> there. Oh, that's acceptable. I I'd have no problem with that. Yeah. Being such a small piece in the corner. I mean, to be honest, running that straight line, it won't. It would hardly be noticeable either. Yeah, uh, it goes around now anyway. It's not a, an issue. Yeah. But yeah, if 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 I'd able to get in there and have a look properly, I would have accepted the first one as well. Yeah. Right, that's the power cable going up to uh, from atmospherics up into the roofing. That will be needed. That power cable will also need to go to. Um, it'll need to go to the transformer where we have up there, and it'll also need to go to the um, the rest of the base for so the sleepers and send lights and stuff like that. Uh, now we get the power cable up there for the transformer itself, which requires a bigger set of cables, which apparently I don't have on me. But I'm sure I had the bigger cables on me. Probably put in a box and I was grabbing something. Do you see any uh, blue heavy cables in the... Uh, in that way. In one of the boxes, probably in the one on the far side near the elevator. Uh, red heavies. I'm just guessing it's there. Blue. Nope, never mind, I see it. It's in my inventory, but it's in my toolbox instead of me inventory part. I'm <laughs> <clears throat> be inside now. Alright. So, <clears throat> for the heavy cable, I need to dig up this flooring, uh, and then the heavy cable Hydration up the wall, critical. into the roofing where we can uh, connect up the, uh, connect up the transformer. So I'm going to need a frame that I can weld up. Frame, 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 frame. We have one of those around, don't we? Kit wall, flat wall, grating. I think the grating's in a minute. Steel frames. Frames across. Yeah. I'm running out of air. Should be no two tank out by the uh, gas fan. Yeah, I'm going out through the airlock. Okay. Um, well, I mean, you can make this the uh, solid wall because there's literally nothing here that you can see anyway from the roof back in place. It's right above the power room. Do, do, do. Hey, Smudgy. Um, give me the crowbar. And plastic. Okay, so they weren't plastic. They were steel sheets, apparently. Um, grinder. Grinder, 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 grinder. And those, what are these? These are wall plating. Well, I don't have those either, so they can fall on the floor as well. Um, that tool there, put those up, throw. Pick that one up and throw. Deal with those later when I've got infantry space to deal with them. He is indeed. He probably did up for a second, didn't he? He is. Right there. Hey, Smudgy. Put the camera there. There we go. There we are. This is Smudgy. Uh, 
There you go. There's some treats, my smudgy. Got an AFK bit. Alrighty, third. Sorry, Smudgy, made some noise for that back, that trade, didn't I? The shelf didn't go in properly. I don't want my head to keep spinning. You can you can eat the stuff. Sorry, I've got the treats now, but I don't want the treats. I just wanted you to give me the treats. Alright, um, if I put that foundational piece there, I can use that as my use that one there as the uh, the main frame for power. Uh, that with that. There we go. That's actually near perfect because the power cable for the um, that that there can come across. Just make sure we don't touch those two lines. Red lines and the blue lines never meet, right? No. <laughs> that keep it going good. Okay. Keep that there. Put that uh, there. And uh, my inventory is way too full for this. <laughs> right, transformer. You can go on this wall there. One gap below you for that cable. One gap above you for that cable. Uh, that will work out okay. He says without actually checking which way you're facing. Uh, power in on that side and power out on that side. Okay, that I can deal with. So where's my heavy cable first? I swear I could lose my heavy cable all the time. I had it in my hand. Are we at zero pressure yet? Because I keep falling into the <laughs> into the, mm, into yeah, the yeah. power. I think last time I checked, it was seven. I keep falling into the power room. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the blue cable for power? There it is. I barely made it, made it visible. <laughs> okay. So you're going to be there, bring you across, 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 and you had to go through a pipe because you wanted to be awkward. Down. Down. That way. Wire cutter. Put that. And that one. Okay, we'll go that way. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, that leads to the transformer. And the transformer is getting set to 5,000. I have a label on me today, so label it! There we go, that's set to 5,000. Ba, ba, ba. Turn on, needs a heavy power cable coming to it, but I am also dying of dehydration, so let's get that part away first. Do, 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 Main production base at 33% power. But at least it's cold outside. But you, you think cold, right, Toad? You love the cold. Um, our ass solar panel's tracking. Doesn't look like it. What time of day is it? I'm not sure. I think it might be midday again. Yeah, it's midday. They're not tracking. Why are they not tracking? I need to uh, make a quick run to the bathroom. So I want to see if this battery is charged still first before I go. It could be that the circuit, the config failed. But it's a, it's a, it's a circuit though, it's a, an IC, so it should be fine. Look, they're, they're, look at them, they're rotating right now. Right this very second. Oh yeah. They decided now to do it. <laughs> I 
I bet this wall here is blocking sunlight on the uh, sensor. Yes. So it I needs moving. Right. Yeah, it will need moving to sort this roof here then. Okay. That I can do. Uh, daylight sensor. Up here. Better not do that. Um, can't do that. You need a solid block. Uh, one sec. I'll put a solid block up here. Find out. Put it there. Uh, I need a steel plate. Hopefully, I have one steel plate on me. There's the daylight sensor. Right, daylight sensor needs to go on that. Did you grab it? Yeah, it's on there. Okay. Um, here, if you grab these cables, since I haven't got a jackpack to actually fly anymore, <coughs> I've got like 200 kPa. It needs to come from this cable here, this red cable, up to there, to that daylight sensor. Okay, so I need one of those red cables. I mean, actually, I can move it over there where you stood. And the reason it doesn't have to be there, actually, let me do that. It makes life a bit easier for cabling as well. That there. Grab that there. Put that there. Put the panel back in. There you go. Do, 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 do. Now I have some heavy cables somewhere that I definitely had in my inventory earlier. <coughs> I found them when it was in the airlock earlier. <coughs> but they're not in any of my inventory slots now. <laughs> Is that all connected? Yep. Right, daylight sensor, daylight sensor needs to be connected to these. Hopefully these are named. No device, no device. Daylight sensor. Alright. And that one is no device, no device, no device. So these are all set to no devices. Um I'm going to assume it's a daylight sensor. Just take it off for a minute while I do this. Oops, pass it. Daylight sensor. Are they tracking? I think they are. I can't tell. Yeah, them. they're moving. Alright, so this circuit really only connects to one device, that's the daylight sensor. It doesn't link to any like writers, batch writers or anything. So it must uh, have to go in there, batch writes out. They're facing the wrong direction. Uh, the daylight sensor has two modes, I think. Do I need to turn it around, maybe? Uh, it was facing with the power cable. I can't tell which way the power cable is facing now because of this. Uh, one second. If I just do the crow back, I can tell which way the power cable is facing because the power cable will be underneath the panel. Power cable is on my side. Right, so I've did put Yeah, there's a loop, there. there's literally power cable here with a loop in it. Okay. If you look down, you can see it anyway, just confirm. Yeah, okay. It probably makes a difference <laughs> as to why it's wired in a particular direction. Let me know when it's ready and I'll repoint it. Right out. Okay. Daylight sensor. Track. This one goes down at the right time, right? They did start to turn and then they stopped turning. <laughs> I'll accept that. <laughs> Let's wait for the sun to come up to find if they work now because it uh, tracks based on his sun up and the sort of vertical angle and kind of stuff. Yeah. Here's your cable back. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. So hopefully they'll start tracking in the morning. <laughs> Okay, um, right, so up here I'm <clears throat> at the point now 
Where? There's plastic on that wall. That needs filling in. But I have a panel. I have a. I need my heavy pit and heavy power cable. Now, where did my heavy cables go? I came in here to get a drink. So I had a drink, and I was happy with the drink because the drink was tasty. I don't remember grabbing anything else when I was in here. There are some heavy power cables there, but they're red. Yeah, they were blue. I had them already painted. So I don't know where they went. By the way, we're down to three. Got them. They were up in near the Pesha regulars. They must have been, I must have put them in somewhere else and they got moved over here because the Pesha regulars have been moved over here as well. Ah. Alright, so now I can dig up this floor though. We got repressurizing because I made sure to clad that wall. And I run the heavy cable to my transformer. Pressure's going up, by the way. No, why? I don't know, you've pulled that up, but the pressure's now at 300. Okay. Shouldn't have gone up. There should be nothing down there. Why? That wise. Um, they going up anymore? It's still going up. Crap. Um, throw that on the floor. How, it, how fast it going up is the question, I suppose. Five hundred now. Okay. Uh, angle, angle grinder. Angle grinder. Angle grinder. Angle grinder. Can you put that floor up? He's on top of, please. We would go back. The super stabilizes, first of all. I should be able to dig the flock at an issue. It shouldn't get through the ground. Hmm, it double posted. Uh, it did a hydrate and a posture check separate on my thing, just two items. I'm at 5 PA in here though. 70, 90, 100. Yeah, it's yeah. It wasn't. I, I recently checked in here, it was 7 before you pulled that up. Okay, let's try this. Close this door. Close that door. Uh, close the doors over here. Shall I get another door kit and just put a door here? Yeah, it might be. Uh, I mean, didn't want it, but it's just a test piece, so. Yeah, if we just put a door down for temporarily, probably we open the door so they keep vacuuming. Because opening the flooring shouldn't um, cause any gas to come through. Don't need to power it, we just need to have it in place so we can block off the entry point. Yeah. You got the uh, plastic right in glass. No, I don't. <laughs> Sorry, I've got, I have some anyway, don't, don't worry. I'll put it there. Okay. Welding torch and plastic sheets. Uh, yep, got those. Then crowbar and glass sheets. Okay. This, do this does need a door in here at some point, but uh, now... Shall I go and make it, quickly make another door? Uh, you can if you wish, if, if you want to give it a test that way. Well, I could just put a wall in there actually. That'll do quickly. There we go. Yep, that'll do for now. I need, you need to test all with atmosphere because I can't test the and dig up at the same time. So, Where oh, okay. We need the wrench to dig up and then the emergency angle grinder to put it down again. How's that doing? Um, it's dropped slightly, but it's steady. Okay, let me get the one out uh, in case it was the one that's maybe not fully uh, sealed. Steady again. Okay. So we had a, a, a weird one from somewhere. 
Right, with all this is up right now, let's get the uh, cable moved over there. So there's a blue cable to go that way. And I'll pass it into that wall. I'm going to need to mine this piece out so I can access it. Can't get to the power cable anymore. I need to put one square there. 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 One more. Thank you. One more that way. Can't go one more. Okay, I'll just do one as well. Alright. Oh. Yeah, there should be a panel down there, by the way. Don't go too deep. There's only one, only one block deep on the. Uh, no, I'm not gone. Right. Are you, have you got the um, the grate from earlier now? No, I don't. It fell down there somewhere. I do not see it. Okay. It's. Or we'll make another one. Yeah, it's inside something right now, so it'll be there forever now. Oh, there we, there we go. Almost, almost what did you then? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So remove this crowbar. Wait, it, pressure did go up a bit during that. Pressure would go back up once you re-weld them because the air gets forced out. Yeah. But it shouldn't be air that went in there originally. All right, that door you made though, we can go in. We got here. Yeah. Because that's uh, <clears throat> which what this part's going to be for. And I'm going to be digging this floor in here, so I'll be safer if it is actually. Uh... Yeah, All right, I'm going to run very quickly to the bathroom. I'll be back in just a sec. Okay. And we're back. I, for some reason, can't place it here, so I'm placing it here for now. Then we can sort it out later. Uh, there's a pipe there in the corner. Oh, okay. That would probably explain it then. Yeah, I just saw the pipe as you said you were saying the can't place it there for some reason. Alright. Leave it shut because I'm going to be digging this floor up. That way we don't end up uh, accidentally pressurizing. I am, however, 3% food. That probably sounds bad. Where's the wrench? Right, I'm going to get power from here up there. Now, where is the transformer? The transformer is actually technically in the power room. So there's, there's the actual transformer. That needs to connect to the door here. <clears throat> I mean the best option is to route it up and across or even down and across and run it over to here before I drop it down to the lower level. Um, 
Yeah, that'll work. It's a bit further away than I'd like it to be, but it's the only place I could put a decent uh, block without it being there. Well, that would work. Ooh, can you do me a favor? Can you craft a sleeper and just find out if they need a solid foundation below them? Yeah. So if they need a solid foundation below them, that changes the entire wiring guide. Bath, then we need to go get some food because two percent. You are a CO two filter. Normal. Because if they need a solid block below them, I need to put some solid blocks in the uh, in the roofing for them to go onto. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's do a pressure check. Pressure check. Thirty-eight PA. We were at four. <laughs> <laughs> so the mysterious random spike of air with no idea where it came from. We're at 0 0.8 by the airlock. We're at 3 all the way down to the farm. Which I'm going to go check the farm right now due to uh, needing to know the temperature. The farm is at 27 degrees Celsius. Right, I have a sleeper. It need to be on a. Can you put it upstairs in the production room, basically? Or in the yeah, upstairs of the other uh, room? It requires support. Okay. <clears throat> that answers the question I need to know. That means I can redo really all the wiring upstairs into a place that actually makes more logical sense. I shall put the sleeper in here and I shall make the other one. Right. I'm, I've got two foundation pieces, which is what I need. I just need the steel plates to run it, to fill it. Do we have any steel plates already in? No, we don't. So, we want steel sheets, four of them for the two plates. Need steel for that. And then we need to check to see if we're getting um, tracking on the power thing. Right, nickel, silver, lead, silicon, solder, constantan. The steel next to you. Thank you. Two. It looks like they are tracking. Hey. So I'm guessing the. I have the updated it. Or the voice that we just haven't noticed it, where they can't track if something's above them. Because the, the actual um, solar array itself is uh, above them. So. Yeah. Right, put that in there. Give me the drill. Grab that off the wall. Right, so they need support. Right, so the cat means they can't go in those two squares because there's literally a hole below them. I don't really want it here, that'll block the end point. So one's gonna have to be here. So where's my plastic? Put this might as well fill this back in. Because that's gonna be a frame. Uh back welder, there we go. That frame can go there. And uh, that means probably the best place to put them is <clears throat> do them side by side, or a gap between them is a question, I suppose. I think a gap. Okay. One there. One there. This will increase the air pressure slightly so when I fill these up the air that was it where they were comes into the room. Should be minimal. Right. 
Uh, now I need a hole I can fall into the base, because that hole I made earlier is now filled in with a... Open that one up. Yep, that'll do fine. Alright, so there's two. Um, get the sleepers on you? Yep. I'll show you where the two floors are that are pressured, and then you tell me if you want them in a different place. It's not hard to move them, so... This square and this square both have a thing underneath them. A thing. So... <clears throat> I can move them over one ah. each if needed. Uh, is there any power cable or on the far side need to worry about? No, everything's... Um, the, the pipe's on the front and the power cable and data is on the east side. Okay, let me try That's something good. here. If I get in... And then I get out... With whatever button needs to get out... Hmm. I don't have to get out, actually. Not E. Q. Yep, that's the problem. <laughs> that's the <a> problem. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> oh. Did that pop outside? Yeah, when I opened the door, it shot me outside. No, when I opened mean, the kit. I just oh. drilled the kit to pull it. Oh no, never mind the stack. <laughs> so whatever side you... We need to, be able to get power cables and pipes to them. But you you can we need to make sure we can actually you know, not jump out the window when we log in. <laughs> yeah. I did put that right up against the window. There's enough space to move it on out. So there. We I mean, could rotate them if needed. Put them side on. I mean, you see, you could rotate them so they'd come vertical if you wanted to. Let's have a little nosey though. Can we get back in again? See if I'm going to walk through the wall again. So it's, apparently, it's cute to get out. Oh, crap. I need a, I need a tape. I don't have a tape on me. Tape, here. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Apparently, I brought my suit getting out of that thing. Okay, so I turn it around. <laughs> there we go. Okay, put the. I mean, it's like a tape in this room as well, apparently. <laughs> if you did put me in the window frame, that's what killed me. Well, tried to kill me anyway. Ah, trying to get in it. All right, I'm in. Did you try and kill me again? You didn't. Okay, didn't try and murder me this time around. <laughs> Oh, I took the tape out of my inventory because I was doing so much I had so much stuff in my inventory as well. Uh. <clears throat> so far I put the other one here. Okay. I should have no problem at all with that one. Yeah, that's on this side. Okay, you have we have two sleepers, we just need to get them connected up to water and the uh, water, we get power and uh and other two. So, what would be... Which side are the connections on? Because I can't see where I'm moving the grating, which actually is not hard to do. Right, pipe's on the left, and power is on the foot of the bed. Power's on the foot? Yeah. Okay, I see it. I don't, need, don't think we need data. Data's primarily... Uh, for accessing... You know, is there somebody living? We could have a logic circuit that says turn off the uh, filters and stuff like that if there's no one in it, but... Uh, we have a storm coming, I can see the flashy light on the roof. Okay. Seconds. Well, that was an exciting uh, few moments of, uh, of dying. <laughs> okay. Transformer. <clears throat> Are you uh, doing anything right now? Project um, I can help. All I need oh. is uh, if I throw this down to you. That. Yeah. Uh, it's heavy cable, and that one square in from the door is under the floor is a heavy cable. Under here. Yeah. 
And up here in the roofing, there's a transformer. Uh, well, it will be in a second anyway. We have a power inlet on its... Put it down the bottom. Put, put the higher up. The power goes in on the left-hand side. Oh, okay. There should be a window frame you can go pick on or off. Uh, I need my Y cutters to remove this lot. That's a wrench. That's not a Y cutter. Move that there. That goes down to where the platformer used to be. So I need to close that door. Cut that. And then. Right, now I need to get this up to that device there so it can just run on the floor here. To turn here, so we can come across. So we can come across. Okay, uh, I'm gonna run low on power cables here, but it's normal power cables, not our heavies. We need a two-way junction here. Then down to the ground. That way. All right. I had some normal cables down there on the floor, didn't I? Can you fill them up? They should be on the floor randomly up there. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> I saw you run up the stairs with them. <laughs> Need a junction there as well. Uh, yes. Power cable for you comes down like that, and then back under again, and then back down there. It's gonna be a little short, I think, on the cables. I have three power cables left to connect that sleeper. I think we're gonna need more. Oh, no. I do have some orange cables that I'm not using. So. Normal? Yeah, normal cables. I need exactly one of them, actually. No, actually, I won't need any. I have exactly the amount of cables I need, I think. Just checking. Nope, I do need two, two cables. Well, one from you, one that I'm my own. There's two, just in case. Thank you. So that cable goes down, then the cable turns that way, and then this needs to be a three-way junction. Three-way, there we go. Turn the transport the on, there we go. So as long as the big cable goes in there, we should have power running through the cable now. Yeah. Now it's going to run the pipe up from the filter to the uh, sleepers, and then you're about to do a test sleep. I only have two pipes, so I don't think that's going to be enough to go all the way from this wall to that wall. <laughs> no, I don't think it is either. Um, where is the pipe, anyway, from here? I brought it up. Sure, I brought it up. Uh, it goes up there. Oh. A little bit of jetpack left, though. It should be in this corner over here, should the O2 pipe currently. So it needs to run across and through. So I'm going to need probably 20 ish pipes, most likely. But if I can find, if they can find the pipe, it's in here somewhere. I'm trying to figure where, where, where I put the pipe. So if the pipe's in the wall, and we have a storm now, so I don't want to go outside looking for it. <laughs> Power room, you'll help me. So it's in the very corner. That door you can uh, link it to the to heavy cable if you wanted to. Because the cable should be right below it. Oh, we're going to open it and then I was thinking about moving this oxygen pipe around this frame. <clears throat> uh, yeah, do that if you wish. So then you can put a door here. Because that pipe leaks, links to the, the main base oxygen, so just as long as it goes into the main base oxygen. Yeah, that's, yeah. 
so all that really matters is that one. That doesn't go to any other stuff at the moment anyway. Uh <clears throat> need, some, need some pipes making that for it, I think. Yeah. Well, to check, I'm at 2 PA in here. Interestingly, the, the generator is actually still full of, uh, of coal. Interesting. So the logic must be working there. <clears throat> Three so, K in here. So the actual, um, like oh the logic for turning on the generator never actually hit low enough to trigger it. I'm guessing. Here we are. About to open the door, could we still have power to it yet? Until we move it. Um, need to get the pipe bender make pipes. We're both going to need them for our respective little tasks. Uh, pipe, pipe E. And it needs iron. And there's iron in the stacker apparently. Grab. In you go. Why is it always hydration critical? <laughs> there. That's rerouted, so hopefully I can move this door now. Can it go there? I think it likes it to be in the corner of the pipe, so you might have a bit of. Might have to move I a bit more. I think if it's a corner in the corner, then it doesn't mind. Alrighty, well, we'll have a try. It's a corner pipe. <laughs> yeah, I can see that for corner pipe. I just wasn't sure if it was if it allowed corners through. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> right, so the other two pipe. Uh, light off, because this is a bit easier to see when you do it with uh, light off. But it should be here. Should have an orange line. If I just put that to straight. There we go. So there's a pipe there and it stops at that point there. So it stops just before the floor change. Uh, at the end of the room. <clears throat> so here. That's got to be my cable route and it's blocking that. Yes, you can't put the cable there either. <sighs> night night chair. Good night chair. Also Pete, we need to do something with our channel points. <clears throat> well, we have some stuff with channel points, but not much. Um, we've been saying for a while we need some proper stuff with them. I have the system set up that will allow people to uh, use channel points to affect OBS, like to change the camera, for example, um, for a short period of time. And I've got and you can put things on screen and stuff. So we have, also, we have the capability, we just don't have the uh, implementation yet. That they can come out now. That doesn't need to be there. But if you have any suggestions at all, I am fully open for suggestions. Anyways, good night. I have over 120,000. Yeah, people do have quite a lot of them. We just we just need some suggestions what to do with them. Cable coil, heavy cable coil. Put that there. Damn it! Let's have to avoid doing that. Um, plastic. Pull that one in. Okay. Um, 
tablet PC says we are at 1 PA in this roof space. Right, so the pipe, however, comes up there. So, pipe. <clears throat> can I get close enough to that without falling through the roof? Yes, I can. Okay. So the pipe should be here. But if you can't get to it, we can reach it from here. Uh. No, the pipe wouldn't be there. The pipe would be in the corner of this block. See where that stair is. Okay. Boop. So it would be here. It is there. Okay. So if I made that into a turn, that would be horrible. If I put it there, that would also be horrible. Uh, I need the wrench to see what's happening here. So put it there. We can bring it across that. Nobody would see because it would be in the wall. Like, but then it'd hit that, uh, that waste pipe there, that would be a problem. I think it has to go up onto the roof, across and down, which is just annoying, but I mean, it might just have to be the way we do it. Power critical, that'd be what, 5%? 10%? Eh, loads. Damn it. I'm making me use my jetpack. Okay, so if we put these out the window, it would be a bad idea to go out the window. The window would actually cause the pipes to cool, which we don't want. We well, want the pipes inside. So, bring the pipes to there. That one is just a bit more awkward because of its positioning. But doable by just digging that out and putting the pipe underneath. Okay, put the pipes underneath them. Wrench, remove that, remove that, remove that, remove that. There we go, that can get me down here and put the pipes in place down here. <coughs> so pipe one comes down and goes under and runs straight. And you will come down and there'll be a junction. Going that way. And then you link to that, which links to that, which links to that, which links to that. I guess you guys connected, and then over here is where you're going to come out. And just for my own, because I think it looks weird and not doing it properly, let's put these uh, back in their respective places. I think you don't need the frames below them if once you put the frames in, but I do want the frames to be done properly. And that's the pipe. That's our main pipe for the uh, for the thing for the sleepers. And that's got to get to that pipe over there. So that's going to come over here. Uh, I need more pipe. There it is. That can just come through here. Get to this wall. <clears throat> On the outside here. That's actually above the outside of the base. So we could actually. Run that through there. That'd work. Hi. Hi. Dig that one up. Uh, let me wrench. Wrench, 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 wrench. What's it at now? I don't know what you're looking at. 23 in this room. 23. Okay, we're getting there slowly. We won't be able to open pressurizing the stream. We're getting close to it. It's quickly dropping in this room, so I'm going to wait for it to get to like two or one. So, uh... Okay. Wire cutter there, there, there. And that. Okay, wires. Need a con to go across, then down, down. And then away. 
then there. Okay, but that will do that. <coughs> bad, 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 bad. There. Why could us remove that one, that one, and that one? We should be able to connect that there. There we go, that's back to connected again. And I can run the pipe again. We're gonna need more pipes, however. This pipe runs across there. Hi. Why is that there? Why got where? <laughs> this white pipe here. Oh, that's my spacer pipe. It doesn't, go, it doesn't go to anything at the moment. No, I know. It, it just sticks out halfway through the uh, stats. Yeah, it, it's going to go away now. There you go. Okay. Right. Because <clears throat> the new one should... Uh, hopefully, run on the wall for a bit now. And we're going to need... Hi. Ah. Stuck on the edge of the things. Okay. Pop the two pipe there. You can come across if it needs to. Which it probably does actually. You don't want it to, but it's gonna have to come across. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need a bunch of a bunch of white pipe uh, making. So that pipe there. I don't. I, it means I don't want it to go where it's going. It's the annoying part. But the stairs are in the way, so it has to go there. It tells me if I bring it across one notch, nobody would see it. Because it'll be under the stairs. Unless you're looking through the stairs, which I don't care if you're looking through the stairs. It wouldn't be above the stairs, so you can keep that. Okay. Light pipe. So, this pipe will come down here. I think that's probably the better place for it. There. How much pipe do you need? Probably... 10 units. This will get you started. Oh, thank you. That does the inside piece anyway, just need the outside piece now. Okay. That's what it meant by power critical. As in, now I can't see anything. I'm in a roof space with no lights. <laughs> I've been ignoring the power critical warning for so long. <laughs> I say, do I need to fetch you a battery? Uh, apparently, you can't drag a water bottle into your power slot. That's something to be aware of as well. I'm so used to being hydration, I went straight to the water. Uh. Thank you. It'll be on the outside of the base. <clears throat> Problem now is trying to line up the inside and the outside pipes. <laughs> What's my O2 like in a way? 3 kPa, okay. Not doing too well on the O2. Okay, that looks like it's the O2 pipe, but I can't guarantee it. Uh, you can do me a very good favour, could you? Yeah, sure. Hey, see, come to the corner. Where I am here. <clears throat> right, there's an O2 pipe somewhere up there. Right, <laughs> above it. Can you move that panel okay. for a bit so I can see? This panel? Yeah. I tried to see up there, but from, I can't move the one out my side because obviously, yeah. Right, where is the O2 pipe? Um, that pipe there, you can see. Yeah. Does that connect to the other pipes into the roof? Looks like it does, but I can't yeah. quite make it out. I don't want to get to the wrong one, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun. There's a pipe above me, that's the thing. Right, the white pipe is sort of the second one in. 
second notch in. So, if I connected this pipe, uh, would this you say that's attached to it? Green pipe. Is that attached to it? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. So, I remove that. We don't want to be hidden. And turn my light off because I can't see a damn thing with the light on. Make it go that way. Then straight there. Run that across that. Light on. There. Do a 90 degree turn here. Then we go downwards. Straight there, there, there. Before I connect it, do an atmospheric check on the pipe. Pipe is completely empty. Good. This pipe here is also completely empty. Good. Right. Connect the final pipe up. Okay, that should be all the wiring and all the piping for the atmospheric up. Just need a couple of uh, CO2 filters for the uh, for the air filters in there, and it should be ready to power. For 0.3 PA at the uh, airlock as well. Pipe should now. The that pipe would work better no if I wired that in. Uh, that would work better if that was powered. The the actual um, pressure regulator. Give me a straight piece there. I'll go wire that in. Ah, someone just says uh, normal power cable. Normal power cable. Do you have any normal? I got loads of heavy, but no normal. There's one more thing, which is the pressure regulator that needs to be powered up. Do, 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 do. We actually have the sleepers done. It's only been like 15 streams. <laughs> <clears throat> I think about turning these into like one hour videos for people if they want that. I'm not sure if people want to watch this series in, in video format though. Hopefully they do. But I find the game fun. Same. I find it fun, but then again, I'm playing it, so. <laughs> okay, here we go. Connect that up, and that pipe should get pressurized with 100 kPa of oxygen. Two, three, four. It's going up. Can you reduce the pressure to on the pipe on that uh, pressure regulator? Say 50 kPa. Doesn't need to be more than 50. 30 is what we humans breathe, so 50 would be fine. 50 kPa. Yeah, five zero. Okay, it's set to 100, but just realize we don't actually need to be 100. It can actually be. Uh... It is set to 50. Thank you. It's at 23 right now. If you can actually make it, yeah. So the first, now, first is what you need to breathe. Um, Temperature is really cold right now, it's at minus 3.3. <clears throat> so, um, turn the pressure regulator off for a second so we don't pump any more in while we we'll try and bring it up to a reasonable temperature at some point. And the, the pressure will increase when we bring the temperature above it. It's now off. Okay. Coming in with the base right now. Hey, it's Mudgy. Go on then, get you another tree. If you didn't want to eat those ones, I'm going to get you the last of the remaining stitches back. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to come in and I'm going to do a test run with it. Do we have a we have a carbon filter in the base? I saw it earlier, so I'll go grab that on my way. Carbon? Yeah, carbon dioxide filter. Oh, okay. There was a single one in this uh, chamber earlier. There it is, CO2 filter. Because that's the stuff we want to get rid of. Right, so first of all, I'll put the carbon dioxide filter in there. Right. And we're at 41 kilopascals and dropping because the temperature is getting worse and worse. Very, very badly. 
probably partly to do with the fact that this is so cold in here. Um, also because the pipes, some of, some of the pipes on the outside, so it's getting like, super chilled because of night time. Yeah. Right. Uh, great. That's why I didn't want the pipes on the outside, but there's not really a choice in some of it. Okay. All the great thing is going back in upstairs. They won't fall through the floor anymore. <coughs> right, turn on the bed. Bed is powered. Getting in the bed. Okay, I'm in the bed. Uh, I need to get my helmet and open it. I'm trying to die. Ready? Temperature critical. Da, 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 da. Apart from your temperature, you seem to be alright. Yeah, the, the temperature is one thing I need the radiators and so far. But I'm not dying and it's not completely about oxygen. Lock my helmet again. There we go. So that worked well. Now the question is, did that pipe get any CO2 in it from my short exposure? So I've got the filter turned off right now so we can see if the pipe got any CO2 in it. No. At the moment. Okay, it might just need to be in there longer then. Do you go jump in here for a second? Yeah, I'll jump in. You have to, uh, when you're in there, you have to open your helmet to, uh, for it to work. I mean, I don't know how much humans produce in the game, CO2-wise. Oh, turn your um, air filter off as well, in your, in your suit, because that might be processing it. Uh, three is my suit. Get rid of four and six. Um, filter is off. I'm not seeing any CO2. <clears throat> I just need it to be a, a, a thing to be dealt with. Okay. Sadly, however, it's minus 21 degrees Celsius and getting worse. I'm assuming that's what you're seeing on the temperature as well. Yeah, minus 22 now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, no CO2 being produced, so you might just have to uh, leave that for later. We'll see if it works. Uh, it's only freezing up there, so cue to get out. Cue. There should be a prompt, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think we're good. The CO2 filter gets turned on when we know it works. When we know we're getting CO2 in there, we can make it work that way. Uh, the base pressure still needs to be dealt with. Pipe network is looking good. We're at 0 0.8 PA in here. So close to a vacuum. One PA in this room. Two PA by the elevator. We're getting so close to being able to pressurize. I mean, the worst room is the production room. Yeah, and it's a two PA. Upstairs, upstairs in the production room is two PA. Now, what I don't know is the pipes, are they going minus like 20 zombie because they're going technically go out into the walling and the outside at night time is really super cold <coughs> um, or is it doing that because this is a vacuum, uh, a vacuum. it does go it goes down to nil when it's um, a full vacuum so yes but the pipes uh, temperatures drop even lower than I believe uh, break time that's not a bad idea but the pipe the actual auction pipes um, the both the main one from the from the main feed and the one they're both controlled on this wall and so they're exposed on the outside and in at night it's Could minus be. 70. yeah it's cool for them insulated pipes. Uh, so I insulated pipes i don't know if it, i don't think putting um panels on the outside would actually help it so we need insulated pipes and we need to do both sides we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Yeah, 31 to do it. And that does both the main pipe and also the local pipe. Solar tracking still working. Most of the batteries are fully charged. Oh god, as close to as you're going to get at this time of day. And the gas farm is over halfway. Well. I think Toad went out for jogging. <laughs> I think if Toad went jogging, the end of the world would happen. With his, with his knees the way they were, I don't think he's jogging anytime soon. Did you say 21? 31. Same. Need to paint them as well. <coughs> Where's the white paint? Uh, 79 percent remaining. I'm going to paint the uh, controller as well because it's the yellow. There we go. <laughs> If you drop an up floor when you got one, I will paint it with me. There you go. No, we got this fire extinguisher. I expected to be able to use it by now. <clears throat> so you know, from what you said earlier, you dropped some volatiles on the floor. Yes. Um, apparently, if you drop volatiles on the floor in an alternate base, you get you, you get fired. Okay. I have to remember that. <laughs> I don't know if it needs something else, but I heard somebody say it in a stream, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to not handle volatiles in the base. Okay, let's just get this pipe done first. 16 pieces here. Do those ones first. That's 11. And we need a bend there. Right, and it connects to one up here. Oh, we need the wrench. Show you the wrench. remove this pipe though. Right, that's the outside piece of that one done, I can do six on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two of these insulated ones left. Put in that one there. Okay. There. That's a full stack of 20 there. Once we go into the roof, it shouldn't be an issue. There you go. Once I go, in, once I go into the base, it's not an issue. Okay, so now the last one to do is over here. You see how they go into that goes into that roofing space there? Yeah. Above this tile, there's ones that are technically in this roofing, so they're classed outside still. But we can't remove that roofing because it goes into the base. So let's do it from the inside. So if you remove that piece of roofing there, you end up uh, exposing the base to the Atmo, which, you know, trying to avoid. <laughs> And then when we take this out, we're going to quickly take a very quick break. And by a very quick break, I mean literally I'm just going to go and top up my cup. We want my laser 0 kPa and 0 0.2. 0 0.02, sorry, my mistake. 
almost a vacuum. You just pull a flooring up. Uh, uh, the one between these two is the best one because it uh, gets you in there without any problems. Why is this one complaining now? Right, so the one that matters is. Uh, uh. Let's see. Uh, hang on, let me tablet in the way. Can't see something. <coughs> right. Um. One sec. Okay, cat. We come here a second. Does require quite jetpack, sadly. So that's the ocean pipe there. Yeah. And that pipe is technically on the outside of the base, technically. But there should be a pipe that you can grab and get all the from the other side. But I can't see it coming through. I can't. Uh... I'm trying to get a better angle because there's a thing in way, but. Um, I can't connect that pipe to anything there. Right up against the outside wall, uh, one full square away from where you are should be the pipe. Maybe it didn't go, maybe it didn't get in far enough when I turned it. If you can throw me uh, two insulate pipe, or just one earlier actually. I can reposition that with pipe to be closer. It's there. <laughs> Got it. Because uh, that's there. Because I definitely turned it. I thought it connected to something when I did it. Right. And it's just jetpack up. I'm not going to use the door down here because the door is uh, definitely full of uh, plain ammo in. Do, 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 do. Cycle the airlock. Let's go. Let's go. Faster, 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 faster. Hey, it worked. Uh, Alright, first of all, pipe wrench on that piece of pipe there. Alright, is there anything in there? I can technically connect to something to do that. Can you, is that connected? Yes, that's connected. Okay, so that was that was the issue. It was going in the wrong direction. So hopefully, connect that line, replace that line with insulated just until it goes into. Basically, anything here in this gap is uh, going to be super cold. Even if it's in the roofing, there's a glitch in the game where the pipe has to make a decision whether it's inside or outside the base. It doesn't go yeah. to go in a wall and I'll use the best one. It randomly picks which one it wants to be in. There. That should be good. So once it goes, once it makes that turn into, into the Atmo, basically. Come. Yeah, it should be good. It should be all inside now. Ah, let me have a look. Make sure I know what I think that goes to there, and it turns that turn. And once it's that turn, it's in the base, guaranteed, so we're good. It's here, yeah. Right, so the uh, question now is... The only, the only one we need to check is this corner here. Um, question then applies, why is this pipe showing a 2k PA? 1000 PA. Two moles. We put a lot more moles than that in. Yeah, but it was ripped half of it off. Yeah, but not that much, really. I mean, okay, turn, turn the regulator back on. Uh, boop. There we go. I'm going to lower it in case it's uh, in the, an issue somewhere. Down to. Ah! I'm going to move. Or lowering it. Down to 30 kPA. Put it to 33. That's just three above what we need. Why have we got a blanked off pipe there? That'll be the outside pipe that probably didn't get connected. Maybe we could set up as a T junction. I don't know. It shouldn't be there. Can we move that? We can move that without going outside, by the way, if we needed to. Set the stairs down. Take it out. Take it out. Let's see from here whether. Set the stairs out, you see. You know, get to it from. Right, if I tip that, it's a T junction pipe, so yeah. Okay. Do you know? Is it uh, is a gap in pipe now, I'm guessing? There's no, there's a missing pipe, yeah. So if you drop me the pipe, I'll go out there and change it. There's a pipe now. This pipe's been 2 megapascals. This side's reading 33. 
temperature is minus 5.9 and still dropping because this room I'm guessing no this room's only um this room is minus two so it shouldn't be getting colder than there. Um try this corner up here. That yeah that one corner would definitely be classed outside potentially. Um yeah. with the wrench well, that's actually outside the base. It shouldn't be in, uh, outside the system, so it shouldn't be an issue. Oh god! Don't make me jetpack in here for too long. <laughs> so, what are you in now? Because this now should be. It's getting colder very, very quickly still. I mean, bear in mind the tank is actually outside. Um. Yeah, the tank's insulated, isn't it? I don't know. Oh. But even so, the the local pipe isn't connected to the tank, so... Oh, I think there's one pipe over here still that's uh, going outside, but it's not insulated. Uh, that one. Lights off. Need to see... This needs to be... It's not connected to anything. That. When both yellow, Mike. yellows, oh. uh, when both pluses are yellow, it's connected. I couldn't do both pluses because I only have one pipe and needed two. Okay, so right now, temperature is uh, minus 16.9 and dropping. Which is, I mean, the room is minus 14. So it shouldn't be getting any colder than the room, should it? Getting colder than the room itself. Ooh, need that. Hydration critical. And that's all insulated pipe now. That's all insulated pipe. That's all insulated pipe there. That's insulated pipe there. That's insulated pipe to there. That goes into the roofing, which ah, minus fourteen. See, this pipe here, on the near side, that goes to the farm, it's a 0.1 below. Mm. And this pipe goes out to our sleepers, which is now at minus 22. Well, I'll change that one for an insulated pipe then. So, I'm confused as to where it goes, if it goes outside somewhere. Let me test something. If I cut this pipe here, put that to there. Pipe, pipe, that's a full stack of pipe. There we go, put that there. Is this temperature still dropping? It's 24.4 around. Hold on. Testing something in theory. The pipe going to the sleepers is getting super cold. Oh god, I've run out of power and I can't see. Yeah, the pipe going to the sleepers is getting chilled. I think the sleepers are chilling it for some reason. Interesting. I've, got, I've brought the pipe in two. The pipe going to the outside is at minus 24 and holding, and the pipe going into the sleepers is now at minus 35. <coughs> hmm. That's strange. And still going minus 37. I mean, we may have to put a uh, uh, thing on the pipe. To keep it from getting too cold, if the sleepers actually cause them to cool down. Yeah. But I didn't know sleepers would do that. 
If I turn that sleeper off, will that stop the pack getting cold? That's a good question. No, pipes are still getting cold even though they're not connected to anything anymore. Okay, where's my wrench? Wrench, pipe. I'm going to put a break in the pipe there, a break in the pipe there, and then test it again. That's at 42. And that one I can't actually see the other pipe because the massive tablet in the screen. That's still getting colder, and that one? That's getting colder. Um, let me try something here. Um, could be a glitch. I'm going to test something with if it is a glitch or not. Right, give me a pipe there. Turn it that way. What's the temperature of that pipe? It should be nothing because there'll be nothing in that pipe right now. Well, there is something in that pipe, okay. Okay, the pipe's existence gets colder. <laughs> <laughs> the fact the pipe exists means it gets colder, okay. Um, is it connected to a sleeper is a question. Right, where's my sensor? Yep, sleepers are actively doing the cooling. So what so you're is you need a couple of radiators? Well, either radiators or an active air, AC, basically. But I would, I'm thinking radiators, personally. The base, the base, I think the base is going to naturally be warm, anyway. Because of all the machinery and stuff. Yeah. BS that they have a cooling effect when they're not even running. Yeah. Hydration critical. <coughs> there should be still downstairs. <laughs> Need to be placing there. But yeah, that was uh, that was that was that's the thing. Um. I brought the pipe either side of the of the sleepers between them, so the pipe between them was just floating. Yeah. And that pipe between them stopped going down in temperature, but they were too carried on going down. There's four radiators. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll radiate these into the into the core space, but right between the two sleepers, because it's the easiest one to sort of maintain access to. still getting colder, but I think that's because there's not enough atmosphere in this room now to counter it. 2PA! Power low. The ultimate goal is to get this place equalised temperature-wise anyway. I mean, do we need the drop through into there anymore? No, we need plastic to fill them in. I don't have any plastic left. That right now, that drop through is basically the event in there. So it's, that's the reason it's open. Oh. But we're at one PA, so plastic. So close to get rid of all the stuff. We're down to centimoles and millimoles now.
27. I don't need the label around me. I think I've got inventory space that I could be using for other stuff. I don't need the config chip anymore. <coughs> uh, power is running low. So pick up my panel. Do unlock open. Off, off, off. What happens to me in here right now? Is the question? Hi. Oh, <laughs> I see your head. <laughs> so I'm at minus 57 degrees Celsius right now. Minus 58. Um, but I've turned everything off on my suit. <clears throat> and everything appears to be fine. Can't see any problems right now. Other than the cold, obviously. And I'm not even sure if the cold does anything to you. The cold is going down. Because when you... Still. What's that? Temperature. Cold. Yeah. Temperature is yeah, going down. So. They're at minus 60 now. Minus 61. Yeah. It might be worth putting maybe an active AC on this unit. If we need to. Mm. Alright, well. Uh, Aircon, aircon filter. Wolves helmet, lock helmet, and get out of bed. Light on. Might be good to look at the wiki and see if there's anything about you know them reducing temperatures. Uh, sleeper. See, it's just the lack of information on the station PDO. There's nothing helpful in it. You have to use the wiki. Yeah. All right. Uh, station ears. If I the word correctly, we station ears wiki sleeper. But they'll tell me if there's like a, any stats about it being cold. So. <clears throat> A sleeper stops the hunger in a timer while inside. Once properly set up, maintained, allows control of sleep when play logs off. Those surrounding atmosphere needed to operate can go with full suit or open visor. Yep. Or you can get it with no suit at all, that's an option. Um, see, the, the thing they recommend is just a filter uh, and the sleeper. There's no, no mention of temperature. Um, once you build yeah, light system, you might want to feed air at a proper temperature too, but fresh spawn characters have 20 degree oxygen tanks. Uh, up to 80. <clears throat> you see, it basically says that the... It doesn't affect you, basically. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a very quick break to make a drink because this one I've been drinking is tea and it's flat cold. <laughs> um, I'm going to jump into sleeper <clears throat> with my helmet open, all, all my suits have turned off. And we'll, so when I get out of the sleeper, I want you to be there to see if I have any like, damage from being frozen. Yeah. And we'll find out if it works. And that tells us where we need to deal with the temperature problem. Short term, anyway. Because right now the uh, pipe is reading minus 72. That pipe is just annoying. <laughs> Alright, getting in the sleeper. Uh, helmet is open. All systems are turned off. 
got a low pressure warning this time around though. I did get a low pressure warning. I can boost the pressure, can't I? Uh, yeah, the uh, the thing in the ground, the um, pressure regulator should bring it up to 30. The problem we've got is when we if we do start warming up, that will increase the pressure. We, there was 30 in the pipe at, at zero degrees. There's now 19 kPa in the pipe. So aim for 20, because 20 seems to be the way. 21 where the uh, where right, I'm at 22. Yep. So that's as quick as I got it. <clears throat> yeah, because when it hit 22, the, the line went from yellow to white. So I can see that's good. Okay. So I'm going to go make a drink. And while I'm away, we'll see if A, my character creates any CO2, and B, if the uh, character takes any damage when I get out of the, th out of the thing as well. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, I'll be back in just one minute then. Uh, so let me round the yard, letting my lawnmower pull me. Yeah, I knew you'll be running though, because uh, I know your needs don't want, want to accept that as a, as a, as a thing. Alright, back in one sec. Alrighty, now to find out. I didn't die, that's the good news. Uh, so, what does it say over here though? Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 a lot of chance. Need complaining. Did a bunch of walking earlier. I need about to just give itself an idea at this point. Ooh. Went to ENT earlier and they showed a camera. So far up my nose, we could see the inside of my ears. Fair. 
Uh, um, a little wonky because some weird thing in my nose is supposed to get smaller as you go back. Uh, mine is all poofed out with the full of fluid or something. Is that what's been causing the uh, problems recently? Causing the weird pressure imbalance, causing a feel like yes. <coughs> okay. It's not great. Great, some of it never stop. It's great. So great, I hope it never stops. <laughs> Uh, alrighty, ready to do a health check? Uh, mine's 86 degrees Celsius. Mine's 87 now. Okay, AC on, air on, filter on, gloves helmet, lock helmet, out of the thing, health check. But I can't do it myself, that's why you're supposed to be here. <laughs> I thought you were a second ago, where did you run to? Where? Yeah. I mean, you look fine. So you don't get a little progress bar above my name or anything? No. Okay, because I get a little progress bar when the person starts dying. Okay. I think, even though it's like minus 100 degrees Celsius in this thing, it's actually okay. Okay, so yeah, I think I think it's good. I think it's just cold. It's... Warming up's gonna be a second. It's colder than the outside atmosphere right now. Yeah. Outside atmosphere gets down to about like minus seventy. Health looking much better though, by the way. Yes, indeed. All right, put that away for a second. Ooh, I, can't stack. I was going to say I can stack the pipes, but I actually have a full stack in. All right, outside temperature of the base is minus 56 degrees Celsius. There's no way it should be warm or colder in the pipe than it is inside, out in the atmo, outside. <coughs> Someone snuck some ice cubes in the pipe, didn't they? <laughs> We are at 0 0.6, but there is no um, X in the atmosphere now. Excellent. X is the main one to get rid of anyway. <coughs> we don't need to fully vacuum it, we just need to get rid of the X from all the rooms. Then we can do a stuff will go away and actually through cycling. I'll. I'm upstairs and I cannot find any X. Yep, I'm running through the most CO2 and N2 is what I'm seeing when I'm running through the new room we built. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to run off to the farm, make sure it hasn't uh, melted all the crops. I'll take this on the way. We're going to take the furnace room area because you've got the upstairs yeah. downstairs in the arc, right? Yeah. CO2 and N2. <clears throat> CO2 and N2. Because it's CO2 and N2 right now, and we've got, we're going to have in the base mostly N2. And the uh, yeah, it'll be mostly N2 in the base. And uh, we got it. Once it, once we pressurize and we if we take the helmets off, we're putting CO2 in ourselves anyway. All right, and this is 27 degrees Celsius. This is actually semi holding its temperature. Yeah, there's no pressure over here at all. Okay, I think we're getting to the point where we could possibly look at uh, starting the actual pressurization process. Everywhere apart from the gas farm, we just have to basically make sure that no one uses the door to the gas farm until we seal the gas farm and, and vent it separately. Yeah. Because even the door here, uh, even though it's a closed area, that gap in between those two is um, with two kPa ammo in the gap yeah. for, th for three squares. <clears throat> Actually, Thank you, Ivy. Shall I start cladding it so then we can vent? Uh, pr uh, yeah, depressurize it. Oh, uh, you can do. We can we can get it cladded in that way. 
Uh, we don't have to worry about the door then. <coughs> no. What I was going to do is, there's a short term fix if we didn't clad it, because I, I was leaving it up to Mater, but Mater's not been in for a few streams. And we can't leave it forever. Um, what I was going to do is um, do what I did in the farm, where there's a vent in the ground that sucks the air out of the gap between them, and use it as a mini airlock. <coughs> yeah. But uh, if you want to set up a. If you want to clad the whole thing, if you've got the materials to clad it, cladding's uh, better. Materials, so I'm about to start. Well, it's. All, all the things are there, it just needs. Um, it'll need well, four, a 4x4, four four, so 4, 8, 12, 16 walls with plastic for all of them to do the middle, to do the mid rift of it. Yeah. Um, and it looks like the windows on the sides of all being done, they just need glass. There's just the upper roof that needs doing. <coughs> I think we'd I think we're good to start pressurizing the main base as soon as yeah, as soon as that gas farm is cleared. If you want to do it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll start getting the uh, stuff ready for pressurization. <clears throat> I walked into the gas furnace uh, in the gas furnace room and the pressure would jump to twenty five megapascals and it took me a second to realise it was the furnace I was looking at and not the room. <laughs> Alright, so if we're going to start doing this, we need a lot of pipes. We need to run a um, an Atmo pipe to the production building. And right now, and the production building is the only one that has a thing. So we need, a, we need to run an Atmo pipe to probably the power. Power probably won't want. Um, so it's power. So it's done. So it's there. <coughs> um, We'll want one in the production room. We'll want one in the. Um, we haven't named the room yet, but in the. What do you call it? Room? The sleeper room. Yep. Um, we're going to want one. Probably in one of the furnace rooms. Or at least in the corridor near the furnace rooms. So that side of the base gets a bit of air pressure as well. Obviously, that corridor between the. I don't really see. So, one thing we don't want it in the actual um, advanced furnace. We don't want it if that blows up to vent any, any good air. <coughs> so, probably either in the arc furnace, which is a bit close to the yours, or we just leave that side of the thing for now. Or we put it in the corridor. But there's a vent in the corridor for the acting for takeaway, which I don't think is a good idea to mix them. Maybe we just leave that side alone for now until we get another room on the end of it. Yeah. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How many um, grates do you have on you? I have one. Okay. Flaws off in the other room. <clears throat> the lights over there, yeah, but that's uh, a nice to put in in a bit. Come on, three. It feels freezing cold in this room, but it's like 19 Celsius. It should not feel cold. Seven. I have a feeling once we start pumping air in, we're going to start feeling the effects of noise. Badly. And then the thermal problems as well. Yeah. But, but machines are using heat. We don't even know they're making heat because we never had that much in the room to actually be a problem. Okay, inventory. I need to store that away. That's in the stack of that. That needs to go into there. 
that can go there and your heavy cable I hope. You are and you, I mean your heavy cable you can go in there as well. I mean I believe that's the floor down. That one you've got in your inventory, that's for the upstairs between the sleepers. Okay. Okay. Last check on this pipe to see how many millions of degrees plus Celsius it is. Uh, for that one's a tw minus twelve, which is a reasonable normal temperature. Before you put great, I'm just gonna get a reading for the pipe. Yeah. I'll uh, and this one is reading at. Can I get a feed on the pipe, please? Thank you. Minus one hundred and nine point nine, and still going. <laughs> minus one hundred and ten point zero. I think it stopped. Under nope, it's still going. It's still getting even even colder. It's down to seventy seven kPa now. That, but I have no idea what's wrong with these pipes. There's some, there's a problem. There's something. There's an issue somewhere. <clears throat> I'm going to have to put a back pressure regulator on it, so when it warms up it doesn't just burst the pipe. Uh, that needs altering. I thought we were turning around there, but apparently we're not. There we go. Back pressure regulator. Um, if I go into the roof and put a little back pressure regulator on that, then have it set to 100 kPa. If it ever gets as high as 100, because it, it'll be down to uh, temperature changes. I have it vent into the uh, waste pipe immediately. It's anywhere near 100 kPa. Right, Ooh, I need that there. You can literally come directly to each other, and the power cable is right there, so that just makes it nice and easy. Cool. Uh, you uh, go downwards, downwards, and I need a pipe from you so for your colour. Thank you. There we go, and you need the pipe to go up there, and between them will be the pressure regulator that says if that white pipe ever hits 100 kPa, by pressure, uh, you flip please, thank you. If it hits 100 kPa then I want you to uh, stop the pipe exploding. The pipe exploding is not on my to-do list. Uh, power cables, <coughs> and this is a power cable here I want to take it from so I need a wire cutter, and I'll run it off of that one up there. Oops, didn't mean that. It's a turn there. There we go, and you're set that if the back pressure reaches 100, empty it. Okay. That I'm happy with right now. That back pressure regulator is in place, <clears throat> doing its job of making sure that the pipe doesn't explode. Um, any idea what the actual rating of a pipe is, by the way? Um, no. <laughs> um, pipe. I don't know what the pipes explode at. I know they have a failure, I don't know where it is. 60 megapascals. Don't think we're going to hit 60 megapascals for a while. <clears throat> okay. That means we can technically turn on the pressure regulator here to pump it back up to 33 and hold it at 33. Uh, and then when it does warm up, it will uh, fix everything. But I'm actually more happy to not touch it right now. Until we want to use it. Because it's, all I can see is it's going to get colder and colder and colder and get more and more gas in there for no reason. So minus 113.7. There's a glitch somewhere. Okay. 
I'm hoping when we uh, pressurize, the um, things will do the job. <coughs> the um, pipes thingy. Oh, put it on there. Ooh, the um, radiator, so they'll do their job. But can't guarantee that. Some plastic left. I don't think I've got enough to do all these. Probably should do those. The visible, but uh, no, 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 they look fine to me. Okay, I'm going to come into my inventory because i got a lot of junk in my inventory right now. Right, these aren't insulated tanks, by the way. Okay. I mean, if they're supposed to be inside a room, they'll be fine. When the, once the room's pressurized and everything, but uh, probably explains some of the temperature. But it doesn't explain the temperature in that pipe, though, because that pipe is not connected to that tank. There's a <clears throat> pressure regulator that's turned off, and it's, even then, it's way more cold than the tank is. I'm going to need pipes. I'm going to need to make a lot more of them. Um, right, you in the... question for you. Yeah. Windows for the roof or uh, walls? Um, <clears throat> what do you think? I mean, walls are a bit cheaper than plastic wise. Um, everywhere else has, everywhere apart from the power room has uh, windows on the roof. Um, I would go roof. I would go roof on that because I think the plan is to put to radiators up there to cool stuff down. Okay. So I said, why not have a roof for a roof? <laughs> totally with that the logic. Device. Right, I'm going to do what I was planning on doing now. I'm going to grab those, make some more pressure regulators, and reconnect all these uh, vents to pressure regulators. <clears throat> uh, we have, we have, we have, well, we have five. I thought we only had the one. Okay. Uh, I need, first of all, that to go there. I need the wrench to pull that off the pipe. Put that away. Get the pressure regulator. Uh, make sure it's facing the right way. Uh, that way. And we want it like that so it's pipe is facing. If the facing to the side, I can change it from below by just taking the panel off the roof. And then put the pressure, then put the vent back on there. <clears throat> Will that work though, is the question, because it didn't used to work. Because before, it wouldn't actually be able to do that because it wouldn't actually work. Um, ooh. Uh, I need to run over here. I need to grab this canister. Gas canister, gas canister, gas canister, you. <clears throat> uh, and the pipes, because it's something I wanted me to do, but he didn't have time. Power cable will be a full stack. Hi, good timing. I was about to go out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, just think outside the the good D deck of Adrian. Indeed, indeed. <clears throat> um, I'm not even sure if this works when you put a vent up against a regulator directly. Because I've always had to put a gap between them, a single piece of pipe between them. I it's night day. Then, other than fixing it. <laughs> <coughs> I'm going to set up a, if I can anyway, a tank for uh, nitrogen so we can refill our jetpacks. One there, we have a waste one there. 
Nitrogen is what color? Blue, I'm hoping. Yep, yeah, nitrogen's a blue one. Um, so I'll put those pipes away for a second. Split them in half because uh, they have a full stack on me. That there, get the wrench. I need a blue pipe. There we go. Okay, that's the blue pipe in. <coughs> now. Um, do I want to run that blue pipe across and down here for some of that? Probably do want to keep the same consistency, don't we? Um, but this is just an emergency, so you can fix it when he, gets, when he turns up. Um, I need the tank first. Please, it's facing me and not facing. Uh, good, it is. Right, that goes there. I want the pressure regulator directly above it. Light Rotate it in the right direction for me, that'd be amazing. Thank you. <coughs> see, you see, you can't do that. Which is why I was worried that the other thing could do it. You go there. Then you can go on top, right? Yes. You go there, and then I want to link you into that pipe, and I'm going to use probably the very last of my jet pack for this. Oh god, there's some mess of pipes up here. This is the... Oh my god, help! Now I need my wires and my. <clears throat> I tried to go into the roof and it was like there was stuff everywhere. If this was my gas room, I would be more careful with this, but I'm not the one who's going to have to fix it, so. Um... <laughs> Center, isn't it? Damn it. Oh. There we go. Okay, if you're not going to be connected properly, don't pretend to connect at all. Ah, stop it. Okay, that's all set. Now, if I bring the atmospherics up, what is complaining, by the way? There's something buzzy in my ear. A bit of water. It's always water. Nitrogen. Uh, I don't have that anymore, so I need to... hope I can change it in the right direction. Alright. Um, I'm going to want this set to... Around what? Oh god, I want to set the pressure of this pipe up to... Enough to make me fly around. Because I want to be probably next time we get back. So 6,000 kPa be enough flying around? Yeah, I've got mine at 3,000 at the moment. 3,000? Probably go a bit lower then. I Maybe think that's about half a tank. Tanks can go up to 10,000, so... I can't fly... I can't hover for long. I've only got like 200 kPa in my tank. 100 kPa in my tank. Uh... Okay, so it's slowly filling it. <clears throat> but I know these are going to be slow fills. Because the the pressure regulators are always a, a slow process, but it's already higher than my tank, so I'm going to put my jetpack tank in the waste pipe thing to empty it, so I don't cross contaminate the, uh, the thing. It's actually empty. Okay. Whenever you uh, want to use your 
we call it. Whenever you want to do something, fill something up. Make sure it's yeah. fully empty of any contaminants first. Okay. There we go. Right, I'm gonna leave that to fill for a minute. But yeah, just drop it in this um, waste chute, basically. And yeah. then it will it'll drain it off the waste tank in there as well, actually. Waste tank critical. Do, 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 do. You see, you all have nice rest of the day. Good night, my lords. Rest well. <clears throat> just draining my waste tank out. I was going to say, I need to do my waste tank as well. It should be quite instant. It goes pretty quickly, but uh, you have to take it fully empty with the waste tank, so that's useful. Alright, so I'm gonna. If you've got 3,000 in my or two tanks, that's not a problem. I'm gonna. Ah! You put glass in that one. <laughs> I've put glass in them all. There's just this uh, one here. This is the only way to get out at the moment. Okay. <laughs> if you can jump. <laughs> oh god. Put my O2 tank in my propellant. Oh, fly with my tank. Oh dear. There we go. <laughs> I had to um, put my I've got my jetpack fuel currently uh, filling up in the base, but the base is uh, slow filling because it's a very slow vet pressure regulators are very slow. <clears throat> so since I'm already dying from dehydration at zero percent, I figured you know a little bit of oxygen deprivation isn't a problem. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. That's the water problem solved. I'm kind of half interested in what temperature the pipe will get down to. Oh. There's going to be a bug there. I feel like reloading, like saving and reloading, just to see if it fixes the, the bug. I should give it a try. If I save and reload it. Yeah. Close that one off. Let me just come over here and. Uh... <coughs> just in What's case. That? Let me come inside the base just in case. Me, I'm, I'm outside the base anyway. Let's we'll see. Oh. I'm in the gas. I'm a gas fan right now. Oh. Uh, so, so if I save now, save as stream 5. Saving. And then if I do leave session, that should boot you from the server. Yeah. <clears throat> and then reload stream five. And then you should be kidding. If that fixes it, that pipe will should be getting warmer. Because the base is like minus eighteen or something like that, and the outside is minus fifty at it's at minus seventy at night. And my and plus like ten at day. So the pipe should warm up. Okay, I'm back in. You should reconnect. I'm gonna restart for the game anyway. Just as Alrighty. Okay, my tank has one megapascal in it. That's enough for me to be able to at least fly around a little bit. Uh, I just need that one. Okay, there we go. I can fly again. Alright. So this machine is set to set the pipe to 6 megapascals. Um, I know you can take 10, 10 megapascals before it explodes your, your canister, so that shouldn't be a problem. The only thing I'm worried about is temperature increasing. Turn the regulator off for now until we get the, the place warmed. So it's going to be, if you need to refill your tank, it's two megapascals right now. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure you uh, vent your jetpack tank into the waste chute 100% vented before you refill it because uh, the old system we were using was uh, using Atmo.
You might want to just do it anyway, that way when you do jetpack around you know you've got uh, just nitrogen in your tank. You feel something? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know when I did see something, someone did a really good idea. <clears throat> they had a, an airlock like this, but inside of the airlock they had the chute going through the wall. Yeah. And if they forgot something, the friend could throw the thing through the chute rather than having to go through the airlock to depress. It's a good idea, actually. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm going to need a lot of pipes to run a pipe from there to the other rooms. The first room in the list is actually this room. Um, but the first thing to be doing is getting pressure regulators back up in, in, in play. <clears throat> because all the vents right now are just sucking air. Now you said you had a vent set up in the gas uh, in the furnace that was sucking air. Yes, I'm uh, taking it offline now. So. Oh, okay. I wasn't going to do that one afterwards because I knew you had it done. No, I'm going to. I'm borrowing the parts for it for um, doing the gas room. Fair. I'm gonna set you to. I'm gonna set the. Uh, <clears throat> right, what should we? What do we want the air pressure to be in the base? Human breathable is at uh, 30. The wind does explode at 150. 50. Huh? So if we say pressure regulators at 50, um, atmosphere base pressure at 60, and that would create an air flush, wouldn't it? Yeah. After that reload, did you check? Not yet. No. I haven't checked yet. So setting this to 50 on the. I have to put the right one in. That's a pressure regulator. I need a back pressure regulator on this one. It seems to have stopped at minus 130. Okay, that's 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 progress. Uh, that's at 50, and then I'll turn it on. Maybe there's enough power that way. It's just prepped to go. Okay, cut the envelope so it says off on it. <clears throat> right. So it's holding for the uh, thingy, is it? So it's actually holding. Which pipe did you check? Um, I just looked at one of the beds. Oh, okay. Minus 130. That's good, it was still dropping last time I checked. Um, what colours are cables for the gas room? Um, the beds are being weird. The same that I would not do supply. Crowbar! The pipe is 130.4. Seems to be holding temperature. But the bed's flashing orange, which means there's a problem. Which usually means there's not an O2 supply. Trying to stick a little bit of pressure in there. On this. Oh, oh. yeah, they'll be below, won't they? Um, let's hold off for now. Okay. Um, I think that is the case, but I feel that they, they're going to cause a problem when they... Uh, no, actually, no, you're right, you can do it. Bring up to 30, whatever it was, 33. Because there's a back pressure regulator on there, we'll fix it if it gets too warm and starts to expand anyway. You monitor in it. <clears throat> yeah, temperature's dropping rapidly because of new gas coming in warmer. <laughs> temperature at 110, 119. Uh, pressure? 23, 24. I'll stop it at that then. Hmm. Needs to be above 30 for the. Uh, okay, I'll. For, for you to use it because the human's breather on. Okay, so we're at 30. That's fine, you can cut it off now. Yep. And the beds are still reporting an error. There you go, we have to recycle them. I have to turn them off my gun again once they hit the right temperature pressure. Pipe is showing 10 degrees. There we go, 86 degrees. And is it holding? No, it's getting colder, but very slowly now. I'm wondering if that's because of the temperature in here reads as nil now. Oh, good. Let's get those, let's get those uh, things off. 
quickly. Uh, drills, I'm guessing, or wrenches. Radiators. Why a wrench? Get those radiators off so we don't uh, accidentally chill the pipe. Let's have a look at now. Minus 87.3. Anyway, it will say nil. That's good. <coughs> um, that sounds like a D with 2020 vision. Uh, 87.3. Temperature hasn't changed. Yay. So uh, I'm guessing there was a bug that we had to reload for, and then obviously the newer version was caused by the things. Okay, I'm happy with that for now. Uh, I'm going to put the grate back on the floor. But when you look at the beds, if you're looking at them in, uh, if you're actually looking at the beds for temp temp uh, pressure, check if the pressure isn't like um, 0 0.1. Because it was when I looked at them, both of them were showing 0 0.1 um, kilopascals. Yeah. That's how I knew there, were, there was some issue with them. And then they like flashing orange when I turned them on, so. Um, okay, next up on my list is. <coughs> Power cables for the utility. Um, power cable for the utility network. We don't have a power box for those. But what else? What we could do is We, we, need, we, don't, we don't want to colour, but where do we take the power from is the question, isn't it? <clears throat> so, what colour do we set? I can't remember what it was now. Station is clear. It's purple. Purple for... Utility. Utility. Yep. Yeah. Okay, purple. So, any purple cables. And that's a fifth item. So, do we put a dedicated battery in for it or do we pull it off of something else? Um, I mean, is there a system that doesn't use that much power? Uh, the least map power so far is farming and furnace. Furnace is the least power draw. I think that makes more sense because it, is, it, it draws so little power running the furnaces. I just I change the cable over, but I'll run it off the same battery. Right, I'm going to want a small transformer because I don't need <coughs> to be running high power cables for the swings. I think we can run it on a on a small, can't we? And if that's the case, we have a lot of cables. So I just need the purple paint. Do we have purple paint? We do. We have pink. Black and grey and a white. We don't have purple. Alright, we can purple paint. <coughs> so I'm getting the, before I do any kind of pressurization, I'm going to get the, uh, the vents connected up. So that the outbound system can uh, at least vent if we get over pressurization. Yeah. Um, purple paint, please. Uh, oh, I have mine in this box. It's gone there. Did you go upstairs and grab the iron out of that thing? No, I didn't. <clears throat> okay, must have made something with it then. <laughs> iron, please. Ingot copper, ingot nickel, don't want nickel. Silver, lead, solder, constantan, electrum. I want a search bar, please. <laughs> I don't think we have any iron left in that machine. Silicon. Steel. Um. Is there any in the pipe bender? Maybe. I'm giving it out of the uh, auto live. Okay. <clears throat> do, 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 do the 55 block in there. All right, purple, purple paint. Make one purple paint. 
drop all my cables on the floor. Paint them appropriately because right now they're a match of different colors. There we go. I'll leave my heavy cable as blue because that's going to get changed to uh, whatever color I end up splicing from. So silent in the base. It's gonna be so it's gonna be so weird when we get noise in the base. Okay. I just realized there's no actual um, gas section in the roof above the power building, which is a oversight at best. <clears throat> right, you were orange for yours, weren't you? Um, so I want that orange cable, so I can. Take the colouring off of it. Yoink. There we go. That's all I had to do. I put it onto the wrong one. Uh, you down there, please. There you go. Your furnace room's back connected again. <coughs> Where is the best place to put this transformer? I think it needs an actual wall, doesn't it? Officially. Oh no, you can put it on the glass, apparently. Which actually, for this one, doesn't actually isn't the worst option, given where it's going. <coughs> put it there. Feels cheap to put it on glass. It goes in glass. Okay. Heavy cable. And go in that side. I will go straight to the window edge so it doesn't get seen too much. Light on. Light on. I got it. Go that way. There we go. <clears throat> that will connect you up to the power. I can set your value to five thousand watts. You're going to be the uh, transformer that does atmospherics, basically. But now I can switch over to the purple cables. Send you straight up into the roof here. There we go. Now you can go outside. <coughs> Get the power cable into a position where you can come inside, and then back inside again. Open. Go faster, airlock. <laughs> okay. Where is that cable? There it is. exist entirely in the roofing because its job is never to come in the way so this doesn't need to be uh, anywhere else. This is a solid block I believe. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to run it across here a couple of squares just in case it is a solid block before I send it into the actual roof into base itself. Find it when I'm up there, easier. Do, 
do 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 do. How much power do the lights take? About 50 uh, or 100? I think it's 50 each. Some food. There we go. All right. So I've got a hole there now. So I should be able to get pretty much everywhere in this base through the roofing system. I think, unless there's a pipe going across it, which just causes an issue. So this side here. Or not? This side over here? No. There's a pipe in the worst possible place over there. <laughs> okay, come on. Hey, I'm up. I can see the power cable. I can see it. It's there. So that's the cable cable there, and I need that power cable to come down this way. So the best option is actually to move the cables back towards there. Um, since, since cables don't have collisions, can run down the very center. Whereas the pipes have collisions, so. Cables can be moved very easily if they need to be moved, so. I'm using normal cable for two reasons. One, we have a crap ton of it. And two, the uh, I don't think we're going to be exceeding the uh, limit. Literally a square away from being able to get the pipe up, and the, uh, I get blocked by a pipe. All right, pipe. I have to tear you down. You're in the way. It's only ocean pipe. It's fine. No, no one needs that stuff. <laughs> Okay, that will connect the first pressure regulator up. And the pipe's reconnected. I know the pressure regulator's turned off. It's set to 50 kPa. And it's now on. <coughs> okay, that's one connected. Head down here. Um, there's a wall in my way, and I don't know if this wall's safe to take down. I think it is. <coughs> Are you in the production room? No, I'm in the gas room. Okay. This corridor, yeah. <coughs> this must be an old blockage we had in place to stop something. So I'm going to remove the roof here just to make sure this is where it is. Oh, it's a single pin of roofing. Must just be an older piece. Okay. Um... That one can go back in. Uh, that one can go back in. That one I'll fly up there and I will remove it. Move that wall so that can go back in. This one needs removing. And grinder most likely to remove that last piece. 
we go. We have an upstairs again. We can walk pretty much anywhere in the base right now. Downside means if you crack a window anywhere in the upper section, you depressurize the entire base. <laughs> Great. Uh, there, are, there are plans to put bulkheads up here. <clears throat> uh, I think Mater wants to put full blocks in place, but I, I prefer the idea of uh, doors that, that can be uh, just closed and then open when needed. Yeah. You are set to 50 kPa and active. Right, the pipe you had in the other room is that doesn't it need this network, or are you already powering it separately, or is it a passive vent? It was a passive one. Okay. You're on about the one in the art. Is it art furnished room? I have no idea. I just know you said you had one in the furnished room. I'm not looking yeah, at it. Yeah, just... There's a passive vent that links um, the furnace to the rest of the base. Okay. <clears throat> Could probably come out, but. Well, if it's if, they, if we keep the door closed and that wants to regulate the pressure between the two, that's fine. There's no problem with that at all. Yeah. Um, as long as we know that we, if we ever need to wall that in that room for any reason, we remember to uh, to redo that. You know, yeah. chuck it open. I think I've got a bulkhead in the roof above the act as well. Because I just walked past there and I can see the uh, the tunnels it's got a solid piece in it. Yeah. Not complete though. Because what I'm thinking is when we need to. Uh, if we set the ceiling there, he's off. Downstairs, for pressure reasons, the upstairs is a one giant cavity. Probably makes sense to seal the upstairs as well at the same places. Yeah. We just need to figure out where we want the uh, doors to be. I think really the doors want to be <coughs> halfway down the corridors, so it creates, co creates quarters. You know, I'm gonna actually, I, took, I brought three stacks of cable, and I'm gonna run out. I'm glad we can use heavy cable for you. <laughs> I'd love enough to complete the line, but yeah, if it had been running heavy cable up here, it'd have been real interesting. Need my white cut it. There we go. Are you actually on? You are on, good. Okay. There. Did you use all the iron? No, there's a 55 stack upstairs. Okay. Now in here, <clears throat> this one's supposed to be the opposite round. This one's supposed to be too pressurized a bit. This one's going to need a lot of pipes. Okay, so at some point, we need to have an air pipe system. <clears throat> but I will want to, we will want to connect into the, uh, the power system <clears throat> for this. So going up. It's a little hopper to walk down because of these frames in the roof. Okay. Can't you pass that vent? That... Ah! There we go. See, in other places, I didn't put these. Uh, I didn't put the scaffolding in the um, frames <coughs> uh, in the roof, and there's no problem at all. You can walk around whatever. The ones, uh, the older ones, I've got the frames in them. You're just constantly walking around and bump, ba dump, ba dump every time you try and go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Send that power cable up. Hello. So it's out of the way a little bit. Probably send it that way. Probably want to change that orientation actually. Uh, give me a white goes second so I can just get that one out of the way. Reorientate that uh, pressure regulator so it can be maintained from below if we need to, but it doesn't become isn't visible from below. Right, pressure regulator. Great, yeah, it lends itself up almost perfectly. And by almost perfectly, I mean perfectly. Uh, so I want you set to 60 kPa, because you're going to be pressurizing the room. And power cables. Okay, 
now I will run out of cable. <coughs> Is there any uh, cable left in the uh, normal cables left up in the main room? Um, I'm not there at the moment. Oh, sorry. So I, I thought I saw you run past. I will uh, jump down and have a look. I'm in the area. I'm in the roofing of it. Cables, 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 cables. One cable. Boop. Got it. All right. What about the cupboards? Not in that one. I I do have quite a bit on. Thirty-two cables. I should have enough for what I'm doing here. Okay. But I'm going to be going to be able to run cables to this room for now. Ah. Because uh, I don't know where we're going to put the ones in the other rooms yet. Yeah. I think we need one in the. I think we need one in the in the power room because it's all by itself and there'll be nowhere to get air to it. And I think we want one in the sleeper room. I better use that separately as well. Well, I might still gone. Oh, the duck goes there as well. Okay. So tempted to remove these uh, frames as well. Go up here. They're not needed. They're just. Uh, they're the old legacy frames. Yeah. And the, that would give us a lot of frames free to, for building purposes and also. Uh, I mean, you can move around up here a bit easier if you ever need to come up here. Although, hopefully, nobody ever has to come up here. Because you come up here, it's the problem. Alright, I'm almost at the junction point. I hope we need to switch that over because I'm going to need the wire cutters again. Could have no like gravity for power cables. Could that be annoying? Just give me the angle of one. There we go. Do, 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 do. And connect. All right. So if I run back over here, ah, ah, oh, ah, ah. so much. Bouncing around. <laughs> you are set. Currently flashing if there's an error. It won't flash if there's an error because there's literally nothing to connect the pipe to at the other end. Um, dropping down. Alright, so pressure regulars are all connected. We just have nowhere to actually pressurize right now. Back in a sec. Um, I am struggling to make sense of this pipe network. Alrighty. <clears throat> Why gonna is need so many vents in here. <sighs> oh, I think you're in the roof of the gas farm. Uh, yeah. Well, in the basement as well. There's active vents down here that aren't doing anything. Are they not doing anything, or are they connected to? Well, they are. They're connected to the pipes, but they're not switched on. Um. Is there any logic in here? How many of them is there? Two, I'm guessing? Uh, one active vent and there's two passive vents in the basement. Because <clears throat> there should be two um, passive vents linked to pressure regulators. Uh, yes. Um, those are bringing in... Out they, should, they should be bringing in outside Atmo air if the tank farm pressure ever drops below a certain value. There's one that's bringing in Atmo air, the other one's pushing it back out. What? That makes no sense at all. <laughs> How do I get in this place? No, just a second. <laughs> I think you had a window that you've been using to get it out yourself, so. 
Well, I'll do this. I'll do that. And then... Are you venting the room? I was venting the room, but I'm nowhere near finished, so it's just quick to do this. Alright, I'm in. You've been... <clears throat> right, there's this vent here. So this one here is... Uh, that one's an emergency pressure release, I'm guessing. Yes, that's... If the grip, if the waste pipe ever reaches too high pressure, it vents it. Okay. And then there's this one here, which I've pushed the outside because it's yep. sucking in. Yeah, that one's that should be the same sort of thing. If the if the pressure gets below one thousand, it brings in air. Right. So I'll leave that one. <clears throat> what about so, this active vent? Um, what's this one? Um, apparently it's got a black pipe on it for some reason. Yeah. Even though it connects to a color pipe, so there's no coordination of the coloring that doesn't help us. That's the reason for colour coding the pipes and wires. We know what they are when we cut them. <laughs> well, that's the thing. All these cables in here are blue. Yeah. Yellow is supposed to be the... Yeah, it annoys me so much. That's why I don't come down here. Okay, so this one here, first of all... I don't know what that active vent's for. Right. The I think the active vent was originally supposed to pressurise um, the pipe originally fast quickly. Yeah, <clears throat> I think it's I think it's I think it's a dead pipe basically. Okay. But it's turned off and I'll leave it alone. <laughs> because it's, it's there's this vent. This one, <clears throat> this is another one of those outside Atmo ones, but made to put inside the base rather than outside the base for some reason. <clears throat> so that's the same as the one. It wants uh, piping out to an outer wall and connecting. Although in reality, it doesn't need it. It can, it can be turned off and removed. Let's just turn it off. There we go. Um, I'm the one that put the, the pressure regulators on because Meta had the vents there. Yeah. And I put pressure regulator on saying if that waste pipe ever gets to the point where it's below the threshold, then pump out more air in. Because the, the only reason that would ever get to a threshold. Um, actually, that's the thing. One of these, probably this active vent, is supposed, maybe supposed to. with an inbound outbound. Outbound. Yeah, that's supposed that's supposed to be like an emergency pressure release, but that's what the passive ones for as well. So, <clears throat> so what's supposed to happen is the tanks upstairs start to fill. Yeah. And then each tank, when they're full, stops filling anymore, so they don't overfill. Yeah. And that means that the pipe, the waste pipe, would start getting pressurized, so it's got uh, exhaust, basically pressure release safety on it. Pressure <clears throat> but, on each. And there should be pressure release on, safety on each one just in case those individual tanks get overpressurized because temperatures. Yeah. But I know Mid hasn't finished the logic in here yet. So right now, because I know you want it to be IC driven. Me, I'd do a whole bunch of. Uh, I would just run pressure regulators to the machines and just remove the, the supply of, of gas when they're below pressure, but that's just me. <laughs> I would, I would have a, I, the way I do it, it, it's, for simplicity, the way I would do it is I'd have a pressure, I'd have a pressure regulator running into them. <clears throat> Not pressure regulator, sorry, a um, pipe analyzer running into the pipe coming out with them. Yeah. And a, and a, a reader, a math, and a writer that basically says, read that analyzer. If that goes above this number, then turn off, uh, turn on the um, filter. If it goes below, if it goes above it, turn it off. <coughs> I'd do it that way. Because to me, uh, that, that logic is really easy to set up. I know it's much smaller than an IC, and you can do probably two or three filters per IC as well. And I know the, uh, the, the filter machines have their own logic, so you can turn them on and off through that. Right. For the sake of my sanity, what I'm going to do is all these vents that are supposed to go to atmosphere. I'm just going to shove them to a wall. Yes, that's what they should do, really. <clears throat> if they're if they're venting, they should be venting to the outside world, not venting to the inside of the base. Yeah. Because we don't want, for example, these volatiles gets uh, a little bit overpressured and it vents volatiles into the gas found that much. Yeah. All right. I'll try and tidy this up. <laughs> <laughs> First, I'm going to get ladders. The original plan again <clears throat> was here to be an elevator. Yeah. But that can be done when it turns up again and we can get one running. Yeah. Right. 
I am gonna go, and I'm gonna need the, I'm gonna need a bunch of pipes to run to the. Uh, whoop, hi. I need a bunch of pipes to run the the gas mix. <clears throat> I need a gas mixer in the gas bar that will mix a oxygen nitrogen mix for the base, uh, and then you run that. But initially. <clears throat> it won't actually have the gas mixer on because initially it's going to be a pure nitrogen atmosphere and we'll add oxygen once we have more oxygen to uh, actually add to the system we are collecting oxygen slowly it's the farm that does that so me water. <clears throat> so for now it's going to be it'll be an atmo pipe but it'll only have the nitrogen supplied to it we'll change the battery while I'm in here okay um, so purple's that one, and I'm guessing we set the pipe colours the same uh, for the breathable air, right? Oxygen, positive nitrogen, hydrogen, yeah, yeah, gas mixes. Uh, purple, base air, breathable air. Yeah. So purple pipes for the for the breathable air as well. <coughs> okay, um, I have a few pipes here. Pin them purple so they're ahead of time. go and now we're going to need to make a metric crap ton of pipes we're going to need like a, probably need like 150-200 oh yes I will hydrate myself as well as my character I did my character just now I just didn't see the part, and the part we did and yourself thank you Raven for keeping taking care of us <clears throat> okay. How much does a pipe take to make? <clears throat> Pipes take 0 0.5 iron. And now we're going to have to go into all the iron in the base. My 100 pipes, my 200 pipes starts with 32 grams of iron. <laughs> Not idea. Okay, we looks like we're, looks like we're out of iron. Reserve mining belts are empty. <clears throat> so, it's going to need to be an iron mining room. Once the daytime comes, so the cats are damping at night. How many pipes are in the uh, the chest over there, by the way? I'll have a look. None. Oh, okay. There's a load in it. We must use the up. Slowly but surely. Do you say you got the last of the uh, iron? Yeah, you need it. I'll get some more. It's all right. I can see some from here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm currently uh, making pipes for the uh, run. 
Well, I, do, I took three stacks of cables and it ran out of cables nearly. And the cables stacked to 50 and the pipes stacked to 20 and you have to go further. So we're going to be figuring out if that was going to work for us. Let's put that stack. Pick that one up. Stack that there. Stack that there. Alright. Jump back up. <clears throat> now, how am I going to run this pipe is the question. When it gets down to the end of the corridor, where will it go? Um, oh, oh, oh. Can run it between the, we can run it between the volatile and the uh, oxygen. Seems like a safe line to run it at. Okay. So we'll start with you. We'll send it back one notch first, just to get it in position. And then we'll then we'll angle it up immediately. Pass it through that pipe there. And then we can run it, run it down by the wall. Ah! Through for the wall. I want to run it down that side so I can get back up here if I need to, because I can't get through that chute, because chutes are bigger than pipes, and I can get past one pipe, but I can't get past one chute apparently. Can I go through a chute with a pipe? Is the question. The answer is no. Okay, so I have to go around that. So, in that case, we might as well. Connect it there. Ah, damn. Pipes and frames combination. There we go. Okay, one more for you and then a twist. There we go. Twist. Okay. Then, ah. I'm going to come up here later on the grinder and remove all these uh, things. Let's make a turn here. And that's where you're going to run forever now. If you get loads of iron, can you uh, set pipe maker making pipes again, please? I know you need them as well. Yeah. But uh, just leave it running when you finish because I'm going to need a lot of pipes. I've gone through two stacks almost, or a stack and a half, and I haven't even left the. Uh, I'm just about to leave the production room. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is just for the simplicity of being able to actually navigate, if I send that pipe in a little journey that way. Storm on its way. I can hear the, the siren. Thank you for the warning. So that will allow me to... Seconds. That load of time. There we go. Now we're in the corridor. So we can still get down this route here. And we can still get down here. We're just going to jump that water pipe. Which will be easier once I remove these frames. Because right now they're getting in the way. Hmm, interesting. There we go. Alright. Now on my second... Uh, third stack of four. Name the pipe networks because having pipe network 138595 is not helpful. That 
is my last stack of pipes. Four stacks of pipes, and I made it to the power room. <clears throat> now, I have a grinder in my hand and an annoying hoppy, hoppy tunnel. So, say goodbye to the frames are in here. <laughs> They're literally not needed, so. I almost ground the ground the door down because the <clears throat> top of the door sticks through the edge. <laughs> what are we doing there? Right, can't reach those ones. They're, they're safe. To uh, 50s or 30s. Oh. 30s, got it. One just fell on the floor when I started grinding it, so that's itself. Randomly in the roof, there's an ingot of steel. Really? Yeah. Okay. This is one of the event um, shoots. there when we uh, opened it up so when you re ran the shoot yeah um, by the way there's four stacks uh, three stacks of pipes yay that'll be more than enough for me yeah, let's put that steel in there though right so put that one purple pipe there grab that split the stack put a ten stack there grab that Split the stack. Put that ten there. Split the stack. Split the stack. And split the stack. That is the whole lot, I think. Perfect. All right. Uh, there's two full stacks of. Um, Steel frames I pulled out of the roof. I'm going to open the roof up here. That running these pipes. Pressurization, here we come. Room for another four pipes in the in the roofing before it becomes a uh, impossible to run a pipe, and that's actually good because we, I don't think there are any more gases to run. Right, 
Unless they doubt adding another liquid. Which they could do, because they've got it liquid pipes, not water pipes. Question is, what other, what other liquid would you put into the game? Mm. Can't think of anything. Other than waste liquid, maybe? Yeah. So you'd have to process it. But other than that, I can't think of another liquid that would be in the game. Ooh. Nice CO2 pipe right there that I didn't know was at that point. <laughs> I ran, almost ran into it. <laughs> I'll cap with that there because it'll be plastered outside the base. Maybe move it to over the water pipe instead. What, the... The CO2 pipe. Uh, that would mean moving the CO2 line um, through that solid block right there. And that's not going to happen until your size pressurizes. Or depressurizes, should say. Yeah. And the farm needs a CO2. So I'll, well, I'll do a 90 degree bend now on the uh, nitrogen pipe and send it to the, over the water pipe. But I can't go straight through because the CO2 pipe, the water pipe has a hump in it because of the waste pipe. <laughs> God, it's dark in here. Use your light. I am. <laughs> it's still dark. So yeah, I could put the, the amber pipe at the very roof, but that would put it in that same situation where before, where it's technically half inside, half outside. Yeah. And I don't think we're going to be using insulated pipe for too much if we can help it, do we? No. Um, so here... I will put it in the roof above the CO2 pipe, but we can come back here later on and switch that over to a, um, what do you call it? Switch that over to a insulated pipe for those like three squares. There we go. Alright, um, purple pipes. Could you do a 90 degree turn that way? That'd be awesome. Thank you. Then go up. Into the, yes, into the roof. But when you're in the roof, you do me another favor. And uh, turn that way. And then come down. And then we'll, maybe it'll come straight down. Maybe, maybe stay up there for a second. Come down over this side. Be coming down there. There we go. That will. Temporarily route that around that until we can get insulated pipes in to do it properly. Alright, my last stack, and I literally can't go any further than here because there's a solid brick wall in the way. How's your uh, depressurization going? Um, I'm not started yet. <laughs> I'm rearranging this down here. Da, 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 da. Because technically, uh, the first stage of the process is done now. With the other running of the pipe to the uh, first pressure regulator that's turned on. Yeah. So we can start pressurizing once we get uh, a supply in there. Um, the power room needs a. Um, a roof putting on. Because right now the power room has a situation where it's um, it has no no roof at all, which means there's no way to put gases in there. Yeah. So a cheeky solution I'm going to come up with is I'm going to put just one square on for now. And uh, that one square is going to have the vents in it. 
but we need to do the whole thing later on. Yeah. Because it, it also looks really weird having one part of the base and not have a roof on it. Right, so we need a couple of walls. So, walls. Hey, Blindo, how are you doing? Hi, hey, Peter. Less than three. I hope you're doing okay. Three. I am doing very good, thank you, Blind. How, how are things with yourself? <clears throat> how are things with yourself? Uh, I need steel. Steel. I threw that steel in that machine earlier. Oop, there it is. Steel. Steel, 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 steel. Right, I'm going to need one, two, three, four of these actually. That's all I need because it's uh, going to be one square. <coughs> Tired, but I'm surviving. Eee, that's a good thing though. Two, <coughs> three, four. Right, give me them. And plastic, I'm going to need more plastic. Plastic. Need silicon. There it is, silicon. Put that there. One gram of silicon. Okay, okay, vending machine. You ready for fun? Keep going. No silicon in that machine. That machine is empty. That machine has iron in it. Uh, we are silicon entirely. Wow. <coughs> so says, hey Blindo, I'm about to pass out. I had a long day. Toad's been outside doing stuff in the yard. Put that there. That's enough for two walls. Ain't gonna be enough for what I need to do here, but I can at least get some positioning. Steel frames, well, where's the steel wall? I don't seem to have any. Okay, make me two plates of steel. One and two. Need those for the uh, wall up there because it's the fastest way to put a piece up and decompress it at the same time. <coughs> uh, two, two, two. Okay, that reminds me because we had a, a resub, let's do a bean. Which one would I have today? Which one gonna have? Which one we gonna have? Is the white one, which I thought for a second it would be Toad's favourite one, but it's not Toad's favourite one. Anyway, I see you. There we go. One white one. And yeah, trust it to be you, blind, and get a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> this water one. <laughs> so, so far. I just managed to get myself two good ones and Toad and Blind both the bad ones. Sounds alright, doesn't it? <laughs> Where's the door in this place? Perfect. Right, so. Hmm. Is that clear? Can I take that piece off there or not? Ooh. I was hoping to. Whoop. Wait, sorry, the volume was too low. What did I do? <coughs> yes. There we go. We said it was doing the uh, the bean thingies, bean boodles, uh, on on subs and stuff, and you managed to get a bad flavour for your for your sub. So congratulations. <laughs> uh, crowbar, remove that, please. Crowbar. Remove that, please. Okay, good job I didn't just dismantle it. That is a solid, that is a hollow piece. <coughs> Hydration critical. So, now I know that's a, that's a hollow piece, I need to put back here uh, a solid piece of metal. And that way, we uh, nothing can get through there when I remove that front panel. Right. 
placement block. What is the placement block by? By the fact that there's already a frame there. God, that's good. That's just that's quite convenient. <laughs> Two seal frames, a thing. <coughs> First, I thought it was C. Delicious. Yes, you managed to get the dishwasher. Dish. This dishwasher water flavor? Yes. That's a word. It's gonna hurt my head, isn't it? Okay. Game's been awkward now. Uh, I need a grinder to remove that from the roof. So I can weld that piece up, so I can put it back in place. Because you can't weld through a tiny little hole. And then put the wall back on. Ah! Put the wall back on. Composite wall. Orientated, not wall type 4, not type 1. Orientated in the correct direction. And then put the plastic back in place. There we go. Alright, that's now a solid block on the end. So I can remove the end piece. <coughs> yeah, I responded in general chat. You got a dishwasher being for the E did. He did indeed. Um here. Right, so now I can remove that piece without any problem. So I need a crowbar for that. There's the frame. I can remove the wall piece with that. There we go. I can put one of these up there, which now I do what work because I haven't got metal for it, but I need metal for it. I need two, two steel pieces, but I can start putting the edges on. Composite wall, type one. One goes there. There. One goes there. Check my cup, because I can check it now. And one goes there. Okay, how much can I do with these? I think I've only got enough plastic for a couple. I'm actually one piece of plastic short of completing that piece there. Ah, uh, why is it always one? <laughs> I don't one bad bother was like you were too short. <laughs> I went for the moment we pressurize this place and it uh, just gets like too hot. <laughs> it almost immediately starts melting everything. Okay, that's the two walls, that's good. And I need one piece of plastic, so I need one, just one piece of plastic game. I need 0 0.5 silicon. One machine has to have 0 0.5 silicon somewhere, right? You have nothing in you and the arm is pulled. You have just iron in you and the arm is pulled. Plastic there, no plastics there, no plastics there. A little bit of potato, uh, no plastics in there. Okay, I need to go outside for a second. Right, put that there, uh, put that there. Need my mining belt up. Which is in number five. <clears throat> Here, silicon, 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 silicon. That's not silicon. Cobalt. Oxides. That 
will take part of the as well. It's too bloom for her, so we can. Organization system seems interesting. Uh, inventory wise, or the base? Because the base is a work in progress and the inventory is actually pretty decent uh, once you get used to it. That looks like silicon though. I need the teeniest amount of silicon. I kind of like how it displays a 3D model of the actual item. Yes. Okay. Is it silicon? I have a mining belt right there. Why do you not go in? Does it have to be actually on this slot? Well, that's annoying. Where was that? Where did I mine that piece before it started going down the hill? I don't want to. I lost where it was until I ran down the hill. I'll dig here. I'll find some silicon around here somewhere. Uh, the organization looks weird. Uh, really like it meant to be on the ground, but you were stuck it in a wall or a cabinet. It's a table. Yeah. Um, so everything has a, a little like three dimensional movement. Okay, I have no idea where that single piece was, so I'm going to ignore that. I never saw it and go away. Right, where's the base? So I got three units of uh, silicon. Then I need 0 0.5 units. The base looks quite large now when you see it from a distance, doesn't it? It's been a while since I've left the base. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while since I've left the base during the daytime. It's always been like Coward. returning at night. No. Yeah. I usually have nothing way back with the uh, lights on the roof. Uh, we're not solo tracking again. Really? Yeah, the first, the first sunrise positions right now. Grand. Yeah. I think it's the. Uh, I think it's the position of that solar thing. I mean, you can't see the sun now. But I think it needs to go on a dedicated block to the side. Right, right, so I will get it moved. Um, close that. Bring up number six for my inventory. I have cables coming. Good, good. Right, give me the uh, wrench to pull that metal out. Give me the grinder to pull that panel off. Okay. I want the drill to remove the sensor. Now, let's go put a frame somewhere useful. I'll put it next to the solar panel. So which side should I put it on? Which side we're not going to expand to when I expand them? Probably don't want to expand that way. Uh, so I'll put it on that side above the... So I feel right in the building here. So I don't want to build over that way. So I'll build it next to this. <clears throat> that should make it uh, quite reliable. Uh, I'll put it here. Should be a secret glass if it needs to. Uh, give me a steel sheet and the welder. There we go. Alright, jump back off. Where's that sensor? Right, sensor had to be facing a certain direction. And there was that way around, or was it that way around? So the cable goes on that side. So put the sensor on the very edge of the box. There we go. Get my cables out. Uh, oh, give me a crowbar. I can just crack into that uh, that panel there and take it straight from that data feed there. Uh, 
Um, the computer's in here anyway. Okay. Um, you know where the solar panels are? Yeah. It might be 300 degrees Celsius in there. What, in with this? Inside the glass panels where the solar panels are. Right. <laughs> Maybe we need to just make that into a vacuum then. Yeah, there's two of them that need uh, repairs if you can beat them duct tape up. Looks like there's like a bit of damage at some point in the past. But yeah, we need to put a, an active vent on them to toast it. 300 plus degrees Celsius in that room. <laughs> 5 kPa. Um, power cable. I need the wire cutters. I only found out it was that hot in there because I wanted to open it up and get the uh, access to the, to the data line. Yeah. Uh, we're going to need, I've got pipes, so just need an active vent, a passive vent, and a. Uh, active vent, a passive vent, and a. a bit of duct tape to, to repair the damage. I will get on that just as soon as I connect this pipe up. Right, I've reconnected that. I will uh, right. I'll get the pipes linked up. Where are I going to put this anyway? All right, going down. Let's reset the config so it reads that same sensor again. No, damn. Falling off the damn building. Good over. Daylight sensor. There we go. Right, it's reprogrammed. With the wire cutters. I'm tied to these wires that are here. They're now floating. There we go. All is good. We for the world. Apart from the you know, metal solar panels. Um, let's see, got some damage. So I've got the side open, so as long as no storms come, it won't be a problem. They are slowly venting out the the heat. Um, let's see. We can have a vent, not a problem. The, the outpine vent's not a problem, it's the inbound vent's the issue. Solution up there is to add another box on the side for a um, for the vent to go into a dedicated slot. Unless the daylight sensor can operate through a window and we can put the daylight sensor inside as well. <laughs> we said depressurizing the gas fan yet. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm still sorting out all the vents in there because I don't want like um, Vorzars venting into that room. Not particularly, no. Not when that room we can go to the base. Yeah. All right. So I'm just so... transferring all those vents out. Fair. Right. I'm going to drop this uh, silicon into the pack furnace. Uh. Go, that one's running now. So it should appear in the vending machine shortly. 
need lights on the roof in the base so badly. Come on, silicon. Oop, there it is. Silicon! Three grams. For the one piece of plastic I need. Right. So, if we're going to extend it, potentially, we have, we have glass in stock, right? We had glass in stock before. We did have. We had, we had lots of it as well. We had like oh, 41 on me. <laughs> That'd be why. You, you got 41 on you. Fix this back to fix this. Okay, that's great. <clears throat> if you got 41, that means I can make all this into plastic and hopefully be enough to put another little box around the glass tracking. So that's seven pieces of plastic available. Um. I want an active vent, a passive vent. I've got the tubes already on me. Are you on about for solar? Yes. Ventilation. I've got an active vent and a passive vent up here. Right, so all I need is a... Are you up there now? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> all we need to do is connect the active vent on the outside, passive vent on the inside. Yep. And then after a while, once we once we have it being decompressed, we can... Uh, we can either leave that up there forever, or we can turn it, or we can remove it. But we can't be opening it up again because it'll, it'll um, cause pressure problems. I'm coming up with the pipes and with the uh, plastics. I only have two kit walls though, so if we're gonna extend it, I need another couple, don't I? Yeah. Because the problem is you can't get the. We need we've got one on the end, two sides top, so we need four. We get one back automatically by removing the end piece. So I just need one more window edge. So I will make one more wall. Because then that will be the, the end. And that's assuming the daylight sensor can see through glass, which I think it can. I thought I heard the siren for a second there. Luckily I didn't. I am going to have to head back inside so I can... That's a drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> it looks cycling now, so you should be just in time for it to open. There you go. I've left the pipe and the vents up there. Thank you. Did you repair the uh, panels? No, I had to. Didn't. <laughs> right. So I will use the crowbar right now and get rid of that uh, plastic. Um, on the edge there. Grinder to remove the frame. Okay. So just to get things up and running quickly in case we do get a storm in the area, which we don't want, put a window there. I'll come in with some tape. Okay. Put a window there. Put a window there, a window ah, there, and then a window on top. Right, then put plastics in where I can. I've got more than a plastic for this, so that's not one. Okay, plastics are in. Okay. So the active vent, passive vent, where's the passive vent? You're the active, you're the passive. Passive should be the one that goes inside, because then we can, can we have the option to shut it down and move it wherever we want to do. Um, well, these are damaged, according to me. Oh, okay, I went about down there, there were some... Tell you what, uh, I'll run down and do it if, if I can see damage, you can't. You did that and just get that connected. Pipe just wants to go down one notch, connect to the active vent straight below it. Yeah. Ah! Help! Try to squish me. <laughs> that one needs repairing there. That one needs repairing. Uh, 
There we go. They're all good now. Okay. This active vent just needs power to it now. Okay, they are tracking. Uh, here, where are you? I'm gone. <laughs> right, pipes in power cables. Uh, do I have enough high grade power cable for this? Hi. Hi. The gift tree there next to the solar sensor. <laughs> I'll let you keep that. It was in one of the uh, things randomly. <laughs> uh, need that. Put them in there so I get the right colour because I want to keep this as red for power grid. Right, where's the active vents inlet? It's on the bottom. Um, you're going to need to fill the glass in, aren't you? I have one sheet of glass on me, so if you can just fill all but one in, then I can do the rest. I'm not quite doing what I've done. Okay, the side with the active vent is open this time. Thank you. Okay, uh, that there can come in. <laughs> Hi. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. I had no place to be so happy so. Right, that is now sealed. Set this to outbound. Already set outbound. Turn it on. There we go. That should now be venting that entire room. Seven five kilopascals, fifteen degrees Celsius. That won't tell you when the room was vented. It will read the pipe. The pipe. The, pipe. the pipe will only tell you what's in the pipe at the time. Yes, but the pipe is uh, being filled from the room, so. to drop my load ideally, but apparently not. Well, let's just come back later when it's had a chance to do its job. Because that's all. Through the same block. Okay. It's still open. I need to vent that room soon. <laughs> I plan on doing it as soon as I finish the vent. Yep. Because the, the actual base itself is ready to be uh, pressurized, it just needs a pipe coming in into here. Yeah. These foundations on the floor, the, the ones that are not filled in. Yeah. They are the ones I removed from the roof of the areas because I got fed up of bouncing around constantly. Ah, get off the damn thing. There we go. Right, what's the pressure of that pipe? Two megapascals. I'm going to turn that vent back on. So you can see, so you can pressurize it a bit more. Filters. Uh, poison is at 77%, nitrogen is at 
12 health, 4%, O2, 0%, and 99%. CO2, 0%, and 99%. Okay. They're all looking good at the moment, basically. The two 0% have a 99 inside of them. Hey, Raven. Hey, don't forget, don't forget one. Don't forget. What's my canister? I repinted my uh, canister purple as well, by the way. To, uh. Just to get things up running. We are running low on nitrogen. Yeah, we only have uh, 1.66 megapascals of, of nitrogen. So we need more materials that have nitrogen. Um, most nitrogen comes from. Um, That's the value set to 6,000. I'll leave that set to pressurize now. It's, it's set to 6,000. The pipes are fine at 6,000. Um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> drinking water. We need drinking water. Ice. Because that's how you get your uh, most nitrogen. Yeah. And we're going to need a lot of nitrogen because we're going to be pumping it into the base. Make some more in. Yeah, we just need to make more in. A lot of it. Uh, I might end up trying to head out with the sensor glasses and see if we can find water ice anywhere. How much water do we have anyway? <coughs> Not that much left. I'll say I thought we'd be running low by now. I haven't, we haven't done any for a long while. Still get nothing for doing uh, scrap recycling. When somebody blows up and you get this, the wreckage, you get all the little scrap bits, you put them do a recycle and you get nothing out. Okay. Uh, I'm going to clear my inventory of everything I'm carrying that I don't need right now. And because I need to go get some water ice so we can get nitrogen, give you a chance to. Uh, Give you a chance to grab to help that area be depressurized. Turn the beacon on. I need those sensor glasses you're wearing though, right now. I do not have them, they're in the uh, cupboard. Oh, yes, yeah. I remember you saying you put them in the cupboard. It's still way too quiet in the base. Get near the elevator now. Okay, what's their battery like? Uh, 10 percent it's good. I'm hoping as I go around I find a lot of water ice pretty quickly. Before I go, because the sunset's coming anyway, uh, I'm going to check the farm temperature. I can see that it's uh, got crops in there still, so I can see that it's not going well. Um, I'm going to turn off the event now, but there's no reason anymore to have this uh, vent take a pressure out anymore, is there? No. Temperature in here is 28 degrees Celsius. Okay, so if I were to open this door now, it would drop into the base <clears throat> roughly 37 kilopascals of nitrogen, oxygen, and mostly CO2. And I'm going to allow that because it's going to have to circulate some CO2 at some point anyway. So every time I go into that farm, a small amount of the gas is going to make it out of the farm. <coughs> the, the goal really is that doesn't happen because we'll have enough pressure in the main base to stop it from happening anyway. 
And I'm going to put a, a panel on this door. So that you press a button and both doors open and close simultaneously. So there's no... Uh, not, like, not like a mini airlock rather than a full airlock. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> what if we're going to close the doors to the power room? And the corridor door to the furnace room for now. Just so we do pressurize a little bit. No, 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 actually leave them open. <clears throat> no, uh, have it sealed so we can, with the limited air we've got, we can pressurize one room, one section, a bit better. When we do get around to it. Alright, uh, I'm going to grab a bottle of water as well. I don't usually take a bottle of water with me for mining, but I might be out there a while. make nitrogen from nitrous oxide um i don't know i know you can make nitrogen i mean you can make, you can, you can make oxygen and hydrogen from water <clears throat> but i don't know if you can run nitrogen through the machine <laughs> a song started playing uh and it's just the first words are water water everywhere glasses on Alright, now the question is what does water look like in these new glasses? It usually gives you the element... Um... Yeah, i got to get closer to read them as well. Flurry. That's O2 is that one. That's CO2, that's FE. Okay, the darker blue is, is, oxygen, is water, but I don't want to go digging massive holes near the base, so... Darker blue. Darker blue. I don't have one battery last in the glass, but I'm hoping it lasts a while. I've put a big battery in them, so it should be over there. Yeah. I don't know what actually happens when you run out of uh, localized supplies of uh, water. Right, so, mining drill. There's some water apparently. I'm studying water in there, according to the glasses. Battery's at 89%. Of, uh, of water. Turn the glasses off for a minute. Let's dig. Ah. 
Oh, crap. Okay, now we're in trouble. Shoot damage. Oh. I don't have duct tape on me because I gave it to you. Came out without my duct tape. Flying towards the base right now. I knew I forgot something on the way out. I went back in once for something. Yes. Approaching the power grid. I'll meet you by the airlock. I've got some tape. Okay. Yeah, I'm passing the monument now. I can hear the air leaking out my suit. <laughs> Thank you, Toad. So it says one of your suits has stopped responding. Here you go. Thank you. Hard suit and helmet. And patch. Thank you. No. Keep the duct tape if you don't mind. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. That hurt a fair bit, actually. I don't know why you want to mine it, but uh, when you fly in Northern Area and there's a lot of uh, X available. <laughs> the annoying thing is that I was near a big deposit of ice and I got to find it again. This looks like nickel. It is nickel. Because it's, it's the ice is over there. Oh, I had a hole apparently and somebody had dug a hole like, almost directly next to the one I dug. I thought it was my my one when I went near it. <laughs> We need drinking water, but we also need nitrogen, so. So, note to sell, <coughs> always take water and uh, duct tape when you're mining. <laughs> I don't keep it on me usually because I don't. I tend to do a lot of building, so I don't leave the base very much. So I don't usually go into the underground, but when I do underground, I, have, I usually have some on me. But I've been doing a lot of building recently and a lot of it's been uh, needing a lot of infrastructure space, so I took the duct tape away because I wasn't needing it. I wish you could put duct tape into your uh, mining belt though. In the, in the second tool slot. Yeah. Good. Um, we're out of tins, by the way. Out of what? Tins. Food. Uh, there should be tins in the in the cabinet. Yep. Empty ones. Yep. If you go into the farm, uh, ten tomatoes and a tin will produce a full tin. Ah, okay. It has to be an exact ratio, but if you put 11 tomatoes in there, you don't get anything out. There's also a handful of tins already made in there, in the farm, but uh, best to restock it if we can. Somehow... Oh, okay. Yeah. What I would do is I'd go into the farm, <coughs> Um, just do a couple of the tins so you know how to do them. We can continue yeah. to do them in the future. But uh, grab, say, three 
three or four tins out of the cupboard and put it in the in that room. Then we've got them in. I, I made a big batch of uh, tomato soup earlier. I just couldn't carry it all, so I left it all there. Okay. Don't worry really though. I, I checked none of the none of the tomato soup spatulas. It's actually good flavours. <laughs> I think batch is too salty. And Heinz as well. I love tomato soup, but theirs is too salty. Now Toad's asking, wondering, what does too salty mean? Because from what I understand, Americans love salt and sugar. That's based on all the foods of the American. Yeah. Seen in the ice for a while. Is it gone again? I am not digging away from it. I am digging away from it. The glasses are amazing for mining. <coughs> What's the point of the GPS system if this doesn't need the GPS system? These glasses, basically, in my opinion, they these completely negate the need for that graphic engineering radar. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, uh, what is off. not duct tape? The ultimate power tool it is a power tool though. It saves it so many stuff. It worked for NASA in Apollo 13, it'll work for us with the fucking suit, right? Uh, too salty, so DJ flavoured. <laughs> I'm getting a flashing error. On what? On the microwave. Have you put the uh, power on? To the bench and the microwave. Close the door on the microwave. There's a door. Top of it. Uh, there is a door. Would help. <laughs> like how it magically turns into a tin. Yeah. So that, I mean, to be fair, you put a metal tin in there and it turns into a ball, so. You put one tomato in there, it turns the tomato into a ball as well. <laughs> it's a magic microwave. I don't know where the ang what the angle is for this uh, series of building. But uh, I would like to build on another world at some point, with a different conditions because this is the easy world yeah and they are, there's two harder worlds well three there's the moon which is the hardest starter world we'll call it um, and it's just there there's no atmosphere to work with so you can't just vent it pump it in and pump out what you need you have to everything you, every gas you have you have to uh, extract from the furnaces yes um, there's also the. Uh, I'm on the movie again. There's also the really hot worlds. There's like super hot worlds, like Ven uh, Venus and Vulcan, which are basically always on fire. And the Venus world, for example, daytime temperature is 500, and 500 plus Celsius. Uh, nighttime temperature is only 100 plus Celsius. So when you have those places, you have to, uh, <clears throat> if you're going to sip atmosphere, you have to do it during night time when it's not so hot. Yeah. Um, then you've got the ultra cool places like um, Europa, which is uh, minus 200 Celsius throughout the daytime. I don't know what the nighttime temperature is. I'd imagine with Europa there's a long period of uh, no light as well. No, it's got an accelerated day-night cycle for gameplay reasons. Okay. From what I can tell, most of the planets' day-night cycles are relatively the same. Uh, yeah. Raven says, so it's uh, Florida then. Yeah, Vulcan's a bit. Vulcan's even hotter than Venus. 
The thing with Vulcan is there's no uh, natural drinking water sources. So you start with a big uh, tank of with drinking water and you have to make your own drinking water from the gases. And then you have to get a trader as quickly as you can trade from drinking water. Vulcan's supposed to be like the super hard one basically. single node of uh, water. Let's keep moving. Stuck that's what I What's AG of material? AG. Um, lead, I think. Thank you. <coughs> Just started walking around, one of them had AG, and I, thought, I don't know what AG symbol is. It was bright white and it was so hard I could barely read it. Deeper ores as well. Thanks to the scanners finding deeper ores. <laughs> I suppose the benefit here, the difference is here, the glasses don't show you how much is there, just that there's some there. Whereas the radar probably just tell you how much. So that's where they're different. <clears throat> yeah, look at Arizona. I that there's no rainbow to be can claim. Redeem beep. Beep beep. AG is tin, LE is lead. Um, there's no tin in the game, so I don't know what actually is then. Seven percent. Okay. I just want to saw these glasses on Earth, someone said I thought it was a mod. Because it looks so <laughs> different to miss the game. Yeah. I'm going to regret this, but I've locked myself in the atmosphere. The uh, gas room. Ah, okay, you're ready now, are you? Yes. The. If you get any passive vents on you, you can have them feed into the uh, chamber, into the waste pipe, and the um, machines will pull the air for you. I might have to go and dig one of these AGs up to see where they are. Do 
because everything else is using the atomic and molecular symbols, but AD doesn't line up with anything. Not that's in the game. Okay, where's my exit? Storm warning, I see. No, that'd be the uh, that'd be the beacons on the roof I turned on earlier. That one's silicon. G for lead. So anybody who says AG is uh Wait, was for it uh, it could be silver. Uh, I can't remember what it was now. Is that it? It looks like lead, but it could be silver. That's the AG is got you got to be AU, right? Yeah, silver's AG. There it is. Silver, yeah, sorry, silver. Sadly, the colour for silicon and the colour for silver is both white. So if you're walking around at a distance, you can't read them. And since they're quite blurry, it can be quite close before you actually know which one you're looking at. Yeah. Right, more water here. Someone's already still got a minute, bit of an oil, so it gets me a bit closer to start with. Excellent. Chances of my water out here, eh? Facts about silver. Name silver is a chemical emmer with the symbol of AT for the Latin Okay. Didn't know that. I know that most of the names come from Latin. But I didn't know that was the name.
Cool. I didn't know uh, it was different types of it naturally around. I bought all the different variants to wear man-made variants. Eight and a half stacks enough, I think we should keep going. I think for now that should be enough. <laughs> I'm just going to this little area until I this one little node, and then I'll be heading back. And I am now vented in this room. Hey! Should we open those doors then to uh, the base then? Yep. There's a. In the roof, right above the door, there's a solid block needs to be removed to get the piping through for the uh, atmosphere. Okay. That's what I was kind of asking you for constantly because uh, I can't get the pipe through the solid block without being able to put something in the middle section. Up into the roof. Um, I take random panels out of the roof and climb up. <coughs> I have made it past it to full nitrogen as well, so I don't contaminate the bits while doing it. Hydration critical. Let's see what the nitrogen pack is. Oh, I've got full nitrogen anyway, so I can use that. Yeah, it's probably a new net. Well, every time you die, you get a pure nitrogen jet pack. Yeah. Is that waste pipe separated? Currently, the waste pipe is a direct connection, whereas uh, before it used to be a there was a pressure regulator on it. They put a volume pump on it. Right, need a drink, which I have on me. I have a lung warning. I have like lung damage. Thanks for that stoop breaking. I'm not sure if that's permanent though. But if it'll go away at some point. Isn't that low oxygen or something? Good point. My oxygen no most tanks got two thousand. Okay, here I come. Am um, I coming around with the uh, supply of nitrogen? Um, just a question for you. Yes. White moist pipe up here. I broke it because I needed the pipe, so feel free to reconnect it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I needed the pipe to connect up something else, and I didn't have any pipe on me at all, so I sneak that one. There we go, that should probably help the uh, waste tanks empty faster as well. Yeah. Alright, all tanks. Uh, I want to kind of get a pressure reading up for the, uh, for the base first. Right there. So the nitrogen tank is showing 1.59 and the pressure here is at 6, I and mean, that's what I set it to, isn't it? 6.05, 6.05, 6 yes, okay, so it should just be the uh, main one. 1.59 megapascals is the current amount. 
And we've got for liquid, it's five point. Uh, yeah, half a kilopass, half a megapascal. There we go. See that go quite nicely. Gotta do all these by hand though, because we don't have any way to unload it, and it'll just melt in here. But, but that's all, folks. Thank you, Raven, for the. Uh, the actual load of information there. <coughs> do, 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 do. So it's cooking through, it's eating through it pretty quickly when it makes it. Yeah. So the machine right now has got uh, nearly a megapascal in it right now. We've got two megapascals of nitrogen, and we've got nearly a megapascal of uh, H2O. Yeah, I think it's the H2O that's not actually being removed. I don't think there's a pump on that because I'm seeing a megapascal in the machine still, of, and it's 86 moles of H2O. Point it at the machine itself, you see the uh, the mixture in there. No, I'm looking at the piping. Well, it's connected. But I don't think there's a pump on it, so the machine sees what's in the pipe. If, it's, if it had a... Um, if there was a... What do you call it in there? If there was a... A volume pump or a pressure pump pulling the stuff out, the machine would be, would be showing empty. Yeah. So I'm showing 1.22 megapascals of water. Yep. Yeah. The same with the pipe. Uh, one, 107 moles in the machine, 1.22 megapascals, and the pipe's showing um, kilomoles with the same pressure. So the machine holds less pressure, but holds the same, uh, hold less molecules, but holds the same pressure. Yeah. How much did the nitrogen tank get from all that line? 2.25 megapascals. <clears throat> okay. Do not kill them all. I put KM on it. K KM? KM? KM all. Kill them all. These are mega moles. <laughs> they are kill them all. Run. Okay. So, if you get that pipe up, well, if, because I don't have my pipe on me, so I can't do it myself just yet. Uh, that would start venting nitrogen to the base immediately. And it wouldn't uh, filter anything out until the pressure reached a high enough level. So I'm going to get my pipes. 19 pipes, you think that be enough? No. More pipes. <clears throat> I can't remember. I don't know how far away I'd have to travel to get that thing. Have you moved that block, by the way, in the roof? I have, yes. Yep. So you know how roughly how far I've got to go with the pipe. How many do you think I need? Um, just a second. I'm gonna look myself. Three, six, nine. 12, 14, 14 will get into the room. And how much to the actual, uh, to the actual machine? I just need to get the, to the nitrogen pipe to start with, that's all I need. We will uh, be going to other pipes later on, but right now it's nitrogen. Probably another six, maybe eight. It's okay. just a guess. That should be enough then, I've got here. This is like three pipes per square, isn't it? Uh, it's four per square, um, because what happens is it's to, to cross a, a square you need five, but they share one between the two squares. Yeah. 
in the live. Thank you for the host, for the raid. Much appreciated. How are things with yourself? <coughs> do, 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 do. We are just about to start the early pressurization, which um, by early pressurization I mean really early pressurization. Right, because we're we're about to. Uh, oops, pardon me, quick. Connect the first pipes up. We don't have enough gas to complete it, but we have enough to start it. Right, where's my pipe? There it is. Not too bad. Just finished up for the night. Excellent. What were you playing? Uh, did it say? Can can someone do me a shout out, please? Might have tried, but sadly it's a mod thing. I need to try and find a way to make that something that we can do. And regulars. Thank you, Cap. Station ears. E. So, what is your base on, and what's your base going like? Hey, wait for thank you for trying. Normally, it would be uh, Todd or Chad, but Chad's sleeping, and Todd's. Oh, I'm hoping he's sleeping. <laughs> he was supposed to go sleep. Right, now, where is the nitrogen it's a pipe? No, the roof. Nitrogen's blue. Yeah. Over there. Maybe it's made the most awkward piping network in the entire universe. Um I tried to neaten it up a bit, but it's not gone to plan. <laughs> <laughs> uh the blue tank I believe is also behind you. Oh no, that's a water tank. Water pipe. Um Yeah. I'm going to have to come down into... I'm on the top floor now, aren't I? No, there's a floor above me. What's, above, what's on the floor above me? It's walking space. There's a tank up here that I can put a pipe up here temporarily. There um, you the there. You are, sorry? The blue pipe you can just see through here. Yep, but the, the problem is the red pipe's right below the floor here. <clears throat> uh, on Mars, expanding steadily. We've automated Harvey for this evening and I'm running CFG. Excellent! Uh, we haven't got any automation on our crops yet. Uh, we're not doing Harveys on them yet. Um, <clears throat> we are building up a large base and we're trying to pressurize the whole thing. Um, that's the plan anyway. Um, power generation is in need of an upgrade, but it's holding, it's holding its own right now. Um, but we're doing okay. But I need to find a way to get this nitrogen pipe across. Because it's in a horrible mixed position. Right, if you, you were bringing you that, keep bringing it along to this white pipe up here. Okay. Oh yeah, I see there. there's a way through there, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's bring the nitrogen pipe across first. Uh, I need, a, need me... Okay, I made a purple accent. <clears throat> you want it before that valve in, by the way. What? Oh, it's upside you down. I thought it was before the pipe. The valve. Can you give me a, Can you give me a link there, please? Um, I don't have any pipes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm trying to fight this. Ah. There's no way across there without dipping down and wrapping around. I don't like the piping. Oh yeah, I've got some. This is why I wouldn't make to do this pipe in part, because it was like, this is his this is his spaghetti, he can deal with it. <laughs> I know what you mean. Okay, I can't come through here directly, but I can go over here.
See, I'm using purple for nitrogen. Your uh, for, for ammo. And your you got a blue pipe for nitrogen. There we go. We're connected. We should be starting to pump air into the base now. It should be almost immediate because I've got uh, one vent running on it. So limit the amount of space it has to fill, though. We can help it to start with. So let's keep these doors closed for now until we <coughs> get some test pressure in. Have you got one more pipe? Uh, I do. Right. That looks like it's off though. Is there power on that? There should be power on that. One second. Uh, it's underneath that for a second. 297 and I'm not getting any nitrogen in, so I don't think that actually worked. I'm getting it looks like there's no power on that line though. Ba, 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 da, ba, da. Mm, 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 mm. I'll have to check the power cable in a minute. Hi, you can open that by the way. Of course, also a bit through, so it's just not an issue. There you go. Thank you. But well, I think I the power cable needs sorting. Hey, that fell in. How are things yourself? I'd make life better. Since transformer on. And all those great things on the roof are supposed to be there. Alright, so that's nitrogen going. That's powered. But you can see the power cable properly. That tube. I can't get my cursor onto it. Which one needs to zoom out? That one. Okay, so we're not getting any nitrogen in here. God, that's really weird. That's set. Sixty kilopascals. It's on. Okay, going up into the roof. The pipe should be connected, unless I made a break in the pipe somewhere. That pipe network has N two O two C O two. Why have they, why they got... What, 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 why? That's a pressure regulator, that should be one-way valve. Is it connected to something else like it shouldn't be? It's only connected to nitrogen at the moment. So it should be connected to. But the pipe's contaminated now. It's got X and loads stuff in it. I have no idea why. Oh god, I'm stuck on something here. It's not going to any passive vent or anything, is it? We've got a pressure regulator attached. That's passive vent that's outgoing with a pressure regulator, so that one's fine. Going down. So showing 512 kilopascals, and I'm showing contamination in the pipe. Because there's O2, CO2, and X in the pipe, although very, very tiny amounts are still there. Doing some last second engineering before I take my group out for mining today. Well, you have fun mining. Uh, I think this needs a gap in that vent. I think it lies about where it does and doesn't need sometimes. Maybe one pipe, please, game. 
There seems to be some X in the tank. Yeah, I mentioned that part. <clears throat> it got, somehow it got contaminated. I don't quite know how it got contaminated, but it got contaminated. I just put the pipes on the floor before I did that, so I get the cooler out of it. One of these filters dead. If the filters are dead, they're supposed to um, put everything through waste, through the output waste pipe, rather than uh, anything else. So nothing should get into the tank from the tank. Okay, if I that there. Then read that. That should now have pressure. Can I read the pipe, please? There we go. Slowly pressurizing that pipe. I'll leave that pipe to pressurize for a moment before I do anything else. Because that pipe goes pretty much straight to here, and then connects to that. Was a pressure, um, was a passive vent on the end of that pressure regulator, and there's nothing else connected to that pipe on the way. So I'm really confused how it was contaminated. Unless it was already contaminated, because I wasn't paying attention to the tank. But I don't think it was though. They actually let's check my, uh, my propellant tank because if my propellant tank's contaminated, then the tank was done before. No, my propellant tank's 100% nitrogen, so it was nitrogen before. Weird. Kilopascals. We're aiming for 60 on the on that if we can. Got getting a readout on that and pipe is so difficult. Keeps it in the uh, roofing and give me the ammo. There we go. Right, we're at 60 kilopascals now. If I drop the uh, the vent on there, which apparently I don't see. There it is. It must have fell behind me. If I put the vent on that. It should start pressurizing the room. PA. The room is slow, basically. Hey, Cap, what's in your um, jetpack? Mine was pure nitrogen. That's my tank. Okay. Yeah, nitrogen as well. So you, so when you you filled yours, it doesn't get contaminated either. Hmm. point two moles. Trying to read that pipe. Okay. So you open two moles. That's turned on. That's saying to pressurize to. I think I know what it was. What was it? You know, when you were hooking up the pipes, you hooked up to the one after the regulator. Right, because it was that's was that going to the outside passive vent, by any chance? That was out to the outside passive vent. Damn it! That, that's why that pipe should have been a um, an Atmo waste pipe colour to let you know it was leading to the outside world. Yeah, because that pipe would be contaminated pipe. That's why you don't connect to a contaminated pipe. Yeah. Also, why colour coding is important. Yeah. This is why I didn't want to take over this. I didn't want to take over this. I was supposed to be somebody else here doing it. But uh, sadly, not the way it turned out. Okay. We have 912, 920 pascals in this room. So we're not even at a kilopascal. Nitrogen's at 0 0.06 mol. <clears throat> um, I have to change the field of view just to be able to read the tablet when looking up. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the problem is that uh, the person who did the tank farm um, ran a, a blue pipe, which we're using for nitrogen, <coughs> um, to a passive vent with a regulator on for, for overpressure, but they didn't re-change the colour of the outbound pipe. That should have been the like a warning, this is atmospheric air pipe. 
So when I get to thinking that was going to be my uh, nitrogen supply, um, it was going to be Atmo and it let a little bit back into the tank. So we kind of got to a contamination because of that. The only way around that now is to hard vent that tank, I think. Unfortunately. Yep. Which I can do quite easily. I can do it from over here if needed. Just linking to this pipe here and vacuum this pipe out. Just change this to a, um, a volume pump and a pump it so that the pipe's clear. It's still can to the tank directly right now. I mean, ideally, that tank would have a. Uh, what we call it? Would have a. Um, we could run the tank contents back through the filter. We could, but we're gonna, the tank's going to be entered into this room, really, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's such, such a little amount of the stuff. So I might as well <clears throat> save myself some hassle and just pop that out temporarily for a volume pump. And have we do the same job. Just face the right way. There we go. Set that to the maximum. Turn it on. Damn it, turn it on. Oh god, bugger. On. On. There we go. I feel there. That. Bubbles! Ah! Um. Off. Okay, that was lying to me. That pipe had a lot more uh, material in it than I thought it did. <laughs> 537 kilopascals. <laughs> I was reading it, it could give me uh, pascals because it's like hitting the roof constantly. Uh, um, <clears throat> do, 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 do. Ah, it does help to stick the colour design by the filters. Yes, we. <clears throat> I definitely want them labelling as well so we can tell what they're by looking at them. So, yeah, that's definitely something we would want to do. Um, <laughs> I found right, with the bubbles again. Uh, Jacob Moss, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Um, so, can I hear the alarm going off? Yes. Okay. Just, uh, just so, <clears throat> we've already got like one kilopascal in the roof right now. Can you um, throw me up a docket with the appropriate parts as well? <sighs> well, we can't put doors up here anyway. Can't do it because the pipes can pull out the doors anyway. Yes. Uh, in that case, can you throw me up a wall <coughs> and two pieces of plastic? If not, no, don't worry about it. Yeah, have to give me a minute. Okay. I, mean, I can come down for it. I just have a dog come down from the yeah, from the. Because what I can do is I can volume pump the entire tank into this room, <coughs> and it'll probably block the windows if I did that. <laughs> What is that? Hi. Hi. So uh, I need a door. I need a wall and a piece of plastic. Oh, almost. I was. I can start clicking when it comes up. Steel frames. Got it. Uh, no, need a wall. You never have here, are you? <laughs> well, I don't want to block off the entire thing, I just want to have a little wall piece. I'm gonna have to make one more. <laughs> I thought we had something spare. <clears throat> wall. Wait, hey, oop, nearly. I wasn't expecting it, I was, I was faced away. Wall. Got it. And the plastic, two plastic. Four plastic. Thank you. All right, well, where's the door in this place? Uh, switch to the grinder, and it'll, it should give me a prompt when I get near the uh, top of the door. So I would think the door would be here. Yep, there's the door. So if I put the wall right on top of the door, then it acts as a bulkhead in the same place. You got two glass. Uh, one glass. Glass. Yeah. Because if I put a window, in, we can see through it. 
I thought you said you had like forty glass on you. Yeah, I'm just throwing it up. Oh, thank you. Okay, if we have a window there instead of a wall, we can see that it's a bulkhead. We can see through and we know it's safe to open the other side up. <clears throat> Can't we? Yeah, but don't glass windows burst out quicker than... Um... They do, but if, they, if we burst the window, then we would lose all the windows in the base at the same time anyway. Thank you for the follow, Liam. Much appreciated. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to pump in to this room some of the gas. I'm going to try and basically try to vent that entire tank. Um, so here we go. And then we'll switch it back to a pressure regulator afterwards. Pressure regulators are better for this job. For the most part here, I'm actually just wanting to test one thing, and that is um, <clears throat> what is our what does it, what does it sound like when it's pressurized? Because the room sound will change, and we've never been above two p kPa in here. Is the door shut, by the way? Yes. Okay. I'm going to keep monitoring this until we hit uh, the target the target value, which is um, what was it? We said target would be. Uh, we're looking for 50 kPa for the back pressures and um, 60, uh, and 60 for the input. So we're looking for somewhere between 60 and 50 and 60, right? <coughs> yeah. So now we're just going to wait for the pressure. It's currently at six kilopascals. We may not hit the pressure, by the way. The, the space is so big. But hey, the good news is, if it does, when we do um, open the door open, it starts flooding into the rest of the base slowly. Once we, uh, <clears throat> once we get the pressure built, the gases in here will all be filtered through the system anyway. We're approaching uh, nine kilopascals. Ten kilopascals. Okay, we've got ten kilopascals now. Temperature is minus four, and I have frost on my helmet for the first time inside the base. That alarm it sounds louder you're being now in the roofing. Seven kilopascals coming down from the roof. Mm. You can hear the volume pump. I hear the elevator again. It's been the whole stream not hearing that. You can actually change the uh, sound. So instead of the uh, siren, it's uh, instead of a klaxon, it's a um, what do you call it. It's uh, the words incoming storm. She's turned on. Will help bring the temperature to a reasonable temperature. <clears throat> Probably have four hundred and twenty-seven kilopascals of. Liquid, uh, liquid water in the tank in the main base. That's next to nothing, really. It's 181 moles. I don't know how much is in the water system. In the main water tank, it's 3.23 kilomoles. Yeah, it's moles that matter, the, not the pressure. The pressure is just a nice, easy read. But the pressure is based on temperature, whereas the moles yeah. are based on how much there is. The 198 seconds of what the thing is. Got 130 
blood particles left in the tank. It's got nitrogen. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so the pipe's showing almost a kilopascal of nitrogen left and 126 kilopascals of pressure. So pumping it very nicely. The room has hit 15 kilopascals. There's going to be a wind rush when we open the door and it uh, looks like going to the corridors. Well, that active vents on the uh, tank farm should be active and pulling... So the passive vents on the tank farm should be pulling something via those um, back pressure regulators anyway. So you top it up slowly. You get a very, yeah. very tiny amount of nitrogen in the atmosphere, I believe. Down to 98. And going. <clears throat> now, given how big this place is, and how uh, when I open the when we open the door and the air flowing, it's going to fill in the whole base. I bet it falls to about one of, about two kilopascals, maybe three. Because this this is one of the biggest rooms in the farm. In the, in the in the whole place, but the there's a lot of space in the in the base. <clears throat> Seventy five kilopascals in the tank. Kilopascals, yes. So the tanks are behind the pipe, I think, because I'm at seventy one. But this is the only way to get the uh, other stuff out. And the other stuff should get uh, filtered out pretty quickly then. Well, not pretty quickly. It'll take a while for it to go through the system, but it should be filtered out once we uh, once we start. Um, once the pressure is high enough that the back pressure regulators start taking air through, through the system. <coughs> Minus two degrees Celsius. Still have frost on my helmet. Now I'll change this uh, volume pump out for a uh, back pressure regulator as soon as it's uh, entered the tank. Fifty kilopascals. I can hear the storm now. <laughs> okay. Um, so this part's ready. I'm just going to wait for the tank to finish empty. We're at 18 kilopascals in the atmo in the base right now. In this room. <clears throat> um, what we'll do is, once it's all done, I'll open the doors to the corridor. Um, and that'll start venting to pretty much all the base in. But what I'd like to do is get a window put in every corridor around the halfway mark where the doors will be. It's that not it's not a priority. It's not like you have to do it before we pressurise the whole base. It's part of the process anyway. <clears throat> but we need to move the, the doors to be roughly halfway down the halfway of max of the base, so we can break the corridors into quarters. And in the roof above that, we want to have a um, a, gla a, well, a glass sheet directly above the door. So the door is a seal between the areas. If the door's shut, then the area is sealed. Also, randomly, there was a bit of damaged roof in the uh, the in the wall, so there was storm blew in there. There we go. Down to twenty-six kilopascals in the pipe now. Oh crap! You right? Yeah, my uh, tablet just ran out. You can use tablet for many other. Uh, 
two yeah. of the batteries. Just have to remember I can't use my drill. <laughs> Probably gonna need to give everything a recharge anyway. It's been a while since you've charged any of your tools, but I'm guessing. Yeah. Because you do, this is probably the first stream you didn't die in. Because every other stream you started, you started and you've died <coughs> because of logout. No, there's been the past couple of streams actually. Oh, okay. Down to 20 kilopascals in the bank. Going very nicely. <coughs> also, the base is warming up. <coughs> Although the pipes being gas in at uh, minus four point six, and the temperature of the room dropped immediately down to like two kilopascals. At the minus two, minus three, then minus four, we're currently at minus one. So the machines in this room have warmed up the air already. <coughs> So all of the X is out of the tank, there's some O2 still left and yeah. CO2. The, the CO2 is the key one, once that's gone, the rest of the nitrogen can stay in that tank and I can, uh, <coughs> I can, we can have any of that come out by pressure regulation if it needs to. Yeah, it's just CO2 and N2 in the tank now. Okay, I'm only seeing, in the pipe I can see 2 centimoles of CO2, that's all I can see other than the N2. In the tank there's... Uh, Point six millimoles. Okay. Because <coughs> ideally we want some nitrogen leaving in the tank for for the um, other things to use for the um, nitrogen for the jetpacks filler. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> what we're gonna have to do is start using the advanced uh, furnace more than the act furnace because uh, when the the advanced furnace is used we get outgassing from the materials, we don't get that with the air furnace. Yeah. And we need the gases now. <coughs> do, do, do. Approaching 10 kilopascals in the bank. And we're at 19 kilopascals in the base. <coughs> One centimole of CO2 left behind. So what I understand, the pipes are instant travel, um, so it, once there's anything in the pipe anyway, it's anywhere. Thank you wife for the links, much appreciated. <coughs> but the tanks obviously and the fence and stuff, they have a delay on what they can transfer to the pipe. Yeah. Point three. <coughs> I'm still at 0 0.1 centimole, oh, we hit 1 millimole of the CO2 on the pipe. 0.3 millimole on the tank. What you can do is once it's at zero and there's nothing else in the tank but nitrogen, cut the pipe to it if you want to. In that way, um, it'll let my my thing will enter the rest of the pipe but not the rest of the tank. <coughs> That's an option. Don't need to do that. I'm just saying. I'm thinking it's not going to work. Like that. I think we're going to. I think it, I personally think it's going to make that. it ride it all the way down, make it uh, be yeah. done. Do, 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 do. Well, we're not far off for emptying the tank anyway, 6.32 kilopascals. Yeah, 17 moles left in the tank <laughs> of the N2. I got 48 moles in the pipe. Point 0.7 millimoles of CO2. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, it would be much easier to pressurise the base if we didn't have these walkways above, but I kind of like having the walkways above.
temperature in the walkway is now zero degrees Celsius. Malls left in the pipe of N2. Ten. The tank. Hello, Molly. See you a tweet, shall we? <laughs> Alrighty, what do we have? Almost completely piped empty. 2.56 kilopascals, the remaining 20 moles are in 2 and 0 .0, 0 0.3 millimoles of CO2. Celsius in the room. Bombs ended. I wonder what the temperature of the uh, the sleepers is now. How are we looking on the tank? Um, 0 0.07 millimoles of CO2. Pressure? And 5 moles of N2. Pressure of 1.83 kilopascals. Okay, so we're not far off completely draining the, the tank. <clears throat> I mean, if I rip up the tank now and place it where that would be. Empty. Yes. So I Feel free. That. If you rip the tank, if you rip the tank up, give me a moment for the to let the pipe completely empty my end. Or it'll just backfill from the pipe. <clears throat> I need a battery in my drill. <laughs> <laughs> what might be a good idea as well is on those tanks on the outbound pipe. Uh, after you know, so it comes up from the filters into the tank and then out back out to the network. <clears throat> have a uh, a pressure regulator on there that says the pipe should be targeting, say, one megapascal or something like that, and that way it doesn't backflow into the tank at any point. <clears throat> yeah. Right, the tank is disconnected. Okay, the pipe should empty pretty quickly then in comparison because it's not to dump for the tank as well. Uh, one point two seven kilopascals in the pipe and dropping. If you want to rip up the pipe and put it down again, you can do so. There's a bit of piping though. No, I'll leave the pipe. <clears throat> if you have a pressure regulator, feel free to put it in in line with the tank. That way, it will uh, not backflow in. But if you don't got one, then don't worry about it yet. Do 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 do. <clears throat> so the two things I want to do, I want to get the auto button set up on the farm door so we can go in and out without having to 
be blasted and everything. <coughs> and second thing I want to do is uh, replace this volume pump with a, with a pressure regulator so it will continue to work as it was supposed to do. Oh, we're down to uh, 900 pascals. It is draining it though. It takes time. And it's made this room. So that entire tank, which was what, 500 something kilopascals? <clears throat> um, it made this base, this room, get to 19 kilopascals. I think it was two megapascals, I think. Last time I saw it was 500 and something kilopascals, but that could have been the pipe, not the tank. Yeah. Good night, so rest well. Get yourself some good old rest, you need it. 732 pascals. Welcome back, Molly. I see you there. I see you there. You just had a treat. Do you want another treat? They did give you the small one. Treat draw. Fell out of the cupboard. Put the skin again. Whoever invented this draw is a really bad design where the draw is enough thinner than the rails that if it, it gets ever a slight angle, it'll fall out. Fall down into the draw below it. Five hundred ninety-five kilopascals. Oh, pascals, not kilopascals. So used to be in pas kilopascals now. Good news is that the, I don't read any X in the air. I think it, it's, there was that little bit that it spread around that like, much stage, basically the bit itself. Yeah. Four hundred ninety-five. <coughs> four eighty-five. We're down to four moles of N2. Four sixty. Four forty. Four hundred. Feel free to, uh, do something else for a bit if you want. The last little bit's always yeah. taken a while. After this bit's done, I'm going long enough. Yeah, I think so. But here we get to test out the new sleepers, right? <laughs> yes. Because <clears throat> the bits I said I want to get done, those are the last bits I want to get done for this room. Um, the, the windows above the doors, that one I want to do, that wants to be done. <clears throat> um, before we go full scale high pressurization, because if we get a blowout, we don't lose too much. But also, uh, we need to make sure the doors are where we think the doors are going to go. Because we've got a door to the left of uh, production. I think that's actually a good place for one. We've got a door just between electrical and farming. I think that's actually good, whether it was moving back a couple of squares or whether that position is actually good is okay. The one by the gas farm, that's going to come out once we uh, get an airlock on the corner. So I think the doors are actually where they want to be. Down to 300 kilo, uh, 300 pascals. Two moles. <coughs> so in this case, solution the pollution is dilution. Indeed. <clears throat> There's just so much volume in the room, uh, so little X, they just don't show up anymore on the readouts. Yo, Pete, what planet did you start on? Mars. We started on Mars. <clears throat> 283. Going down quite slowly now because it's pulling the last bit of the pipe out. Da, 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 da. 
How are we doing, Joyce? <coughs> That's what I thought I'd take. Yeah, um, so the starter worlds are Mars and Moon, and uh, I figured Mars would have a atmosphere to work with, so we would have something to work with, and that just seemed to be the case. Okay, you can, t you can connect the tank now. It's just N2 and then nothing else. Okay. Right, and I've taken the turn that off. Let me just disconnect that entirely now. Oops. I need the drill for that. And replace that with a back pressure regulator. Back pressure, that way. Yep. I want it set to 50, which I think it is. We can't read it. 50. This is the filling one, so I want to set to actually higher. Turn it on. Turn, 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 turn. Get back up there, turn it on. There we go. So, read the pipe. The pipe is 20 pascals. The room is 20 kilopascals. The pipe above the room is reading. Damn it. Should we read the same? Room pipe, yeah, 20, kilo, 20 kilopascals. 99% N, 0% O2, 1% CO2. Right, so that can be turned off and put away for a minute. The plastic can go back on the roof again. There we go. That's going to be Hydration. sorted out. <laughs> Ooh, hydration. Go about that. Do, 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 do. Hello, Drawman. Uh, what flavour are you slipping down? Tempted to make a sour apple lizard. 3am, but probably shouldn't. Uh, this one is. Um, cherry. The cherry one. Alright, we are. We are powered, we are pressurised. Uh, the room is holding 20 kilo, uh, kilopascals. And I've got a tank reconnected, that should be good. Yep. Alright, ready for a uh, interesting blast of air? Go for it. Not that bad. It won't be too bad, there's only 20 kilopascals in there. There's a window frame on the outside of the wall for some reason, just sat there. There we go. Okay, I'm going to open the door to the sleeper room because I would like this room to have some pressure in it to help bring the temperature up and thus the uh, sleeper should get some warming effect. Alright, sleepers, what do you even tell me? Uh, minus 38 degrees Celsius, they say. Is that, is that nice and chilly enough for you? <laughs> Probably should now um, if we get this room. If this room warms up, um, with the air coming in from the other place now and potentially machines warming the air up, <coughs> um, we might be able to put the radiators on there and have it uh, warm that pipe up. One more battery upstairs if you want a fully charged battery. Nah, I'm not good with batteries now. Good. Give it that, give it that, there we go. Keep that in my hand so I can see what we're doing. There. There though. Alright, so 15 kilopascals, room is slowly venting into the corridor. So temperature is in there anyway. Temperature got all the way up to 8 degrees Celsius. I never wasn't paying attention to the temperature. <coughs> the corridor is down at 8, 7, 6 into this room. 3 to 1 degree upstairs here. We need 2 kilopascals as well, so the temperature is going to come up here and rise quite nicely. Better look at that. So we need the temperature to get to, I believe it's 10 degrees Celsius um, <clears throat> in the room for livable temperature before we get the temperature warning. And we can put some radios on this pipe just to uh, help it out. I shall go get them now. We can at least uh, try and get the, the, the thing warming up a bit. Now where were the radiators? I think they were in this one. There they are. Can you just set that flooring for us? I will uh, drop the floor radiators on the pipe. <coughs> I 
try and get this uh, pipe warmed up a little bit. Uh, oh, actually, don't need to worry about it. I can apparently get through the floor, through the grid. No, I can't. Wait, just snap to the pipe. There. Three, four. There we go. So this should that re this should warm up to room temperature a bit faster. Which they are doing. 30 degrees and then for 29.5. That's going really nicely down to a reasonable temperature now. Okay. We've got three kilopascals in the room. And there's still plenty of air from the main room to come out. There's like 13 kilopascals at the back of the room still. That's not, of course, not forgetting the upstairs, which is at 15, 16, 17. Yeah, the upstairs is still uh, venting through slowly. Hi. Hi. It's 18 kilopascals over here. Alright, so what you should need to do is when you get into the sleeper, which I'm going to come over there first. I don't want to see this in action. Because <clears throat> all this air slowly moves around the base, it's going to be interesting to how it levels out. Alright, so first of all, this is reading minus 20 and getting warmer. Um, but if you look at the actual uh, oxygen in the ta in the actual sleeper, uh, I'm missing. I'm seeing 0 0.4 moles. Yeah, that isn't breathable. <laughs> I would argue. <clears throat> What's the pipe down here say? Uh, I need to put the floor up. I can't see. Uh, number four, please. Put that there. Get me the crowbar. All right. Pipe is reading 77 moles at minus 14, and it's increasing. Okay. So maybe the maybe the bed itself doesn't need a lot. But the pressure's as the temperature's coming up, the pressure's coming up quite rapidly as well. If you notice. Yeah. Which is kind of why I want you to have that pressure regulator on it earlier. I'm gonna leave that uh, floor uncovered for a little bit, so I can keep an eye on that pressure. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, and the bed is showing the same pressure, but not showing the same moles. Let's toggle the power on and off, just see if it fixes anything. Okay, so basically it doesn't tell you the moles, unless it just. Okay. I like cherry bomb, but not uh, find it as much sweeter than the others, so I have to make it have to. It is, it's a lot stronger flavour than the others. The temperature's at 8 degrees, by the way. Not bad. The temperature of the cherry bomb is very strong compared to the others. The apple, the apple, the strawberry one's also very strong. Eat strawberry. <clears throat> Two I had originally, but uh, the other flavours are actually much more diluted and they, uh, they're very tasty, I like them. Okay, so 6.5 degrees Celsius. It's warm enough. I mean, if you don't get in time, it's going to warm up over time anyway. <clears throat> so yeah, even now it's uh, 5.2. That's good. Um, I'm going to get a low temperature one in now. Not a critical one. Yeah, because it was like minus 50 something before. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm going to run quickly into the room and grab a... I'll grab my config chip. Uh, and see if I can see the uh, your health status in there, because um, <clears throat> the config shows you all the data. And I'm wondering if the I can set up like alerts on people's health. That'd be interesting. If you could. Let's see. Um, active zero, combustion zero, error three, lock maximum on, open powered, pressure is. 45 and increasing, ratio 0 0.5. I'm not sure what the ratio is. Probably. Oh, but there's ratio of carbon dioxide, ratio of nitrogen, ratio of nitrous oxide, oxygen, pollution. So the other stuff's there. <coughs> um, required power 100, so you're using 100 watts of power for running that. Temperature is registered in Kelvin. Uh, setting of 50, I don't know what the setting is. And there's a ratio of 0.5. But don't know what the ratio is in relevance to. Okay. Uh, but you're now at 1.4 degrees Celsius there. And you should warm up to the room temperature is 7 Celsius. 
Perfect. Hey. A warning now for um, temperature. Anymore. Excellent. So no warning at all now. No warning at all. Okay. Have we got your? Uh... So you should have your suits, AC filters, your light, everything turned off basically. Uh, yeah. So light off, helmet open, <coughs> filter, uh, and AC for. Yeah. The reason being that if you leave any of those on, they'll continue to draw power while you're sleeping. Yeah. And you wouldn't when you come back, you got to close your helmet, do all the stuff. There you go. We're at 3.6 Celsius now, and it's we're coming up to about 50, yeah, about 46 kilopascals. <coughs> the room, is, the room itself is at 7 degrees Celsius and 5 kilopascals. So once the so 7 degrees Celsius is where the temperature should level out to. We didn't put blizzard. I like it, but primarily I use it as a mix of other flavors. I like to make some apple and and properly salad. I never. I like the blizzard, but I've never tried mixing the flavors. So, and I like really sour stuff. <laughs> Might try that myself actually. But yeah, your temperatures are raising up nicely. Uh, I can't get. Uh, sadly, I can't get like a health indicator off of you from the bed. I've opened the bed and say that there's the health of the person in the bed. You can send a an alert. <clears throat> yeah. That way, because the main, what's the main reason someone's health would go down would be maybe oxygen supply has dropped or temperature went yeah. too low or something. Well, the vitals have not changed. I'm yeah, I think it's good. Let's check that pipe downstairs. The pipe's showing 6.4 degrees Celsius <clears throat> and no CO2 as yet. So I'll leave the filter off for now and I'll go and do some other bits. And we'll see if, before I leave the stream, I'll see if it's going to CO2 in it. <clears throat> if it is, I'll turn the filter on and clear out the CO2. Yeah. Right. I'm going to log off at that then. Alright. Get some sleep. <laughs> yeah, get yourself some sleep. It is 3am, uh, so you are in need of sleep. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. I've slept too long. <laughs> Uh, I've been off work all week, so my, my sleep schedule has reset to my pre-working sleep schedule, <clears throat> which means I was playing games at 7am this morning. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. So long, and have fun. Thank you. See you later. Rest well. Apparently I can open the sleeper. <laughs> Sounds like a bad idea. There we go, and temperature is 8.1, and the room is 8.9, so it should come up to 8.9 eventually. Da, 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 da. 47 kilopascals in there, which I'm happy with. We have a back pressure regulator uh, in the roof that's making sure it doesn't go above 100. Uh, we have the main regulator here, which I'm going to turn back on now. We're uh, where now we've got that good state, so I'll turn that. That should be set to 33. Turn that back on again. That will maintain that at 33, even if <coughs> a lot of CO2 is generated, that back pressure regulator will make sure it never goes below 33. But I think 25 is about the lowest you can go, 20 is probably the target. 9 and 9.5, the room is warming up, so watch out for that, we don't get the room too warm. But hey, we are actually running. <coughs> How's the temperature in here? See, this room is getting the place warm because of the machines. So we've got to, uh, now we've got pressure, we've got to be careful with it. Config chip can go back in there. Okay, let's take a quick nosy. So I've not opened that purposely. There's no need to pressurize that side of the base yet. Again, also not opened that side yet, and there's no need to pressurize that room just yet. Uh, we will want to pressurize it at some point. <coughs> But we don't need to pressurize it just yet. This corridor here. I'm gonna allow this to pressurize. Uh, no, actually, let's, let's let's keep it minimum pressure in here for now. Um, mostly because the 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 gas fan is there, and if someone opens this door into that room and we vent into that room, that room's a big room. We might just need to keep an eye on stuff. <coughs> um, the farm though, let's check on the farm. This room, I won't get this with a, an easy door. 
And we're at 28 degrees Celsius. Excellent. And we're holding 48 pascals, kilopascals here. Uh, I've mixed with sour apple, strawberry, watermelon, and blue raspberry. And highly recommend those. Okay. So, mix sour apple, strawberry, watermelon, and blue raspberry in the same mix. Okay. Or you say mix the the cherry with that, the, the blue mix with that. I'll be back in just one second. Uh, and we'll see how things go. Keep an eye on the temperature in the other room and this room then now. Alrighty, we are back. 28 Celsius. Uh, none, each with the blizzard. Okay, each with the blizzard. I wonder if you're, if you're suggesting a combination or one that you've done with the blizzard. Alright, so this room is 28 degrees Celsius down here. The upstairs should be the same. And this is the first room we pressurised. And it's holding a nice pressure. Have it the pumpkin. We seed it. I don't want to lose the, the pumpkin's the crop that's the one I don't want to lose the most. Ooh, why are you damaged? Why, why are you, why, why are you damaged? These aren't. These are. I don't know why they're damaged. <clears throat> we should do a actual full harvest though. Let's just go downstairs and dump off the uh, some of my cargo here. Find a piece of plastic in there, sure. Any more drink in that cupboard? No, but we are in a situation where we're going to need to start getting some food out of that cupboard. I don't, think we can, I don't think we can do much of a harvest. We can't harvest the tomatoes. We've got a lot of them already. And just nowhere to put new, new tomatoes. We can do it to 10. Right, we, can, we can harvest up to 10. Uh, and then everything else we need to harvest, basically. Okay. <coughs> Lack of sleep makes me strong painkillers. I'm notorious for writing confusing messages. Uh, I just have a lack of sleep, but I'm used to it. I've uh, been I slept, this is my sleep schedule for the last few years. So, all right, ten tomatoes, and for some reason there's some injured ones over here. So we'll have it, that one because it seems to reset itself. There we go. So the injured ones aren't yielding any crop. And they won't recover their full health.
This entire row is injured though. Okay, and these ones? So these are the ones I'd expect to do <coughs> full harvest, because these are uninjured. That's it, I can't do any more of them because they are uh, they're full. Uh, I'm not an ever not a night owl. I'm some kind of a perpetually gothic pigeon. I like that saying. I've heard that one a few times, it's good. Corn does two, and one back in the ground. Corn does two, one back in the ground. There we go. The potatoes They do three to put one back in the ground. What well, don't if you just have it's two of them, do they still produce the extra? You know what I'll do? I will have this all but the last one there. Just have this two off of that. And we'll see if they all yield three later on. And more tomatoes over here. <coughs> 28 Celsius is good. Uh, as long as it's above 15 and below... Above 15 and below 50. There you go. Now one of these is a lower yield. That one. See, these corridors slowly get pressurized from the fan, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to let this air flow into the corridor. But I want a console, I want a door, a console, a door, control circuit, and some wiring. Uh, can you automate the harvesting of planting? Yes. Um, there's a device called a harvey, and you place it above the one of the plant beds <coughs> uh, with a cable going between them and it can read the state of the plant and when it plant is ready it will harvest the uh... okay I think we'll just let the air mix here they're both we're at the same pressure on both sides now thanks to just opening that door I mean the difference is the air on this side is 97% CO2 and the air on this side if we walk through here you can see climbing rapidly towards the high 70N so we're gonna be mixing CO2 with N but eventually we'll have airflow running. <coughs> Alright, we're at 14 degrees Celsius. Uh, Captain Carter's temperature now is at 12 degrees Celsius. Okay, that's good. We're going to keep this room below um, a temperature where we think it's too hot in here. We need plastic for that. i got one here, we need another one. So let's go get some plastic. Finish that off. One sheet there, and that one sheet I randomly found on the floor. Uh, let me fill this piece of roofing in even better. There we go. And if we check the bed itself, 0.4, 0 .4, 0 .4 mold of oxygen, 12.9 degrees Celsius, 48 kilopascals, looking good. The pipe network has. 77 moles, so loads of that, and no CO2 yet, so we're good on the CO2 side. <laughs> Alright, let's get a console, a door thingy, and all that. Uh, so, we have any consoles in stock? Uh, active vent, power controller. No, okay, we can make one quite cheaply. I'm saying that, let's over here. Wall cooler, wall heater, consoles, and key consoles. So yes, we have console. We need the uh, programming disk. We do need a chip that we don't, which we won't have. These are all about air locks. <coughs> we will want a door control. Gold and copper. Do you have gold and copper? Nope. Do you have gold and copper? No. All right. Give me gold and copper. Copper. Perfect. 
Yoink. In you go. Yoink. In you go. Make one dark one for me. 17 Celsius. Machine running. Machine didn't increase the temperature. I was hoping if the temperature would increase more than that. Okay. Uh, <coughs> okay. Ooh, uh, cables. I have loads of cables, so I haven't got them on me. Put the pipe back in there. Grab the heavy cables, well, just in case we need to use heavy. Don't need the kit wall. Don't need the 37 glass. Don't need the pipe analyzer. We need to sort this, uh, these little cupboards out at some point soon. It's a little bit of a mess. Okay, let's go. Don't know if that's going to be enough cables, but we'll, uh, we'll find out when we get there. Okay, so first of all, this we don't need this anymore. There we go. I mean, the pipe in there, we don't need that either. So let's get that flooring up for a second and get that pipe out of there. At least I can get the cable if I need it. Um, I need the wrench for the pipe. There we go. Right. Uh, put the wrench back there. Pop that out with the. Keep the grill up actually for a minute. Give me the console. Can I put the console on this wall? I can. Good. Uh, put on this wall. Makes sense, more sense to me. There. And we're going to use high, a high density cable here. So we're going to put wire cutters. Put that up. Put that up. Put that back in. And then we're going to use a high density cable because there's no point uh, switching out to a new cable type. Oops. Uh, I need that cable just for the colouring. There we go. And then put that in there. Oops, there. Ba -ba -da. Okay, so that's the that's that power done. I need a sheet of glass to finish it. I put the glass away because I didn't need 40 something of them. I need one for the uh, for the thing. You, I need one for the panel. There we go. <laughs> so five kPa is still above the average temperature of the uh, of the of my atmo. That's good. I was wondering if we'd even get back to that. Right. Oops, put, the, put that on and on toggle dot perfect so now give me the chip so we can program it uh glaston farm mm, i would really have like to have them named got my labeler So I noticed that the room place warmed up pretty quickly to uh, 17 Celsius. Now we don't have any air flow, so if it's getting too hot then it won't work. That's this farm on it. This one is a glass door. <coughs> which I have a pick with one big glass door and you can see the one. I would have probably preferred it to be in the same type of door. Uh, but you would be farm door external. External, external farm door, and that one just says farm door. That's just farm because, uh, well, if it said anything else, it'd be written on the thing. I think just farm is good enough. All right, so we want the in toggle or linked. I think we got toggle, <clears throat> and we have manual operation enabled or disabled. I think we allow manual operation, and we say both of those two doors. That one's closed and that one's open. Toggle doors, that one closes, that one opens. This will pressurize to match the pressure in here. And then you hit that button again. And then this will just vent all that into this room. <clears throat> now it does mean that every time we go into the farm, 
we're going to start sending larger amounts of pressure into this base. The idea is eventually both rooms will have the same pressure. So it shouldn't be a problem in the long run. But it is a problem for now, sadly. So there we go. And you can do manual operation of the doors. So you can still go in there and open and close the door behind you if you wish to not let that much air into here. All right. Uh, with that in mind, I think we can open the door <coughs> to the power room. Because we're at 7 kPa now. And this room is this room's a warm room because of all the power generators. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this room. Which is kind of why I want to get the air flowing in to help bring the temperature down a little bit in here. <coughs> but we have these machines here. These... Uh, these need cooling. Yeah, IRL anyway, they do. Okay. Boop, boop. 19 Celsius there, moving through the base. Looking pretty good so far. Totally good. Gives me more time for Twitch, YouTube, and playing games. Excellent. Alright. Seventeen degrees and increasing because it's trying to match the room temperature. But we're holding forty eight point nine kilopascals. Which I'm happy with. <coughs> okay. Uh, I do need a drink before I die and also food, so do that one. There we go. Let's do uh, a battery replacement on everything. That one done. Uh, you have a small battery in you? You do. Uh, you I've been using a lot recently. You I also use a fair bit. There we go, and then the grinder is next. And then we've got the arc welder. So those are my two remaining batteries to be replaced. Do, 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 do. Just because I'm impatient. And I know there's battery up here. Go faster. Eighty-nine, ninety-four. You're going to be the one to go first. You have a small battery, though. Why do you have a small battery? I mean, to be fair, we don't use you very often. And when we do use you, you only for like a few seconds at a time. So let's just charge that up. I actually prefer the look of the small batteries, but I don't like the fact they're small batteries. There we go. Everything's been recharged. Right, um, there's vents and stuff over here, so let's put them, the console's back over here. Uh, that vent can go there. The programming chip should go there. The label goes over here. Pipes can uh, go over here with the other pipes. Those cables can go there. Keep out of the other stuff. Alright, 24 degrees Celsius and increasing. So just to help with the temperature, because I don't want to get uh, too high, I'm going to shut down the machines. There we go. So in here we have the emergency suits and stuff. They're all high quality, they're all working fine. Some of them have scratches on them. Apparently. What do we have up here? Uh, some silver and some iron floating around. That's fine. Can I put those through the smells to get some gas out of them? Might as well, right? in, close the door. <clears throat> now will this be hot enough down here to handle this? Need to put that up as well. 
I don't mind if we're closing the door. The air will travel through the vents. Just slower, but it's traveling through. Let it, let, it even, let it even out. It'll even out slowly across the old base anyway. I need two plastic for that to seal it. I want to be unsealing soon. <clears throat> okay. Let's have a look. What is your current status? 576 Celsius. You might just be able to handle some basic metal. But I don't know. You did. You handled that quite happily. How about this one? Yep, you handled that as well. Is this burning fuel constantly just to keep this, or is it only burning fuel when it needs to? I feel if you're burning fuel constantly, that's uh, not a great idea. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> okay. So we have, um, in case you're wondering, these uh, vents. They are attached to back pressure regulators, but I'm not sure if you need to put a pipe on that side. I think you might need to. Because I don't think they can connect directly. Because when I get the um, other vents, they, they connected and they still were all okay, but they then complained about stuff. Okay. Um, that would go into there automatically. So they're in there. So I believe that auto. Yeah, that auto convert. That auto shoots. <coughs> Captain Cross set it up with a shoot system to uh, auto drop into the vending machine when you smelt something. Um, okay, where is my. I need to go in the top of my nitrogen tank. Which could be a problem, since, you know, I don't currently have a nitrogen supply. Right, close that for a minute. In here with 2 kilopascals, we're 6 degrees Celsius. The plate is pressurized. Okay, I say we allow it to pressurize with the rest of the base. It's a largest room, but it will uh, it will behave itself. Now that being said, the whole <coughs> pressure of the whole base as a as a whole brings that down. But hey, it also means temperatures need to regulate. Uh, you have 55 kilopascals in the tank, and that's actually pretty good actually. Uh, and you have six megapascals in that pipe, which is what I'm going to see because what I want to do is top up my uh, propellant tank. Jetpack critical. There we go. Okay. Waste tank is. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Waste. I'm going to say waste tank is the what's too far back of in the room itself. The waste tank itself is empty, which is, means that they're processing. Uh, O2 tank is at 2.49. We are 0 0.6 megapascals, uh, 0 0.6 degrees. I think the whole place should be warming up now, actually. 3.5 minus 7.2. Oh, can we go slower? Uh, you are at 0. You're at 10.69. Uh, <coughs> We have quite a few megapascals of uh, CO2. I believe we're all up to 20. And if you notice there, it's uh, still going up. <coughs> Ever so slightly. And the reason it goes up is the uh, the farm is circling CO2 and oxygen around constantly. But also there's some pressure regulators below the ground here. Uh, there. That are saying if this pipe is below 1 kilopascal, bring air in from the outside world. <clears throat> so they're uh, they are filtering out my air constantly. And the outside out my air has a small concentration of uh, gases. Uh, we have 10 megapascals of CO2. We could put CO2 into the atmo. Um, 
but that would require a, a mixing system. Pete, don't forget you are still wearing the resource finder glasses. I am, but they're not turned on. Uh, but they will need a battery, you're right, I need to charge the battery up. I will have to do that. Let's go and uh, put those up to charge. Thank you, Raven. I forgot about wearing them because we've been turned off. I never really paid attention to them. Okay. Do, 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 do. And then once we we'll change the battery on these, and then we'll also put them in the, in the, in the sorry box as well, the mining box for the next person. Oh, so they do not look like glasses at that angle. Going to that little bar at the bottom of the screen, uh, here, <coughs> we're showing we're just outside the danger zone on pressure. Now, we'd suffocate with uh, 0 0.2 moles of oxygen, but hey, we wouldn't uh, implode from a particular helmet off there. More 20 degrees Celsius, 4 or 9, okay. So, let's get this grate back down. Oh, damn it, I saw it as I was placing it. It rotated. There we go. I'm actually surprised that Captain Cost isn't producing any CO2 in, the, uh, in there, though. Even if it was like a millimole and uh, 0 0.1 millimole or something like that, I'd better see it. <clears throat> okay, so let's go and check out the other areas right now. So we're holding 20 degrees in here, and 5 pascals. Down by the furnace room, the act furnace room I don't expect to change that much. Yep, because it's being double glass. Uh, the other furnace, I'm not sure, it does have an exposed nose sticking out. They might do in that room at the end. 15 degrees. No, okay. With the front of the furnace sticking out, I wasn't sure if it would leak some temperature in here. We need two pieces of plastic for this roof here. And I think I'm going to have to rotate the. Uh, I'm going to have to rotate these um, passive vents. Oh, the, passive, the, the regulators, because I don't like them sticking through the roof like that. Uh, 21C here. So if we go into the power room, it's actually holding 21C. I was expecting this to be uh, warmer because of all the power units. Okay. Uh, down this way. <coughs> I'm not going to go back to the farm. Uh, I don't need to put more air into the system here. Uh, then we get to here. Now, here. We have one roof here to fill in, and then that corridor is complete. And this room, I'm just going to pretend it isn't a thing. Uh, I'm running six degrees in here. Six, uh, yeah, six degrees Celsius. <clears throat> now, I could add CO2 to the mix and get that flowing, but uh, I feel that's the third. All right. If the CO2 filter was 100% when you put it in, it should at 99 at least. Oh, it should. I mean, if you put a filter in as 100%, it should immediately drop to 99 because you used a little bit of it. Right, I'll take that one out. So I know I've got one. And I'm going to put that one in the first slot. That one in the first slot. Put those in storage. So I can make a replacement filter for those. 64 and 56. So those are the wrong way around. So the lowest one front, 37 and 92, 77 and 7. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so the little filters are here. We need to replace two filters. So luckily, just two filters to be replaced on that. And we'll be good. So CO2 and an O2 filter. And also myself, I am uh, in need of a, a CO2 filter. Alright, um, 
tavern don't side filter. Can we make the bigger ones? Because they, they don't run down as fast. They are long run better. CO2 medium. Make make me a few of those because I've got three slots myself. They're empty. <coughs> On the bed filter. Check if it's produced too long. Oh, that, that filter that filter machine's turned off. Um, so it's not sure you wouldn't uh, filter any CO2 out of the, out of the machine. Um, <coughs> but I can check it for you in a second. Just to confirm it for you. That's two. Put these in my personal supply here. I should put that one there. I always put the uh, lowest one first, that's the one that drains first. Right, that one is the last one for my personal rig. And I will put another one, a medium sized one, in that machine in the other room as well. Because I think that if we have people in there, we don't want them dying because the filter ran out, do we? So that one's for the for Captain Carter's room. <clears throat> then we need one for the main filter. Then we need to switch out to an O2 filter for the uh, blue one. Turn that off now. Then let's get an oxygen, medium oxygen filter. Just a one. Can go there. Oh crap. They got an extra beat, you know. Oh no, I meant to get an extra beat. Make me be an idiot. And there we go. That's the oxygen filter for the oxygen tanks. There we go. Okay. <coughs> so this one here is at one hundred percent still. And to standard filter, I'm going to put a medium filter in the second position, so that it uh, will use this one up first. Then it will use this one up afterwards. Now they're not the machines turned off because of the red light there. That will turn it on. That will turn it off. But there's no CO2 going through it right now to uh, to kill it. And then I needed two, but the four pieces of plastic to replace those pieces of roofing, which I keep forgetting to make when I go around back to the base. So first things first, the O2 filter in that slot, and the CO2 filter in that slot. So they've got mediums in there and mediums in there. Good. How much of there were mediums in that actually? <coughs> okay, that's all that covered. Uh, next up is plastic for the roofing. This room is still outgassing, by the way. Uh, plastic, do we have any plastic in stock? Uh, none that I can see. I don't need that open anymore. Ah, close everything. There we go. No plastic in stock there, none in there or there. Okay, let's make some plastic. I need four sheets, please, so I need two silicon. Anyone got silicon? Gold and copper. Gold and copper quantity. Okay, so we don't have any silicon in stock. I'm gonna recycle this though. I never use this manual pickaxe, so let's uh, recycle that along with those two dead filters, and then go looking for <coughs> um, riches. So first of all, filter, filter. left the filter on all on the bed eject CO2 into the room or it bugged again uh, well I can do a save and reload I don't think it's ejecting CO2 to the room that's what the the, the old system is it's supposed to have a, a filter in there to give remove CO2 from the uh, from the thing just want to drop these uh, 
ingots into the into the furnace. See, I've been using the act furnace a lot, but uh, we need to start using this furnace because uh, this one um, produces gas when you smelt something. Right, two, four pieces of plastic to cover the roofs up. <coughs> Needs, so we'll need the silicon. Let's go. Let's go towards that hill. Question is, is it daytime or nighttime? Oh, I thought it was I thought it was almost setting. Ignore that. Right, so we're needing silicon. Silicon. Yeah, silicon looks um, like basically well, it, it glows white. Look how big the base looks now. <laughs> it's a big base. Um, yep, I do. I have some. <coughs> I think you trust me enough not to kill myself, right? That on the other hand looks like silicon. So, number five, throw the belts over. Alright, should be some, hopefully more of this around. Last time I came, a, a piece rolled down the hill and I lost it, I couldn't find the hole again. After I put the one piece up. So hopefully, <coughs> we get a decent haul of silicon this time around. Actually, pretty badly damaged. I should get a new one and recycle it really. You can't put your helmet back if you're like me, and you uh, have the lock set in the open. It's, uh, it's mid red, so you can't open the helmet. Uh, I know a few people who uh, unlock the helmet for something, and then they never relock it. I just like, I, that, that's too dangerous. I'm going to hit that button by accident. You only need to press the button I on the keyboard, and you open your helmet. This is when I'm in a bit of downtime and I have really not much to do. Rather than doing nothing or whatever, uh, I can actually potentially mine now. Uh, in the in the meantime, but before I've been like, I don't want to mine because it'll kill off somebody. And I mean that we're cheating new resources every time they spawn. Now I don't have to worry about it because I'll be able to sleep. Okay, I think that's enough. I don't need a lot of material. Uh, Although these are also 
silicon. We're already out for silicon, right? So let's get some more silicon. No, they're coming. Okay. I'm going to try and leave that piece there so we can see it as we fly over in the future. So I know there's a silicon mine here. But I feel like if we get uh, two stacks, that'd be a really good haul. Given the amount we've got right now, or what we don't have right now. There's a hole down there. Goes to nowhere. We got the stacks we needed. Let's head back to the base. Put that to drill away. But I was just making sure, big brain, I'd make sure not to have type the fat. <laughs> So the base itself should be over here. It should be visible from the top of this hill. It's probably going to this way towards the hill. Because I forgot to bring my tracking chip. So I went up two hills. So it should be up here. Here we go. All these lot, and the, there it is, pass of that hill. So I went over two hills to get here. So it should be pass of that hill there. Critical, 20%. Just critical. I think it should be critical at like 10%. Just maybe a reminder at 20%. I think that the symbol on top of me is I damaged my lungs though, because I definitely experienced uh, a while of very low pressure. I really like the way the base looks right now. I mean, it's midnight in a second, so you won't see it properly, but uh, I like the way the base is looking. And then night time falls. Let's check inside here for a second, though. But this should be non pressurized. This is non-pressurized because we, uh, when we run this generator, it, it makes the room so hot, so we took the air out of this room continuously, uh, using this vent, into the waste network. And, uh, thank you, vent out round. Was this an inbound? Shouldn't be. Good. Good. Bring up my tool belt. Let's have a look at the this room right now. This room is <coughs> increasing in pressure. Okay. Let's just turn off. There's no openings. You've lost power. Ah, you just lost power. That's fine. Hang on a minute. Just one moment. I 
gonna be a 71 degrees Celsius in here though, because of that machine, because of that. That looked wrong, so that says set outwards. So that to me tells me that's it is now set to outwards. I'll have to come back and double check that room when, when power comes back. Anyway, pick up all the debris that we left here when we were working upstairs and things started falling. Can't go in there, there's not enough. Ah. Cool. Ah, there you go. You won't go in there, right? Yeah, you won't go in there, there's not enough room. That one's running around randomly. Alright. This needs a cladding on the outside now so we can see better. Check this pipe out and go inside now. 35 kilopascals, so the, the pressure's dropping. Interesting. The pressure's dropped to 35 kilopascals. It was like, what, 40, 45 ish in that pipe? <coughs> um, temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. Um, 54 moles. Keep an eye on that. <coughs> If the moles are going down, then the CO2 should be being, should be being produced. Have a drink before the game complains even more at me? There we go. Okay. Um, put these in storage. Flat wall, geometric wall, steel sheets. And walls. There we go. <coughs> okay. Uh, silica, this way. I was going towards the ice cushion before I uh, realised it was the wrong direction to go. Okay. Mining belt. One. Oops. Go. Two. Go. Three. Go. Not making ingots, sadly. Okay, so it's too cold to make silicon. That would be my guess there. Um, what is the temperature for silicon? Anybody know? Anybody know? Silicon. Uh, the ingot, please. I don't know what the temperature requirement is. Okay, that doesn't tell me. Let's do this one. Station PDF, please. What is the silicon? Advanced furnace, there we go. Uh, 900, uh, 625 Celsius. To 100,000, okay, really, really hot basically, and 100 to 100. So it's easy to do, um, but just needs a temperature of 626 Celsius. So you need to sit higher. Your T dial, what's T dial? Temperature dial. Seven. Then let some more air in, right? Do not ask me how I do this. Um, I 
Can I see where the gases are? What's the default? How much gases are in here? There we are. Pressure is up, but I don't know where the gases are, so... <clears throat> yeah, I don't like it when toggle is not clearly like that. I uh, would prefer it to be what it is set to, not what it's set to, or state to. Yes, uh, when you like this one here. I can see it's green, I know it's on, but it says off. So if I click it, it turns it off. I don't mind it saying that, but I would like to say the current status as well. Um, You're the P down, pressure. I don't need to alter the pressure. The pressure's fine. Temperature I need to get up. I need to get the temperature up. So 600 is the display. Tap. Help. It's supposed to be automatic, but it's set to 600 and it's not at 600. That I can see. We're nice and hot. Pressure is pretty decent. If I vent with tank, cool. If I... Cool. That brings the temperature down pretty quickly. Do, 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 do. What's that one? That one is ink. That's the advanced furnace. It doesn't help me at all. Input that. That's the output. The input. There we go. Bring stuff in. Okay. I trust it. I trust it a lot. <laughs> uh, I just woke up, better get off and get him back to sleep. Have a good night, everyone. Good night, Romain. Uh, why is everything else open here? I don't need all of it open. Right, so that's the input. And that's the output. So if I increase that to, say, 20 litres... And then ignite. Multiple. Whoa! Okay. Okay. The needle went to red. We haven't saved in such a long time. Wish me luck. Cool. For God's sake, cool it down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, it says silicon now. It does indeed say silicon now. Pressure's coming down. Pressure's coming down. <laughs> oh god, it's making noises. So much noises. Forty-four megapascals. It's got a fifty megapascal limit for it explodes. Oh, we were so close to blowing up that that furnace. <laughs> These make no sense. They, they do not use these symbols. These symbols are horrible. I, I kind of get it now, but... Mm. I want a word when I put it there. I want a little pop-up to say, this is input, this is output. Even just in and out will do. Oh, God. Minor heart attack. You know what? Cool, all of that. Down to a decent temperature, and then I'm going to vent it into the air system. Because something's going to be nitrogen, right? Power, no. Yes. 
Yes, I'm aware. Uh, well, I wasn't aware. Was... Two mega pascals of uh, gas we can push into the uh, furnace room, into the, into the gas chambers. It's got, we've got to stop calling it gas chambers. It's got negative uh, connotations with that. The gas room or the gas fan. Um, has to be. Uh, we want the temperature to be lower. So I'm just I'm just bringing the temperature down. We have a cooling system at the back here that's uh, trying to cool. You can see the uh, the air molecules at the back there pushing out from it. Do, do, do. And that's been the pressure down by itself. We have loads of temperature. I don't want to melt smelt something. Anyone want to smelt anything? Anybody? Leave that for a few minutes to cool properly. It's uh, a bit warm in there. Do, do, do. Oh, well, I almost blew the base up. <clears throat> this is why I can't be trusted near furnaces, Cap. Right, battery low, it said. Uh, you know if you had a meter skull. I mean, we have meter skulls everywhere. <clears throat> Make us die two to three times and Caps died one or two times. Ba, 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 da, ba. Let's check on Cap. I can't do the filter anymore down here, so I'll just do it up here. Look for CO2. Still no CO2. <clears throat> okay. Still no CO2 in the in the pipeline. Wrong way. Um, that's all been okay. I'm pretty much doing maintenance now. Because um, I. <coughs> the one thing I'll do is I'll get a uh, window up top. Oh, the silicon came in. Damn it. That's just what I was doing. I was getting the silicon, wasn't I? For the, uh, for the windows above and for these two pieces of walling in. Alright. So I need two wall segments, two pieces of plastic, and two pieces of glass for those. And I also need. Other things, uh, two or uh, two pieces of plastic for the others. So, wall segments. No, they're flat walls. I want walls. Uh, steel sheets, steel frames, steel frames. Do we not have any actual wall ones? I don't think we do. Okay. <clears throat> so I need two walls. And plastic sheets. So they can be in the here now. Bend. 112 grams. Nice. Make me two, four, six in total. What I need. Bend, four, five, and six. Alright, glass we should have in stock over here. Now I just need two wall segments. <coughs> Wall segments. Put upstairs the glass, the plastic for these. So before we put these in, <coughs> let me jump up there. Oh, no, actually, it's going to be in the wrong place. It's going to be wrong side of some really complicated piping. Let's just put it in first. There you go. That's the one done. That room we're going to pretend doesn't exist. And the one on the other end is too far down the line to worry about. So we'll just, we can just take out this panel here. Above that door, I want a wall. <coughs> and it wants to be a composite window with plastic in the frame and glass in its frame. There we go. And that acts as a barrier up there. Air can still flow through between the two segments, but only through the door itself. <coughs> so that's the way I want it to be. Now, the, if you're wondering how the pressure is up there gets down here, um, anywhere where there's a staircase or a uh, an elevator, 
So basically right now these two rooms and the gas room will, will allow pressure to equalize. So I need one here. I want the crowbar. Pull that down. Same thing up there. So door is there. One window there. One glass frame. Um, glass sheet. That is now sealed. And put the plastic back up here. Here we go. Now, it does mean currently this side <coughs> doesn't have a way of venting the material. Um, and even does the other side take through because the, the farm. Right, nothing. That door there will be a pure seal, <coughs> and there'll be no way for the gas to get between the two if it wasn't for the fact that the gas farm is completely open inside. This section here has its top and bottoms equalized by the staircase here and the elevator shaft at the back of that room. This side, on the other hand, doesn't have a way around because uh, I don't think this one connects up properly. Let's have a look. Does this connect up? No, so there's, no uh, there's no way through here. And there's a, oh, actually, there's a vent there. So this will actually close. This would what would actually happen is when you go down with this room. I hate this. I hate these things when they're uh, going between multiple floors because I can't get off them right. So what's happening here <coughs> is if the pressure's too high up there, um, it will build up, build up. Let's see the temperature made it go out, get stronger. Especially if I vent the uh, hot gases with the pipe network. These pipes will get hot and it'll make it all bad. <coughs> what would happen is if pressure will build up until it blows something out. Um, there's no way for a gas to get from up there to down here. Uh, there's no way for that to happen. Uh, even in here, there's just no gaps. So we need to allow them to have a way to equalize. Now we could um, have the equalize here. And it actually makes the best sense. Um, so I'm going to remove the plastic from here. And I'm going to remove that one there. And kept in place. And I'm going to grind that down. Those are my personal inventory right now, and then drop down. There's something up there. A kid of some kind. Hi! A stacker. Random loose stacker. Right, then drop down. Let's drop down, please. Thank you. So, what I've done that for is when I replace this, there we go. If the top part gets too pressurized, the gases will come through. They'll come down this shaft here, through this, the girls are through the shaft itself, into this level, and then even if this door is shut, <coughs> the this vent here will allow the gas to move through. And I think that's a good idea on most places actually to have the vents above the doors. So if we do close the doors, they uh, actually get through. And that means I can, I can now happily seal this off without any any issues. There we go. Right. Uh, I know you are on the first uh, uh, staff traveling race civilizations uh, to plank the less race civilization by putting a joke structure on there. I don't know I mean, I, 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 I would love to. Alright, 239 degrees. Just to close that. Vent that. I should vent that into the waste pipe system. Right. Vent. Cool. Pressure doesn't appear to be going down. If I remove, oops. If I remove, remove this panel here. I can see the waste pipe. So if I can see the waste pipe, can I see the 
pipe, please? Pipe. I can see it's 36 PA. If I cut that pipe, right, we can see the pressure build up in the pipe, right? Right, put that far away. I want to make sure this is working the way I think it is working. If I cut that pipe, I don't want to cut it here. That, I need that one to see. Uh, so I'll cut that. That's fine. And now read that pipe. 36 PA. N2O. Two if I then pull that lever for one, two, three, four. Now read that pipe. It's now 4.3 kilopascals at 21 degrees Celsius. So that's 21 degrees Celsius, 4 kilopascals, and mostly N2. Actually, 15 moles of N2. Okay. So, put the pipe back in. That pipe will then pretty much empty. Almost immediately back into the thing. So, that means I can pull that lever until this, this place is pretty much vented and we're good. Okay. So there's a lot of millipascals of uh, pressure in here, and it mostly nitrogen, which is good for us because it means that we get more oxygen in the base. So I'm going to leave that venting for a minute or two. Uh, and that should vent into the nitrogen filters. Now, if this works the way I expect it to, if I close this, I'm going to stand over here. This vent, which are in 5.64 kilopascals, uh, we go zero point uh, with 17 moles. Can't even see the moles. Yeah, okay. I wish you could hold it a bit higher up so you could see the, the thing when you're looking up. <laughs> but that should bring us pressure in. That should increase the pressure in this room. 5.67 kilopascals. I probably can't look at the other stuff because they're not going to show any volumes. But if I pull the walling down. Oop, that wasn't a place to put it. If I pull that down a second. I should be able to read this pipe here, right? This pipe. No, I can't read the pipe. You know what I'll do? I'm getting bored of, uh, of the pipes being awkward. I'm gonna put a stub line here so I can I can analyze the uh, the pipe. I could put a pipe analyzer on there. Pipe analyzer would be good. Pipe analyzer would be better than putting the pipe there and reading it, wouldn't it? Uh, we don't have one uh, because we never we haven't needed one for such a long time. So I'm gonna make one. On. What's the, what's the pipe analyzer going to send me back? Uh, two gold, two electron. Gold. Electron. Pretty sure that said silver. Oh, it's that annoying thing where it's the next thing in the list is going to be electron, not the thing currently in the list. One gold. I need another bit of gold. 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 There we go. Make one. Pipe analyzer. Not the liquid one. Not the liquid one. Pipe analyzer. pipe there, pop that on that pipe there, which side's the power cable going on, that's fine, so I need to put a power cable to, whoop, up, 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 this side, okay, power cable to this side, 
Why are cutters required for this piece? Uh, can I get that wire? No, okay. We're going upstairs. Give me that cable. Go. Alright. I didn't mean to fall back down again. I'm going to go up there again, aren't I? into that there. That would be perfect. Thank you. Does that give me a reading on the uh, on the pipe itself? So we've got 55 kilopascals of nitrogen in that pipe. That's excellent. Uh, if I were to remove that vent, that'd be great. So I um, need the plastic, <clears throat> which I dropped in the cover, didn't I? Yep. To seal that up. So now I don't need to open the roof up every time I want to see the pressure. I can just point at that and say our... Uh, ooh, actually, let me label it. I can just point at that, you see. Um, Patmo feed pipe. There we go. <clears throat> so now the Atmos feed pipe says 55 kilopascals of nitrogen behind that pipe. That isn't bringing anything in. So, I'm going to grab a wrench, no, a wrench, go back, pull the roof down again, not for that same reason, for this, and why are you not venting into here, is my big question here, so, I'm going to make my life a little bit easier here, just remove that. Just make my life a little bit easier. That pipe is showing the room pressure. Okay, that is set to 55 kilopascals, that's 5 kilopascals, so if I remove that vent, we should see that pipe increase in pressure. The pipe immediately increased the pressure, in pressure. If you understand the practical joke, you can't be that bad at having that be. There you go, you see? Right. Um, Um, 55 kilopascal output into that pipe there. The pipe's at 100 kilopascals. You aware how they're supposed to work, right? I think you don't explode the base. You're a, you're a pressure thing. You're, you're a pressure, right? You're a back pressure. Oh, that wouldn't work. Uh, need a drill. You're supposed to be a pressure regulator, not back pressure regulator. That is a mistake on my behalf. If I'm going to rotate it, I'm going to rotate it around now and give it that annoying thing in the roof at the same time. Um, why could I? Thank you. Okay. Put this back in as a proper pressure regulator. Sadly, it's going to have to go that way up so we don't see it we don't want to be seeing the, the dial in here um, but it does make the power cable situation a little bit easier doesn't it um, so first of all we need to put a curve in there uh, there and there so we're going to need wire cutters so first of all curve cable into there curve cable out of that and then here we'll link it to it. There we go. So they're linked to each other now. And now we just need to set that. Wait a minute. I want to paint that properly. And that pipe. I need to check that pipe out in a second as well. So, oh. Okay. Paint you. Now. Um, put the paint away. And we want to 
Break cutters away, get the analyzer out. Analyzer says that is at 138 kilopascals. Put the vent back on there. Required support, so I can't do that just yet. So put the window back in. That's what he's basically telling me. Set this up in a minute. Um, you're going to the roof. You are supposed to be a type 1 wall, and you should be orientated that way. There we go. And now I can put the vent up there. That should immediately pump the air out of that pipe. You can see it immediately doing its stuff anyway. And that pipe should then meet this room's pressure, so there we go. Okay. Right up we go. Check the pipe. Yep, 5.9. Got some X in there now as well, because, you know, it had to, it had to appear somewhere, didn't it? At some point. Okay. Now, if we remove that, that vent now... That should set to 50. The goal is to set the base to 55. Now the farm is set to 60 and 50. So I'm going to set you to same. You should be aiming for 60. Turn that on. And now when I put this here, <coughs> that should climb slowly up to 60 and then stop. <coughs> That's what should happen. And this side should show the pressure going down, although the pressure's going up. The pressure's going up because more nitrogen's going into the system from somewhere else. The, the furnace is still venting, so it's being processed still. So that should go up to 60 and stop. When that does 60 and stop, <coughs> we can put the vent back on it and it'll vent into the room and the, all the nitrogen will come into the room trying to vent the room. Okay. Slowly, slowly climbing. Ba, 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 ba. But we, got, we have uh, 450 moles of nitrogen now, which is excellent. Do, 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 do. 54. Almost reaching the 60 requirement. They should stop dead at 60. <clears throat> they had some gases in from the room from earlier, so that's fine. I need to go check the other ones to make sure they're back pressures and probably turn them over so they're facing up into the roof. Okay, so it stopped it at 60 and the temperature is uh, slowly climbing, but it's not pressurizing anymore. So that's good. We can come back down from here now. Uh, we can put the vent back on. That'll vent immediately into the room. When that vents into the room, which it's doing now, it will uh, decrease the pressure in that pipe, which will then turn the pressure regulator back on again and it'll, the cycle will continue. 6.5 in there and it's 5.9 in here. So the base is trying now to pressurize to, to 60 pressure. Um, I can put the plastic back up now. So that's going to try to pressurize the base to 60. Um, what limit are the pipes? The pipes are uh, have a limit of 60,000 megapascals. So we're a little bit, we're at 60 and they've got a limit of 60,000. For the most part, the pipe should not have an issue. Honey Pepper, how are you doing? So this room now it should be pressurizing slowly. We're at 5.93 in here now. If I close this door, like oh, it's closed. Good. 5.93. If I close the door while we're going to investigate the, the system, this should hopefully be uh, done. Do, 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 do. You are. Uh, I'm going to double check these, make sure these are the right way around, and also probably rotate them actually. Uh, over here, we're still. We have a lot of gases, we're still venting. So I'm going to close that off. Uh, so I don't think it's a problem, and you are. Uh, if I turn you down to six again, which is what you were at originally. One thing I need to know is, is this burning fuel constantly? Or is it only doing it on occasion? Light up and... 
Do, do, do. I was trying to get advanced furnace set up with pressure temp re readouts, but I couldn't get the displays to work. Do we need to start the data disk into the console to continue with temp or something? Um, I have no idea. I didn't build this one. Uh, something I've been playing with called Captain Cars. He's he built this this machine. So I have no idea how it works. I almost blew the base up trying to smelt some silicon because I made the pressure barrier we were right up to the top of the red. So I have no idea. I know that I can alter that one it alters the pressure, alter that one it alters the temperature. It should be fully automatic. Um, but it wasn't the temperature wasn't going up, so I did some manual fiddle with this and I almost blew the place up. <coughs> uh, is that sixty thousand PA or KPA? So it's sixty thousand KPA or sixty MPA. So sixty MPA is the price pipe maximum. What I don't want to do is keep venting it and find out that it's actually uh, bringing air in. Okay. Open this door and see if the pressure in here has increased. So we're at 5.9. It has. It's not by much, but it's increased. Uh, you tell me you're at 64, and you're still increasing the pressure on that feed pipe as well. And the number of not moles is going up. So good, that's good. Uh, I want to run to the farm really quickly and see how much is in the waste pipe. Ba, ba, ba. I had logic readers, writers, but the consoles readouts weren't going. Um, I know for the... Okay, so I, I know about the consoles because they've been bugging me so much recently. Uh, one second. Uh, knocking that pipe, knocking that pipe, they go up here. Knocking that pipe there, they go to here. Knocking that pipe there, they go to here. That pipe is the wrong colour because it goes to the outside world and it's multicoloured because why the hell is it not colour coded the way we're supposed to colour code stuff? And that pipe there's all I care about. Nothing in it, good, okay. Nitrogen tank here says it's increasing pressure. Sun is up. That one is holding at 6.6 .6 MPA. <coughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, I thought you were about consoles. Right, the consoles. <coughs> um, you need a. You need an Atmo chip for the consoles. Um, so, what do we call it? Is it called Atmo chip? <coughs> um, pressure, pressure chip? I'll tell you in a second, I'll find it in the, uh, in the printout. Because I've, I've, I've not used them on that first, but I've used them in other places. Um, so, for the consoles, you need. Yeah. What's it called? Alright, you need a. Da, 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 da. You need a gas display <coughs> for. Yeah, they had the chips in it. Yes, yeah, so a gas display, set pressure. And then you put the once you've got them on the buff say pressure, you put the um, they put the chip inside the, the the memory reader, the floppy disk, and then you'll be able to pre program it to temperature for the one. For the display that shows you what you're smelting, you need the hash display. How you configure them, I haven't got a clue. Uh, I didn't make like I say I didn't make that particular uh, machine. I can actually look though. Where's my Copy this. I can look at the config that he's got set up. That would help. Let's see what the configs are set to. Where? There it is. Let's have a look. Let's go look at the configuration for you. Ah, so you put them on the bottom or the top. Um. I don't want to take the panel out, don't want to be out. Oh, they're on the side. Alright, you. <clears throat> so put the thing inside, set it to temperature by clicking the top if you want to. And he has it set to the advanced furnace. So he's got a cable going from the advanced furnace into the monitor, set to temperature and advanced furnace. On this one, it'll be the same but with pressure. So it's set to pressure at the top. And advanced furnace, yes. There we go. So you just press that bit there, it'll say temperature or pressure. 
And then the ingot one here has a hash display set up. And it's actually around and there's no configuration for that. There you go. Okay, do I do need so I do need it. Yes, you do need a data disk. You need the data disk um, in the temperature one to be able to press that button at the top. To just change it to uh, temperature. So I've set pressure displays before for pipes and stuff, but not for the furnaces. That's why I wasn't quite sure when you asked me. What are these? These are heaters and coolers I made earlier. We never needed the heaters. They were supposed to be the farm, but the farm actually makes its own heat. It's way too much. Uh, okay. i got a feeling that lung problem is never going to go away. If I take a tablet, will that help? I've never tried these things. Will they actually like heal me or will they not do anything? Okay, they heal me. That's good to know. So the tablets heal. Wrong button. I wish you could read this. I might have put a pipe analyzer on that as well. We up here every time to check the temperatures and CO2 levels. 35 kPa we're holding. And we've got 21 degrees degree Celsius. Okay. Apparently, uh, he doesn't uh, doesn't die, and he doesn't produce any CO2. Uh, on that, still using floppy disks instead of USBs. I know, right? I mean, the thing is, though, <clears throat> how would you make it look? How would you style a, a modern um, data cam? I mean, me, I would have to see. I mean, the other thing is, you're carrying tablets around. Why are we not linking them into our suits and having like a heads up display? Because uh, that's the kind of thing I want to see, where you wireless link up to something to go bloop, from your suit, or a chip is embedded into you. <coughs> right. Probably this uh, way better than your suits. Probably this are iconic. Literally to the point that they are the icon for saving. Okay. This needs isolating, but it's not a priority. What's the temperature in here today? Only 8 degrees Celsius, actually. Still 9 kPa, though. Wish I could pull that out. I'd love to know why it's not venting this room. It's set to the outbound. I don't know what happens if you put a disc in there. Redeem, save the game! Thank you. Uh, stream 2. Random bit of dirt in my uh, power room. Should it set that bound? Yeah, because, <clears throat> I mean, it, it says. It's green so it's on, and it says set, click to set off. That must mean it's set to outbound. But, I mean, that okay, that makes no sense. It definitely it was right around originally, but I flipped it. But here's the thing then. I thought, it just said set outbound when I put my cursor over it, didn't it? See, it says set outbound. Oh, they mean outbound as in blow air out of the vent, not out of the room. Ugh. Okay. Okay, I misunderstood the direction they were talking about. <clears throat> I thought. There we go. That room gets very, very hot when the, if the generator has to kick in. Da, 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 da. Hydrate, thank you. Okay, I want to get up there. I want to move those wind turbines. <clears throat> Can I get a readout on this wind turbine about its uh, what it actually generates? No. 
But if I get a configure chip, I bet it would tell me, wouldn't it? I bet he'll tell me uh, how much power that turbine's generating. <clears throat> Open. Open. All right. What are you producing? Nothing. You have a prefab hash, that is it. That is not helpful. You have a data port, why you got no data? What about the little ones? Do they have any data? Special Zack in there without having to open the window. Alright, let's open the window and see if we can push back. Got 2 kPa in here. Find a bit of debris. Let's take a flight. Get that glass, because I'm going to forget at some point. And I want the app analyzer. <coughs> I'm going to put myself in there during the day. And see if we get what the pressure's like in that room. Something shouldn't be that far before I thought. Is in. Put the console there. Do that. Pretend that wasn't the message about the power. Now I've got myself in here. Sun's about to come up. Right. <coughs> so, but that vent outside turns on, it'll start venting this room, hopefully. How does the debris still get in there? It. I think it's just another one we didn't get because there's. Uh, we had a lot of debris up here. I don't, think, I don't think we got it all on the first time round. Right, sun's up. Tracking's working. Power's been generated. This room should never even be invented. <coughs> 272. <laughs> Uh, I just use past events for my solo enclosure, not having that pressure attempts. True, I could just put a passive event on both sides. <coughs> we don't need to be vacuuming here, do we? Yeah, well, let's do that. Because the problem was I came in here and it was uh, over 300 degrees Celsius and that was the problem. That's why we switched to veteran to venting, but there's no need to actually vent it. We could just go down the route of uh, passive venting both sides. Come on, I just want to cycle the airlock. I don't want to take it back. <coughs> passive vent both sides of it. Um, I didn't put the glass back on, now we've got a storm coming. I need a passive vent. Trust us not to have one in stock, right? Right, 
event, wall heater, wall cooler, lights, okay. One passive event please, so I can get back up there and cover it before the storm arrives. Just a storm to come though, as I left a gap in there. I don't even know if I filled the gap in, I don't think I did. I thought, oh, I'll be back there in a second, it'll be fine. It's not gonna be fine. Do, do. Yeah, the, the, the largest for the rest of it is wonky. It is wonky though, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> I, I just like the ambiguity of some of the stuff. Did I pass this? I didn't, so it's a good job we came back anyway. Like, give me the drill. First. That doesn't need that there. Bye. That can go on there. Very quick wire cutter so I don't think that that, some, that the passive engine is actually powered. There we go. And then a sheet of glass in there. There we go. The last one's got a little uh, solar thing in there as well. Alright, let's grab the vent and head back inside. Ah. So what I want to do is want these wind fans, I don't think they're working very well there. <coughs> See, when we when we originally built them, um, there wasn't this wall at the side of them with the solar panels on top. Um, so I think the uh, they may be getting blocked now. By the by that, so I need to move those. I was thinking about maybe just putting them down the layer, so the wind can still blow through. I don't know if that would work very well. I hate that power cable floating as well. All right, let's get in. <coughs> So close that. Just want to see if the room actually is ever so slightly pressurizing or not. We have 71 kPa of uh, nitrogen though. <coughs> We're putting nitrogen from somewhere at a decent rate. Um, okay, let's put the glass away, put all the stuff away. Glass. The active vent. We should have an active vent in here, wasn't it? There. Wall kit can go over here with the other wall kits. The stacker can go in with the other circuit, with the other kits. The paint. Oh, we haven't got space in the paint box for that paint, so that can go in there. The config chip can go with the other chips. Uh, the cable usually goes over here, so cable. And we'll go recycle that debris. Two, two up here. Five point one five, five point one two. Why are we losing pressure? Temperature twenty one point six, five point one two. Uh, wait, Pete, I had an idea. Oh, oh, what? No, seriously, why? <laughs> because uh, the things are good. Five point one three. So this should be increasing in pressure. I know you're increasing the pressure, because you tell me you're increasing the pressure. But at a quite decent rate. <clears throat> and we should be bringing that nitrogen into the base. But I don't think this is working. 5.74 in here, 5.15 in here. So that's working, but it's coming in slowly. Throw the debris into the furnace. Not a bad idea. Okay, we'll give that a try. Let's time we find some debris. Maybe the vent's just too slow. Maybe if I put some more vents on you know, either side of this, just to like, even if it's only temporary, just to sort of increase the speed. 
Give me two more passive minutes. I'll put one either side. <clears throat> we put passive bit on all sides. Increase the rate that can, that can happen at maximum. I need a fight. Fight. Purple fight. Need the wrench. Probably won't make a difference, like, but hey. Why not try, right? That back there. We're at 581, the room here is at 52. Uh, put the plastic back in the roof. <coughs> 583, 584 in the pipe. And the room is 527. So the room's actually uh, increased a decent amount. Uh, it was 52. And over here it'll be lower, most likely. And we are running a pressure uh, back pressure uh, pressure regulator. We have a fair amount of uh, nitrogen though, that's the good news. I should put a um, I should put a logic driven um, volume pump <coughs> on that pipe. That says if the pressure drops below, say, 50 kPa, it pumps the volume pump into here just to push it rhythmically. It's not a bad way of doing it. Because these are passive way of doing it, right? 588, the room is 527. <coughs> Should we do that? A bit of logic that says if the pressure is. We've got, we've got a place for a logic, right? We need a reader to read off of a. The gas, the gas sensor in the room. Alright, okay. so we don't put it up room there. Do we have room on this side? I don't think we do. I do upstairs. We do upstairs. We have loads of room upstairs. <coughs> but we could have a, have a gas reader <coughs> to read the, the air pressure. Then we could have a reader to read from it, a memory to set the target pressure, a writer that set a, a math processor to make sure they're correct, and then a Right, it's turn a volume pump on or off. I have a volume pump somewhere. Digital valve. I have a volume pump somewhere. Volume pump? There. Uh, we want wire, cable coils, there we go, and they're not in the right colour but they're close. In fact, let's get the blue. There we go. Oh, we have a space in the paint thing. Someone took a paint colour or ran out of one. Like that. Um, we need a bullet pipe. Uh, put those in there so they colour with the purple, colour with the atmo. Um, they can pop into the same vent as these, that's not an issue. Um, we don't need the three pipes, I'm aware of that. I just put Put them there to see if we can increase the speed at which it would come in. Do you mind affect the back pressure that was the issue? Okay. Um, memory circuits. We're going to need memory circuits and other stuff. So what do we have in the programming side? We have memory. We only need one. We've got three memory. We're not doing the IC stuff yet. Okay, so we don't have the other stuff required. Oh, no, maybe. Logic processors there. Kit I.O. there. Okay, I think we actually have everything, everything we need. No, we don't. We need a we need a we need a sensor for the thing. I believe we've got one of those in stock so we're over here. Uh, sensor. We have everything we need. <coughs> now where would we put the sensor? I'll run the sensor off the roof up here. It'll be a little interesting piece to do, so if I put to that out. If I take the plan here then would be <coughs> Take these out. These aren't, aren't needed. They were just an experiment and we know the answer now. Right, uh, put that pipe back on there. There we go. 
Okay. Now, um, put that back in there so I can pick the vent up. I have to go into the pipe slot. Alright, we can put another analyzer on that if we wanted to. We can read it from an analyzer. Or we can do it from a gas sensor. I think the gas sensor would also give us temperature for the room so we could actually display it if we wanted to. Uh, and other stuff for the room rather than the pipe. So that might work better for this particular use case. <coughs> so, let's get the sensor installed. Now, if you're going to put a sensor, it wants to be a gas sensor, and we want it to be probably, actually, probably over this side of the room, sort of as far away as we can get for the best uh, result, right? And there's a power cable we can be using for it. So yeah, and then, okay, gas sensor goes here. Uh, put it there. Power cables. And there. Power cables. Would go up. And hopefully splice with that cable if we can reach it. I can't reach it. Okay, going up. It's coming down again. Power cable for the gas sensor. Goes there. And you'll need a name. Labeler. Uh, not on me. Labeler. Labeler. Hi. Your gas sensor production. There we go. <clears throat> okay. You are all set up. Put the plastic back in the roof now. Hunger. Caution. And if you needed to now, um, we can display the temperature and the air pressure in this room if we wanted to now. <clears throat> Not just in here, but in like we could have, an, we could have a, an ops room, which I think I was thinking. We can make in this sort of area the ops room, where we have a bunch of sensors that show all the different rooms uh, air pressures. But anyway, but we have uh, we have a circuit area to play with now. Uh, we have the other side as well, but that was I did. Uh, a bit busy with this. We're going to leave this side alone for now. On this side, though, we're going to set up a little logic thing here <coughs> that basically says, in the event, and this will be connected to the purple network, so we need to pull the flooring and grab a, the cable up for it. But I would say, in the event that the um, <coughs> that that is wrong, then we'll do this. Uh, and I want this logic. This is going to be just a piece of logic to rapidly increase pressure in this room if the pressure if this room drops. As this is the master room that will vent to all of the rooms. That's the idea anyway. Okay, um, so I haven't got the volume pump installed. That makes life that a little bit harder if I don't actually install the thing we need to install to do the job. Crowbat. Put the cables in the, that slot. Take that up. Okay, so I'm going to need a volume pump and some pipes, get it all plumbed up. Um, I wanted to go to that, so I want to be on this side. I want the volume pump to pretty much run side by side with that, I'd say, actually. Because the, what we do is we put the pipe um, here. Put the pipe here. Curve. There. There. And we run. Can't go through that because there's, there's something else. That's a. We don't even need that. Why is that even here? Wrench, 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 wrench. That was there from from history. Damn it! I'm going to put it through the floor. All through. Damn you. All through. <laughs> Yay! All right, that was from before. Before we had the, uh, the water pipe coming in here. I'll leave you alone. All right. So now we can bring this pipe across here. To there. Okay. Now we can put the volume pump in. 
Now, the volume pump to go the right way, but I need it to be facing the right way. Uh, sad that it means it's going to have its power cable blocked by that one. Ah, damn it. Okay. Got to go over here. Just because of the power cable. Do, 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 do. There we go, and we'll set your. Is it 200 liters? No. We'll set it to 50 liters, will be more than enough. Um, power cables. Right. So we'll send you to the same power cable over there. And you wank us for that. Go, and then you. Oh, curve. Thank you. You go there. I got connected. Now we need a labeler, which apparently I didn't bring with me. Labeler. Hi, labeler. Eight cables might not be enough cables. That's heavy cable, that's also heavy cable. We'll probably need to make more cables, but we'll do that when time comes. Okay. Uh, labeler. Volume pump. Production. The blue cable, in case you're wondering, this purpley blue cable anyway, is um, uniquely set for this, uh, this room. The, the, for the atmospheric, it's nothing to do with anything else and doesn't connect to anything else. The blue cable in the background, that's blue, and this is purple. It's very different color. You can tell it's, it's mildly different. All right, plastic. That out. There we go. So that we can turn that on when this room pressure drops below. We'll set a target value. But that should be all the. Materials in. Now we've got to set the logic up. So, logic. Let's start. We'll start with the logic processors. What are these? These are going to be the maths. I need the logic compare. And we'll use a compare unit. <coughs> um, we'll use a compare unit to make sure that we. Our reading value and our. Um, our reading value and our um, output value. Math, the memory unit is, is correct. I'll put it there for a moment. We'll need an IO chip. Uh, this one will read in from the gas sensor, and this one will um, write to the volume pump, and the memory. We'll sit over here. And the memory's job is. Don't think where the best metal is. There. The memory's job is just to uh, provide the value with the target pressure rank. Okay. So we want the target pressure to be around 50 kPa. But I'm going to set it to lower to start with. So we'll set it to like 6 kPa. Which is 6,000 pA, by the way. For those wondering why I've taken it to that much. Alright, uh, then we need cables. Then we need a lot more cables because 8 is not going to be enough. Because we need at least that there. Then we'd need that to that. To that. In here, we're going to need. Also, oh, no, not that one. There's nothing. There's no feed in the bottom of that one. So just, a, just that. That's the minimum. Just to link those. I'm not even linking each other yet. And that one's not powered. These aren't. Yeah, so we need a lot more cables. <coughs> you, you, you go to storage. Cables. Make cable. 
I'm going to need to go on the roof to run some of the cable, most likely, as well. So I'm not clashing with anything up there. <coughs> we get the purple paint. I saw that. Wired up, and then get the other thing, and then get the program. And we'll see if it actually works by it turning on and off the thing at the right time. Okay, um, I mean, these aren't the right color, are they? No, they're not. They should have been purple. That's one way of doing it. I thought you'd have to cut them and replace them or paint them, but that'll do. Okay, so that needs to that one. Need to come underneath here. Do you need to go to that? No, there's no input to that. Okay, straight forward there. Uh, up this piece, like off. Can you see what I'm doing? There. There'll be a junction here. Junction there. Uh, yes, junction there. And up in the roofing, which one? Corner. There. Then we need a junction here. Then up here we'd need a standard um, corner, and I don't like the fact the light's flashed. Because the lights are uh, on a different circuit. <coughs> a very, very different circuit. As in, if the right, wrong circuit there is taken, we could get a blowout <clears throat> because uh, there's two. If they if they link to each like a feed they just did, there's a uh, there's two two um, tran tran two fingers on it. Did you link to the blue line? You did link to the blue line. Okay, you can't do that. That's that's not a thing you're allowed to do. Stop doing that. Um, you need to go the other way. You can't go that way. Stop it. Stop it. Not allowed. Not allowed. Stop it. Okay. You can have a junction. Go that way. You don't get a junction. You get it turned down. It goes there. That's going to be all that lot. You can go this way. And you, you will need blue cable. So we'll just pop that on the floor for a second. Pick you up. So you're blue now, and you can go this way. Now I am aware it's dangerous, and because it's our first actual dangerous one, I might start put a fuse on this system, so we don't uh, have blowouts. We've always been safe before, but now we're getting two networks very close to each other. We need a fuse on the network, so if that happened again and we did blow it, we'd be good. Pete, the other cable you place is also blue. In the half floor. Uh, okay, I'll thank you. I'll go and get that one as soon as we're done here. I'm gonna go down there to get the uh, cable up here anyway, so I'll reset that down there. But yeah, we need to set a fuse on this cable somewhere, probably back at the, uh, the power building. And this one needs a fuse on it to somewhere as well to make sure this doesn't burn out if we connect them together. Okay, I think we're good up here. Should be no need for more cable up here from these. That's just needed because of that one there. Okay. Whee. Whee. Get a drink on the way back in, cause uh, yes, fluids. Actually, I want, to get, I, want to get, I want to get close. I want to see how well it's doing at pressurizing. Um, yeah, stop. They're happy. Right, give me the that thing for a second. 
5.63. Okay, so it's been pressurizing the base, this room slowly. It's just very slowly. Right, go for powdering this time around. Okay, next up, suit power is low. I've been ignoring it for way too long, apparently. And now we're gonna go into the roof in space and link that cable. And apparently, you got. The, oh, yeah, I can see it. I saw the color difference just then. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna crowbar up this panel again so we can drop down and we can do the changes. So I was gonna do it from the other side uh, because I'd need to be on the other side. But since I got the power cable the wrong color, I will drop down here and fix the power cable at the same time. Wire cutters and new cable. Um, any of you blue? You're purple. Okay. Drop that on the floor because I know that's blue. Cut that. Pick up that. Pop that back in. And these should all be the wrong colour by the look of that, so... You. 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 Good. Good. Uh, you... You. And you. You should be the last one's the wrong colour, right? There we go. Should really pin that as well, shouldn't I? Uh, Jacob, uh, will you be streaming tomorrow? I need to get some sleep, and I hope to see you stream tomorrow. Uh, I will be streaming tomorrow, but most likely not this game. <clears throat> um, we're going to be. Um, I don't want to play. We play community games on uh, on Saturday if we can help, if we can. But uh, we definitely are going to be streaming tomorrow. Although we may play this if we think if people want to see this. There we go. That's purple as well. Right, that's the purple cable there. I need to get that purple cable linked up to that purple cable without going near these blues. And unfortunately, this one room has to be the one that's the most confusing because it has the blue and purple, which are very similar colors. Right, cool. Have a good day. Good night to yourself. Uh, what time is it anyway? It's 5 a.m. Yeah, okay, I do need to be going to sleep soon as well. Um, put this power cable through that pipe. Then it'll be more of a reminder that it's purple. Look, see? Purple. Da, da, da. Ten hours, wow. See, normally I would have stopped when uh, Captain Cost stopped. Um, but I chose to keep going because, well, A, I can, and B, I want to uh, get this piece done. I want to set the, I wanted, the main thing, I wanted the pressurization running. Right? I've been waiting for so long to do this. There we go, and that should be able to go straight up into that one there. There we go. <coughs> that circuit is now linked. It's all good. And we need to make some fuses, because that's going to be a problem in the future, isn't it? But yeah, the main reason for this... Um, the main reason for the longer stream is I want to get this up and running now. But earlier it was the other stuff. Right, so. Logic Reader, you had to read uh, from... No, we're from the gas. Gas, gas, gas. Gas, 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 gas. Go, the gas sensor production. You had to read the... Pressure. Pressure. Okay, you read the pressure. And you're reading zero right now. Hang on. You're reading five right now, okay? <clears throat> and you see how it is increasing. So the pressure in the room is increasing. Now, the compare unit, you're reading five. So, oh, you, you have to do it in killer, you actually do it in killer uh, pascals, not in pascals. Okay, so you need to be adjusted then. Because um, we, we want you to be much lower value then. So we need to be, your target is anything below 40, right? Anything, the, the target is, is 60 with an outbound of 50. Um, you're going to be set to 40. Your job is to bring up the pressure if lower. Actually, you know what? No. Your target is 50. You're going to be called um, Atmo, Atmo, Low, um, Target, Memory. At more low target memory. So if the atmos low, you're the you're the target. You are our atmo 
slow reader. You're the Atmo low writer. And you will be our Atmo low compare. Right, so they're all set. So now we can find them easier. So you, you will read the value. You will read that value and that value and compare them. So you will read Atmo low reader and Atmo low memory target and you will compare them and what we want to know is uh, there we go is is that one less than that one and this is yes yes it is and if that one that one is less than that one then you will read from the compare you will read from the compare and you will tell the volume pump production <clears throat> um, you put the the one to the on value so you're gonna to to pick that one up there you go so that volume pump should now be on and you should be reading a increase in pressure yes and it's a much higher pressure than before <clears throat> So if we go you go downstairs really quickly, we already see that we're increasing pressure very, very quickly now. That's a 7.5 and that's increasing pressure pretty rapidly now over there. And our pressure, the room's pressure is increasing pretty rapidly and you should now be going down I would expect. Yes, because we're pumping that, that into this room now. <clears throat> so the amount of nitrogen in the tank is going down. Okay, that's perfect. That should bring this room up in pressure pretty quickly. <clears throat> to and it might, it might even hit the uh, the, the threshold. Um, the target is is fifty. The pump is on. Uh, so the target, our target right now is fifty. We're reading six, so we're way below that. But I'm actually what I'm going to do is as a test. Set that to 10. We're at 6 right now. You know what? Set it to 7 as a, as a test run. 6.8 right now. Volume pump is on. Pressure reading is 7.7 .7 over here. Around this side of the room, where the thingy is, is 6.98, 6, .98, 6 .98, and then 7. Right, you read 7 now. That should turn that volume pump off, right? Ah, oh. It's off. Alright, now there was a good 5 or 6 kPa difference between those two. So we don't want you set that high, is what I'm learning. So we'll set you to. I think it's 50, right? So we'll set you to 40. 45. There we go. And that way, we should be having a better, better readout. So you can close. We don't need you open. We're just going to be careful. If we do any logic in here, we don't use that middle beam because of these. Uh, where's the labeler? Atmo. Control. And we should name this an ammo control as well. So it's uh, ammo control cover. Okay, so these two are uh, limited to ammo control. Pressure is at 6.4 and increasing. And that vent is now pumping out 8. Pressure is increasing very nicely now. Uh, so it's going to try and get itself up to 20. It's not going to reach up to 50. It's not going to get to 50. But it's going to try. I can open this door now. 
then air will flow into the rest of the base. And basically, we're going to constantly into the, empty the nitrogen tank in the in an attempt to get this place uh, to the right pressure. That, bring, that should bring this entire base up to a decent pressure now. Uh, Cap is still not producing any CO2, funnily enough. Although, again, that pipe's still showing the really low value, but... Hang on a minute. His eyes are open. He's not sleeping. He's just laying down on the job. But yeah, 34 kPa though. That is pretty good. Temperature only 19.6, which is what the room temperature is. So as long as the base doesn't set on fire, it's pretty good in there. I am tempted to put a pipe in there so I can uh, read it easier. I have pipe. I could just paint a piece of it in white. Uh, set the base on fire. <laughs> Sadly, joyous right now, we only have 0 0.01 moles of oxygen. So we're not at the uh, pressure allowance. Uh, not the pressure. The, um, we haven't got the oxygen in the base yet to uh, to do that. That must be a thingy pipe. I may not be able to do that. See, so I can put these. These are no problem. But that fact that goes red like that, that tells me that's a insulated pipe. Cap must have made both of those insulated pipes. Do I have any insulated pipes in stock? Probably not, and they're not had to make one. Insulated pipe, make one silicon and steel. Those things we have. You have silicon in you, because I've met put in there, and you also have steel in you, so even better. Hunger critical. Hunger critical? Hunger critical. There you go. Right. Uh, thank you for the steel and thank you for the silica. Much appreciated. Right, you'll need painting as well because it's uh, comes out orange. Nuke instead then. Yep, there you go. Uh, give me a bend on the pipe. Put the pipe bend that way, yep. Thank you. Light on. That means I can I can uh, read that pipe then. So oxygen, 100% oxygen in that pipe at 19.6 Celsius, which is good. Got to keep an eye on the temperatures. Gases do, some gases do have a, uh, a problem. Um, Oxygen, 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 oxygen. Uh, so we find a bit in these gases, these things. A specific heat is 21.1. Don't know what that actually means. Specific heat. Ratio oxygen? Ratio oxygen, you know, yes, that's not helpful. Um, okay, how about fire? There's a fire alarm. We should definitely have a fire alarm. Oh mate, fire arm, um, not alarm. But it's an SMG, so hey, we can build an SMG, right? It's quite simple though. So if I then need to go to the wiki again and ask her for how to deal with fire. So how you oxygen? Oh wait, why? Do, 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 do. There we go. Oxygen known as O2 is basically gas for spiral. Oxygen has a big heat of 21.1 joules. Uh, it's produced by plants. The main use is to stay alive, either the ambient the whole uh, helmet is open. Um, it's just combustion in the furnace. It doesn't actually mention anything about the, t the fire. 
So maybe you don't. Maybe you need oxygen for a fire, but it doesn't actually give you fire. Right, four point seven in there. Five, six. In here we're rolling six point eight and increasing six point eight seven. And the thing is going down. We're still volume pumping into this room. Okay. So we've got to pump all of the uh, nitrogen into the, into the room through that pipe there. <coughs> but we are 21 moles of nitrogen right now. 22 for sitting down underneath the vent. 710. 22 at 710. 7.9. Pressure went down. Why did the pressure go down? Pressure's going down. Seven point seven, seven point six. Yeah, the pressure's going down in this room now. Interesting. Uh, can you move the sleeping pods? Well, they, no. If you find that they will just pop out and then they'll still die from the uh, exposure. There we go, going up now. I wonder why it was going down, it's weird. Should we go get some uh, more nitrous in my uh, tank before I think. I'm gonna close this door though. So when we come back, we can see how much it's increased by. We can go into the farm in a second as well, just to test it out. Um, let's just read this pipe. This pipe says we've got 15 kPa there. This says we've got 6 megapascals in there. And I can drop that into there. Hear the machines out there. You hear them humming. Never heard them hum before. Okay, let's move into the farm really quickly. Still close that door so we don't pressure it too much. But this room is at 51 kPa, 28 degrees Celsius. Currently holding its own on the temperature wise. Let's see if any plants are taking damage though. We need some plants to have some damage in. Right, these are all looking good. No damage on the plants. Right, then we take these plants now. So the potatoes have all got a three harvest, and this one here has a one. Yes, yeah, so you have to fully, uh, you have to fully do them. There we go. All right, and the pumpkin is, uh, yep, yeah, all harvested, all harvest, all harvestable. Perfect. We need more plants <clears throat> because we are uh, using the plants to create the oxygen, which we will use eventually. There we go. But why it would be so much fun moving cat to some random place while he sleeps? <laughs> if you could move them, and you, if you could, um, if you move that, if you dismantled that, he would pop out, grab him by the ankle, for example, and take him somewhere yeah it could be fun the downside however is his helmet's open so he would suffocate immediately and if you need even if he didn't suffocate um his suit battery would run down or his hunger levels would drop yeah it'd, it'd, it'd be bad for him in the long run okay you're targeting 33 i believe yes Good. all right let's have a look shall we 6.85 
And over here we get to 7.62. And that tank is almost totally empty. <coughs> I mean, we are venting the nitrous into this uh, environment in the hopes to produce a, not necessarily breathable just yet, but an atmosphere. <laughs> what we should do, actually, maybe have the, target, the current target lower <clears throat> than the 50. Um, as really the goal initially is just to get the pressure up and then add oxygen to the mix later. And if we do add oxygen to mix later when the whole base is at, say, 50 or 60, we have to extract the nitrogen, put oxygen in, and then we'd be tanking a lot of nitrogen. So it's probably a better idea to have that nitrogen setting a lot lower. Maybe we set it uh, to a lower value. So instead of 45, we'll set it to 30. Right? And that way, <coughs> when we start putting oxygen in, um, we'll increase that value. And the oxygen will come in uh, mix. Okay. There we go. Still got a long way to go. The uh, nitrous tank and nitrous processing is going to take a long time to even try and catch up. See, the goal is to have the oxygen and nitrogen in that pipe mixed at source, and then the pipe would be a, a hybrid, would be a perfect mix of what we want. I think the sleeping pod sh uh, should have a handle on it and they have limited power yet to find you can move it. Yeah, it'd be fine if you to move the pod itself with the person in it, that'd be great. Alright, out of curiosity, what would it cost for me to make a hard helmet? Because I damaged my helmet earlier. And I feel like we should have a better quality helmet. Uh, Sterilite, which we don't have Sterilite or Astrology, so we haven't got the materials to use it yet, so that's that's the downside. The hard suit on the other hand... Oh, no, actually, we may actually have some around. Sterilite and Astrology. Astroly. Okay, Sterilite and Astrology. Let's check the uh, dispenser. Sterilite and Astrology. Yeah, we don't have any in the stock. Why are these lights not on? They have power. I cut their power cable early, but I reconnected it, didn't I? Storms on the horizon. Let's go nosy. I was 95% sure I reconnected that power cable. Okay, these lights. Connect through that, to that, to that, to that. And this is all not powered either. Ooh. I must have severed a cable that was critical to something. Okay, there's a cable it's missing somewhere, probably here. Right, so first of all, wire cutter. You need to get the colour right. That's a wrench. Wire cutter. Okay. And then bring that to there. Right. Put that back. And I bet there's a cable right here. Yep, and see all the lights came on immediately. <laughs> Alright. Well, good, there's no storm coming. Because uh, that would have been interesting if the storm came while we were not plugged into the storm system. Uh, put you down there. 
put you back up there, and you back here. All right. Whee. I thought it was open for a second then, because of the because that one was open. All right, let's head back in, <clears throat> and let's get some fuses because I'm 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 really worried I'm gonna put a wire somewhere and then blow a fuse. But because there's no fuses, we'll end up blowing the power cables. <clears throat> Fuses. I'm going to need fuses uh, set to 5,000 watts. Um, <clears throat> so I need cable fuse. Make me. Ooh, I need iron. Make me a few of these fuses as well. Have you got iron in you? No, but you are finding the thing you do. Iron's always the last one out to get stuck in the ejector. Make me two of those right now. These are the only two places, this is the only place, sorry, and these two cables are the only two right now that are close enough to each other to be an issue. That's why I'm doing them both here. For you, <coughs> uh, I'm going to do one at the power supply, because that's where its uh, fuse would go. Because it's got here, that's its outbound cable for power generation. So you can have a fuse there, or in the wall here, but I don't want it in the wall because I can't see it. I'd rather have it here. And you need to be 5 kilowatt because that is what we're outputting from this box. 5 kilowatts. Is there a rotation on it? That way. Okay, I can see that it's got a fuse. I can see the fuse is intact. I can't do anything with the fuse because it's on the other side, technically. But I can see it's got a fuse. Alright. <coughs> Next thing is. Oh. Uh, in the production building where we came from, we've got to make sure that the blue cable doesn't break anything. And behind this wall is where the power comes in. So can I put the fuse here? It may not let me do it here <coughs> because of the mess. Yes. Yeah, so there's no way to get a fuse on that, is there? Oh, I could. Alright, we'll put it there because it comes off that power box, so. Um, Rotate it so I can see the fuse. There we go. Put the fuse there. That's a one kilo fuse, right? I put the wrong fuse there, didn't I? Oh no, it's a five kilo fuse. I thought I put a one kilo fuse there. That would definitely pop if I put one kilo there. All right. All right. <clears throat> uh, what I should do really is tidy this up so that the fuse doesn't have branches coming outside of it. Let's, let's do that. Wire cutters, first of all, give me that wire. Okay. First of all, give me the grinder. We'll remove this wall panel. Then we'll give me the wire cutter. And I'll remove that one. As it's not needed for this purpose. And that one. And what we'll do is we'll put that junction uh, going over here. Wait. Okay, <clears throat> that gives us the connection there. That means we can take this up. Uh, I need a crowbar for the floor. Um, that powers the door most likely. So, I don't know where you go to as well. So, power cutters. I need to make sure. I'm, all I'm doing for people wondering is I'm moving this around so that the uh, power cables don't get mix everywhere. So I'm going to dig that up. That's going to kill something. I'm going to dig that up. That's going to kill a lot of things. Put it back that way on. Then we back on again. Dig that up. It's a corner it said, so that's good. That means I can put the corner back in there. Dig that to that. That's the door back on. And there was something down there that was disconnected. It's you. Are you all offline now? You do look like you're all fine now. So you're probably all pulling from that cable that went that way. Okay, so the cable down there. The cable there. I'm going to dig into that floor for a second. So put you. We'll cap you anyway just yet. There you. Go. There. 
push you there. Then put you there for a second. And then the wrench. Alright, yeah, that answers that question. The cable will drop down a little bit further. Okay, so I need to move the freight simulator. God, I'm going to move everything, don't we? Need the wrench. Wrench. The power cable needs to be moved. Wire cutters. Ugh. Go there. That power cable needs moving. And there. Uh, you can go that way. No. Go into the. No, into there. Go up. There. And then you can connect to that cable. There. Perfect. And then we can weld it back up again. There we go. Power cable pick up. That's all been reconnected apart from that one. There we go. Uh, drop that on the floor. Pick that up. Put that back down here. Pick the fight switch up. Put that back here. Okay. Put the wall back in place. God, this looks so long to do. Put the wall back in place. Give it a type 4 wall that way. Uh, plastic. Um, plastic. Can't see the fuse, but if it does blow, we can take the wall off and see the fuse, so that'll help. Alright, pick you up. Okay, we're all good. Let's start putting stuff back into the walls. Power cables. Power cable. Uh, none of you go in there. Uh, all the logic stuff in this one. Logic. 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 And then the vent. Go over here. Until we can sort it out properly. We need to, talk, we need to sort this room out. I keep saying that. Uh, you go over there. You go there. You go there. Okay. So far, so good. What are we at right now? That's a network analyzer. We're at 641. Okay. We have 20 moles of nitrous uh, here. The analyzer says that the tank is almost empty, which is better that it's emptying into the base than it's the holding it in the, in the tank. So I think we're doing good there. All right. And the temperature is 24 degrees Celsius because the more air we have, the well, the uh, hotter it can transfer the heat. Uh, and you're still, I'm guessing, not going to carbon dioxide in there. Really, really strange. Oh, I need um, I thought about these. I need one, two, three, four railings so we don't fall off of that all time. Four railings. Kit railing. They are made of iron and they'll be iron in one of these machines. You have iron. He can grab you. Took you in there. That worked well. Took you in there. Take you in there. Make me some railings. Oh, you made four, I think you. You made three. They make fast. They're, they're pretty quick to make. All right, let's go. Now, how do these look? We got that kind of railing and that kind of railing. Type one, type two. We have four types. Uh, do we want the wire-based ones or the pole-based ones? Well, they look more like stuff you put on the street side, and they look more like stuff you put around a farm. Um, I'm not sure what I would want up here. I 
That puzzle could be nicer than that, doesn't it? Ah, look on the sleeper. There we go. Yeah, I like the look of that. It looks pretty good. And you don't fall off. You can jump over a bit. Oop. Oop. No, you can't jump over. Your head hits the roof. Ooh. That, I don't like that. They, uh, they cross over badly. Hand drill, thank you. They, they, the colour is different. That, that's black and that's grey. Brown screen. So the, we need to have the same type. Long bars. Boop, there we go. And no Z fighting. It was Z fighting before, no Z fighting now. Perfect. All right, I think we're hitting the uh, the target. I think we hit the limit now. Ooh. Before we go that way. Before we log off, let's take a look at the uh, battery situation. Because daytime's just came. Okay. You're looking good. You're looking good. You're looking good, and that one's pretty. We need to put the bigger batteries in here. I don't like the small ones. Let's decide like that. And you're good. Okay, so all of them are fully charged. You are, and you're on the way to charging, and you are on your way. Yeah. We do it. We're, we're looking, looking pretty good. Power is not low. Batteries are full. We just checked them. All right. So I am going to come over here. Say so you have got a little bit of left pressure left in there. This room is at six point something. Uh, it's good. All right, up we go. Do, 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 do. And the base is looking pretty decent. Um, I'm trying to think of the... See, normally I stand here and look out, but there's nothing over there to look out anymore. We took it all down. Um, this room is in the middle of the base. So all, its view is basically of corridors and, and the wall. Um, but generally, I'm happy with the build so far. I think it's I think it's looking really nice. That needs moving from over there to over here. It needs vent. That needs venting. Uh, it looks like it's got quite a bit of pressure in it. But it's, it's like it's halfway through the green. But uh, it's not a problem. We'd be into here and get rid of the X a little bit if it has any X after that. would be nice. Get rid of. Um, yes, I said I usually spawn out here, but I think what we should do is we should go into the sleeper room, which spawn out spawn there. As it is, not only because it's the newest one, because it is the sleeper room. So, and we also want to put a battery charger over there. Other options, by like 2 kPa. It's a bit low. Let's top up our oxygen, get rid of our waste tanks before we uh, sign out, and then we'll be good for the day. Thank you, wife, for all the links. Much appreciated. Just want to make sure I'm in a healthy situation. So waste tank goes into waste tank. Waste tank critical. There we go. Waste tank is done. And if I was to flush my helmet, yep. and then check the tank now. O2 and CO2, pretty much as expected. Okay. Okay. And when you hit flush, it puts all of the uh, gases into your waste tank. Uh, if I put O2 tank in there, let that top up. We have 2.5 for O2. Um, There's not pressure regular on that. So, um, no, no, just go straight into the big tank. Okay. If the big tank hits 60k, we uh, our O2 tank would explode. Just uh, 
nice little fun thing there. It needs a um, pressure regulator, like we've got with the, nit with the nitrous over here. That says basically top it up to six, not all there. This room has a sound now. You hear it humming. Passive vents, pipes, atmospherics, party vents. Yeah, we got, we got some stuff in here. Close this up. <coughs> okay. What is that vent for? Oh, it's the cap used to vent the room. Okay. Alright, I think we've done some good room. We've not fully pressurised, but we are way on the way to pressurising fully. Um, I think we need to get more O2 into the base. That, I keep looking at that. I'm not, gonna, I'm, I'm not getting it, so. There we go. Into the sleeper room. We need to put some sofas and couches and stuff down here to make it nice and cosy. Uh, lighting in here to make it, you know, so it's not murderous. Uh, the CO2 filters. At 100%. There's Cap sleeping. I need like a, a seat here so I can just sit down and look out to the base when I'm when I'm looked out. But anyway, thank you for uh, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the uh, what we've done here today. I hope you've enjoyed the thing. We got some air pressure in the whole base. Now the whole base is at 5 kPa to 6 kPa. It's not uh, the big pressure I want from the base. I want the base at like 50 and 60 kPa, but it's the way to get there, and uh, this is a big step forward. Um, that pressure is going to slowly and continuously increase as we get more nitrogen in, so we need to mine out nitrogen sources. Um, I believe right now we're pulling nitrogen from the atmosphere um, and processing that, but we are also processing other gases as along with that, so it may cause a, a shutdown when we reach the maximum on carbon dioxide, for example. It may be that we put some carbon dioxide into the atmosphere to help pressurize it and then filter it out later on but there we go um there are no pretty cats around me right now so i can't show them on camera so all i can say is thank you all for coming out let's have a quick nosy and see if anyone is streaming let's have a look. open up twitch close that close that close that close that uh da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Okay, so there's a guy streaming right now. Uh, if we, I think he's the one that's in Australia. Uh, so we'll send a raid over that way. I think it's him. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit weird on names. Uh, trying to find his face. Yes, uh, I believe he's in Australia right now. Uh, and he's streaming. So we'll go over there and say, hey, he's working on the base that's a, on Europa. So his base temperature is currently minus 149 Celsius. So he's constantly in the freezing point. So... That would be a, a fun one. So, thank you for coming out. I hope you've had fun, and I will see you all hopefully tomorrow when we play some stuff. I want to play some community games if we can, but we may do a little bit more of this, and we may do some other stuff. So we don't know what we can do, but uh, yes, we'll, we'll figure that out. So maybe bring up the raid, and his name is Elkim the Brave. So, thank you for coming out. I hope you've had some good fun here, and I hope to see you all in the next stream. Bye, everybody.